A Euro ask the host to become Hokage to activate the system. A Euro. A mechanical sound came from his ears, and Uchiha Shijika looked helpless. He looked at his little arms and legs and looked at the mirror on the wardrobe. Beautiful boy with red lips and white teeth, no, there is a beautiful young boy, with dark pupils showing a sense of speechlessness. Do you think I can become Hokage now? Also, my last name is Uchiha. Uchiha Shijika was wearing the same turtleneck short-sleeved shirt that Uchiha Suzuki had in his childhood. There was a clan emblem on the back that was called a fire fan, but he looked like the clan emblem of a table tennis racket. You want Uchiha to become Hokage, system, how dare you think about it? As we all know, the Uchiha clan and the Senju clan jointly established the Hidden Leaf Village. As the elder clan, many adults in the clan believe that they should have a share in the position of Hokage. Although I don't know that the Senju clan was defeated. Where did the Uchiha clan in the hands of the clan come from to think that Naruto had a share in them? Could it be that Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara's gay relationship gave them the illusion? Or was it the original alliance between the Senju clan and the Uchiha clan? The scene made them feel that in fact the Uchiha clan was not defeated, but was divided fifty to fifty. The two sides fought back and forth, each suffered losses, and fell into a stalemate. For the safety of the clan, for the tranquility of the fire country, and for the peace of the ninja world, they entered into a stalemate. Form an alliance? If you really think so, the Uchiha clan should not be called the crazy clan, just call the head show clan. No matter how you think about it, in short, in a word. As long as you are stressful to the village, the rest will treat everyone equally and have great love. After the death of Senju Hashirama, the second generation Hokage Senju Tobirama and his successor, the third generation Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen, both showed varying degrees of wariness and wariness towards the Uchiha clan. They wanted him to be a person from the Uchiha clan. Become Hokage? Danzo Shimura showed a ferocious smile, Hiruzen Saratobi smiled kindly and watched silently, Mito Kato and Koharu had no expression on their faces, and gave a thumbs up from the bottom of their hearts. It's terrible. A Euro as long as the host becomes Hokage and activates the system, there will be nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. A Euro. The sound of the system was still mechanical, but Uchiha Shijika seemed to hear the arrogance of Kanaha's top brass all put their money where their mouth is. But I'm not capable enough. I think you should find a new employer for the system. It was the 27th anniversary of the founding of Kanaha. Not surprisingly, the Second Ninja War was already brewing. He himself said that he was not capable enough, which was not true, but he was obviously not a genius. If he wanted to become to be a Hokage, you have to establish a career and accumulate reputation, otherwise no one will accept you and become the Hokage. Even if you are forced to go to the palace with swords and shoes, enter the court without following, and praise and worship without fame, you still have to have that tyrannical and absolute force that can overwhelm dissatisfaction. I thought a little too much, and I was actually thinking about how to become Hokage. Uchiha Shijika came to his senses. Was he affected by the system's words? Rather than Naruto, I should consider how to survive the next second ninja war, which is the right way. A Euro host, as long as you become Hokage and obtain the ninja world character card, any battle will be a problem, a euro. Ninja World Character Cards, don't a euro trademark T be a Krypton Gold Card Drawing Type System. The system stopped talking. Well, Uchiha Shijika is sure that the system is definitely a Krypton Gold Card Drawing Type System. System, what do you think about me being a one-man Hokage? A euro, host, the system does not accept stuck bugs a euro. Tisk. Uchiha Shijika feels that the system is not advanced enough and needs to be flexible. There's nothing wrong with that. Although I like extraordinary powers, spitting fire from my mouth, thunder from my hands, and satisfying my secondary fantasy back then, it's still not worth it if I accidentally lose my life because of this. After thinking about it, 
Uchiha Shijika's eyes lit up and he knocked his palm with his fist I have decided, I want to inherit my father's legacy and become a tempera sage. A euro host, don't a euro trademark t give up. A euro. The system is a little anxious. Uchiha Shijika can feel the system's anxiety. A euro yes, host, I have an idea, a euro. Oh? Uchiha Zonghua was stunned for a moment I was wrong. You still want to make progress. Tell me, what can you do? A Euro the host can obtain ninja character cards based on the number of ninja levels. As long as you draw a powerful ninja character card, becoming Hokage is a piece of cake, A Euro. I think you can forget about calling the system. Uchiha Shijika complained, and then said what is the number of ninja levels? A Euro Ninja Apprentice, Jenin, Chunin, Jounin. Draw cards four times in total a euro. Is a ninja apprentice considered a ninja? A euro strictly speaking, not even a ninja forward protector, but, host, just tell me whether you want it or not a euro. A euro I can help you undo eat a euro. Wait, don't undo, that's fine. Uchiha Shijika quickly stopped him. He would be beating his chest and feeling annoyed if the number of drawings that were already few in the first place was gone. I would like to ask, after becoming Hokage and turning on the system, what is the lottery mechanism like? A euro after the host becomes Hokage, the system can be connected to the ninja mission system. D-level tasks cost one rough stone, C-level tasks cost ten rough stones, B-level tasks cost one hundred rough stones and A-level tasks cost 1,000 rough stones a euro. A euro S-level missions directly get one draw, one draw equals 10,000 rough stones, no weapon pool, no small guarantee, you must get the Ninja World character card, a euro. A euro friendly reminder, the system eliminates lag bugs and the task level cannot be customized a euro. Did you say rough stone? Uchiha Shijika's face was subtle. A euro easy to understand, easy to understand a euro. Eliminate card bugs, but can you get a loan? A euro can a loan be called a bug? A euro. The system feels that the host does not want to make progress, and it has given in to this extent. What will happen if I still can't become Hokage and can't pay back the loan? A euro the host will become a member of the system, but unlike the system that is born naturally, the host who becomes a system who works to pay off debts will receive very poor treatment a euro. How bad is it? A euro very bad. Not to mention the issue of compound interest, the host system that is not completed within the deadline will have its intelligence wiped out and become a purely intelligent system a euro. Hiss. Uchiha Shijika took a breath. You call this bad, but it's just gone. Uchiha Shijika took a deep breath and calmed down. Now he has to think carefully about it. System, what benefits can you get from obtaining rough stones? Although the consequences of not paying back the loan are serious, out of caution, Uchiha Shijika chose to ask more questions to ensure that he would not be cheated. A Euro host, you actually doubt the system. Uchiha Shijika could already imagine the system stomping on Paimon. If you are angry, what can you do to the host you have found? Of course, forgive him. A euro the system can save rough stones to upgrade itself a euro. Ah. The system doesn't know how the rough stone was made. It only knows that it is a mechanism created by the seniors of the big system. Oh, don't care about this kind of thing that makes the system bald. Are you bald if you have a head? Uchiha Shijika just feels like he's talking about an old joke, and he's not happy about it. Anyway, after the host becomes Hokage, he creates many tasks to obtain rough stones, and then uses the rough stones to exchange for card draws. This is a reward prepared by the system, and the system saves the rough stones to buy upgrade packages. Hello, the system is good, this is a win-win situation. I think drawing cards is worse than redeeming them. The system ignored the host's words. It is determined that the host is currently a ninja apprentice, and the loan mechanism is enabled. The current balance of the host's raw stones is negative 10,000 raw stones. Host, 
you need to draw a card. Uchiha Shijika said nothing, sitting cross-legged on the bed and thinking for a long time. Ninja apprentices, Jenin, Chunin, and Jounin have four chances to draw cards, with a total of 40,000 rough stones. If you can become Hokage, 40,000 rough stones are not much, and you can pay them back after a while. But if you can't become Hokage, Uchiha Shijika shuddered and shuddered when he thought of himself becoming a machine, quack, machine. Naruto. Wait, Uchiha Shijika suddenly remembered that he was an Uchiha. Uchiha Shijika stood in front of the wardrobe mirror, turned around and looked behind him, the emblem of the Uchiha table tennis racket. Yes, I am an Uchiha. Thinking of the genocide of the Uchiha clan decades later, Uchiha Shijika suddenly realized. What are you thinking about? It's okay, slap, slap him. My turn, draw a card. As the words fell, the world in my eyes changed. A virtual projection screen appeared in front of me, the familiar blue sky and white clouds, a familiar light like a shooting star passing by, and an unfamiliar golden light. Negative review, he is often blue and purple. After a sound effect, a character appeared in front of Uchiha Shijika. Wearing Akatsuki's auspicious cloud robe, black hair flowed down and tied into a small braid behind him, and a scratch passed through Kanaha's forehead protector. It was calm. There are two tear troughs on his face, and the three Megatama Sharingan eyes are scarlet and sparkling. Shijika Uchiha is immersed in those Megatama eyes. The Sharingan eye is really handsome and cool. Congratulations to the host for getting the Uchiha attack a character card. Uchiha Shijika came back to his senses. The first thing he felt was not excitement, but fear. System, you are not the same as ANBU Ataki, Akatsuki Ataki and the reincarnated Ataki of the Earth, right? The system is not so deceptive, don't worry, host, what you have obtained is the template for Uchiha Ataki's entire life. The system begins to introduce. After using the character card template of the system, it will be gradually unlocked as the age of the host and the character card increases. There are no prerequisites for playing the role of the predecessors in the template system. Of course, although you need to play as a template, as long as you act well, the template will be unlocked faster. The system's character template will not work and can only be unlocked with age. Talk about it in detail. No matter how much I say, it is better for the host to try it himself, it is very simple and clear. Since the system said so, Uchiha Shijika certainly chose to obey. He used Uchiha attack his character card. The next moment, he understood what it means to gradually unlock templates with age. He is now four years old, and Uchiha attack his character card shows all the abilities of Uchiha attack at the age of four. Uchiha Ataka died in a battle with Uchiha Suzuki at the age of 21. In this way, the complete template is the 21-year-old Uchiha Ataki. Doesn't that mean that when he is 21 years old, he will be able to become a complete Uchiha Ataki? It seems pretty good, and he will directly recommend a shadow level powerhouse. Uchiha Ataka's talent that can be called a genius, the ninjutsu, teijutsu and genjutsu he learned, his physique etc. Uchiha Shijika opened his eyes, and he suddenly realized a serious problem. I won't inherit Uchiha Ataki's blood disease, right? After Uchiha Ataki opened the Mangekyo Sharingan too early, his physique could not keep up with the power of the Mangekyo Sharingan, and he frequently used the Mangekyo Sharingan, which led to physical problems and severe blood disease. Uchiha Bokonghua doesn't want to get blood disease. Don T. Worry, host. After you draw the ninja character card, you can choose whatever you want to inherit. If you think there is something wrong with Uchiha Ataka's physique, you don't have to choose to inherit Uchiha Ataka's physique. Anyway, the character card contains characters from the entire ninja world, and Uchiha Ataka's physique is not that strong among them, so it doesn't matter if you give up the inheritance. Call. Uchiha Shijika was relieved, the system's product was not bad. Although Uchiha Ataka's physique has not been optimized, 
he can be directly eliminated. In this case, Uchiha Shijika removed Uchiha Ataka's physique and inherited all the remaining talents, abilities, etc. The amount of chakra suddenly increased, and the chakra control that was not yet proficient at the beginning became proficient immediately, and the same was true for the fire release ninjutsu that was also unproficient. At the same time, techniques he had never learned also emerged in his mind, as if they had been refined over time, merging with him. Because his physique was eliminated by him, the integration of physical skills is somewhat flawed, but fortunately he has memorized his training experience. With more practice, he can catch up with Uchiha Ataka's level at four years old. He is indeed a genius, he is so terrifying at the age of four. Uchiha Shijika sighed, and then clasped his fingers together. The Art of Shadow Clone A burst of smoke appeared, and next to him, the exact same Uchiha Shijika appeared. Uchiha Shijika observed the shadow clone he summoned, lifelike, like real person. Suddenly, Uchiha Shijika punched out. Seeing this, the shadow clone stretched out his palm to block, and swept Uchiha Shijika with a whip kick. One person and one shadow clone used Uchiha Ataki in the small bedroom. The inherited physical skills started to be practiced. Bang! After practicing for a while, the shadow clone had insufficient chakra and exploded into smoke and disappeared. Uchiha Shijika sighed again. Four-year-old Uchiha Ataki is so terrifying. It's great to get the Uchiha Ataka character card in your first draw. After Uchiha Shijika actually experienced it, he couldn't tell how many times he felt emotional in his heart. The magic is secondary, the most important thing is Uchiha Ataka's talent. Uchiha Ataki is very smart and has outstanding comprehension ability. In comparison, Uchiha Shijika is a fool. Damn it, is this the perspective of a genius? He can easily understand any obscure theory, and he has his own understanding based on this understanding. What a powerful understanding, Uchiha Shijika was extremely envious. What, now he also has this extraordinary understanding. Oh, that's okay. Now that there are plug-ins, Tempura Senen who was originally considered will naturally not be considered. Big things to do. And, being in debt sucks. I, Shijika Uchiha, want to become Hokage in order to repay my debt. First, enter the ninja school. To become Hokage, you must first become a ninja. For children of the Uchiha clan, there are generally two choices to become a ninja. One is to study on your own within the clan, and then go to the police force for an assessment when your strength is almost the same. After passing the assessment, the police force will report it to Kanaha to enter the ninja file, and then receive a ninja forward protector and an internship in the police force. Work The Uchiha clan does not have their own school, but they are surrounded by relatives. It is not difficult to obtain training resources. Self-study in such a ninja clan is only better than the education in the ninja school. Therefore, passing the police force assessment is a smooth path to becoming a ninja, and it has become the ninja path choice for most Uchiha children. However, Uchiha Shijika chose another path. Entered the ninja school for five years and passed the graduation examination to become a genin. He was going to become Hokage so he naturally wanted to get familiar with Saratobi Hiruzen, the current third Hokage. There is a difference between becoming a genin through the Uchiha police force and passing the ninja school graduation exam. The former circulates within Uchiha and has nothing to do with most of the Hokage lineage. As for the latter, the principal of the ninja school is Hiruzen Saratobi. He often enters the ninja school to give lectures and teach students a few classes to deepen their relationship with the students. The continuing relationship between the first Hokage Senju Hashirama and the second Hokage Senju Tobirama is that of brothers. But it was different when it came to the third generation Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen. He was a disciple of the second generation Hokage Senju Tobirama and the continuation relationship when he ascended to the position of Hokage was that of master and apprentice. Uchiha Shijika, who had turned on the plot hook, even knew that the future Hokages would be either disciples or apprentices with Saratobi Hiruzen. 
therefore, Uchiha Shijika came to a simple conclusion. The position of Hokage is inherited in the Hokage lineage. If he wants to become Hokage, he must become a member of the Hokage lineage. Therefore, I also want to become the disciple and grandson of Saratobi Hiruzen. Wow, the host is so smart. Uchiha Shijika's face collapsed, and he answered the system's words in his heart to be honest, I don't want to be someone else's disciple. If every time I draw a character card, it is a powerful character like Uchiha Ataki, I will still have to work hard. Planning He has already gone to the palace with swords and shoes, and has lost all praise and worship. If you become Hokage with force, you will also become Hokage, and the system will recognize it. But it's a pity that Uchiha Ataka's character cards are already full of European emperors. Maybe this is some kind of newcomer benefit. There are only four opportunities to draw cards. There is no guarantee that the remaining three will be powerful characters. Ninja World Character Cards The ninja world is so big that there are not many outstanding people. Most of them are mediocre characters. Get their characters. Card, there is an improvement over Uchiha Shijika, but the improvement is obviously not comparable to that of a character like Uchiha Ataki. If in the end there is only one powerful character, Itaki Uchiha, he will be suppressed by force and become Hokage, still a little reluctant. Don't be kicked to death by the Eight Door Dungeon formation, although the current Matt Dai Eight Door kick is not as scary as the later Metkai. But even if he could withstand Hakiman's kick, the secret of this huge ninja world's ninjutsu is unknown, and a character like Uchiha Madara was fooled by a person like Black Zetsu who lived a long life and lacks strength. Uchiha Shijika decided to plan carefully. After all, this is the real world of ninjas. Waves and clouds are strange and unpredictable. So is the host going to become a disciple of Hiruzen Saratobi? Uchiha Shijika shook his head I am an Uchiha, and it is impossible for Hiruzen Saratobi to accept me as his disciple. Even if Hiruzen Saratobi agreed, his advisory group did not agree. The second generation Hokage Senjuto Bairama's vigilance against the Uchiha clan was passed down to his disciples, but everyone has different views on the Uchiha clan. Hiruzen Saratobi dislikes the Uchiha clan, but as a Hokage, looking at the overall situation, he believes that no matter how displeasing the Uchiha clan is, they are still part of the village that he, the Hokage, loves, a companion, and a family. Therefore, Saratobi Hiruzen's view of the Uchiha clan is that although the Uchiha clan is not pleasing to the eye, he will work hard to make the Uchiha clan pleasing to the eye and able to integrate into the village. But his best friend didn't think so. Mito Katoen and Uchiha Shijika, who had transferred to Koharu, didn't know, but he knew the famous cage of this world very well. You can't completely believe the plot, but the characters' personalities won't suddenly change. Shimura Danzo has a strong hatred for the Uchiha clan, and he is also a good friend of Saratobi Hiruzen. Not involving the stress method of destroying the village, Saratobi Hiruzen always likes to hesitate and compromise. The choice between gay friends and Uchiha disciples is self-evident. I thought about becoming Jiraiya or Tsunade's disciple. As for Orochimaru, it takes too much effort to interact with snakes. If he continues to follow the path of a scientific research madman in the future and has constant interactions with Danzo, he will easily be stabbed by Danzo. Of course, Orochimaru has many problems of his own. In short, following Orochimaru feels like risking your life, and it's easy to stink yourself. I'm going to be the Hokage, how can I ruin my reputation? Speaking of reputation, Jiraiya, a lecherous person who hangs around flowers and likes to peek at women bathing, although he has a certain sense of romance and arrogance, but this personal morality is something that people disagree with, and it is also not a good reputation. But in this ninja world based on the culture of small life, people are quite tolerant of lecherous gangsters. The next four generations for a perfect person like Naruto and Minato Namikaze, Having this lecherous rogue master didn't bring him much trouble with his reputation. Well, maybe we can make a fuss about this in the future. 
Uchiha Shijika kept this in mind, and he couldn't pay too much attention to the powerful enemy on the road to becoming Hokage. Namikaze Minato is really too perfect. If he and Namikaze Minato become friends, or directly become brothers what to do? Uchiha Shijika hesitated for a moment and shook his head to dispel some thoughts. I still think too much, no matter what, try to become the disciple and grandson of Saratobi Hiruzen. Come on! Host! Become disciples and disciples! Why does it sound a bit unpleasant? Time passes slowly forward. Uchiha Shijika's life was simple and monotonous. On weekdays, he helps fry tempera in his family's restaurant. In his spare time, he reads books to increase his knowledge. The rest is to practice ninja training based on the training experience of the character card Uchiha Itaki. The 27th year of Kanaha has passed like this, and at the beginning of the new year, the 28th year of Kanaha has arrived. This year, Uchiha Shijika was five years old, reaching the age threshold for entering the ninja school. When he proposed to enter a ninja school, his father Uchiha Ichiro and mother Uchiha Mi were a little surprised. Children of the Uchiha clan rarely choose to study in ninja schools, but the police force assessment and the ninja school graduation assessment are both ninja assessments. The results all lead to the path to becoming a ninja. Uchiha Ichiro and Uchiha Mi have no objection. Since their son wants to study in a ninja school, then go ahead. If a civilian enters a ninja school, firstly, he has to pay money as tuition, secondly, orphans of ninjas who died in Kanaha are admitted for free, and thirdly, if they are capable and become top students, tuition is free. How does Uchiha Shijika, a member of the ninja clan, enter the ninja school? Answer, admission is free directly. Yes, Uchiha Shijika can register directly with the ninja school and then enroll directly for free without taking any assessment. Children born in ninja clans are different from civilian children. They have multiple paths to choose to become ninjas. Most of them learn to become ninjas by themselves within the family. Just like the Uchiha police force assessment. Not many children of ninja clans choose to study in ninja schools, and the third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen is worried about this. He was able to go to the ninja school to give lectures and teach students a few classes to win over and deepen the relationship with the students. Among these students, there were civilians who naturally wanted to have children from the ninja clan. His will of fire cannot be limited to civilians, let alone the children of the ninja clan. Therefore, the third Hokage directly offered free tuition and examinations to the ninja clan, and entered the ninja school unconditionally. Uchiha Shijika sat in a corner of the classroom, watching future classmates who were familiar or unfamiliar talking to each other. Speaking of familiarity, the parents of the future twelve Xiaoqiang are here. Pig Deer Butterfly, Yamazaka Hiki, Nara Shikaku, Akimichi Dingzao. With a bandage on his head and a pair of crystal clear white eyes, this is Hinata Hizashi. There are also Abarame Shimai, Inyazukazuma, and others. And his desk mate, Uchiha Mikato. There are not many Uchiha people in the entire school, and it is rare to have two Uchiha children in a class. Uchiha Mikato could see her own race in a strange environment, her eyes lit up and she came over. Uchiha Shijika turned to look at the girl at the same table. She was dressed in soft, ink-like black hair that was spread behind her like silk. He has a calm face, a gentle temperament, and the same obsidian eyes as Uchiha Shijika. With a delicate face and a complexion as fair as jade, Uchiha Shijika looked at it a little and secretly admired it in his heart. At such a young age, she is very pretty. Uchiha Mikato asked curiously I know you, a child of the Tempera family, why did you choose the ninja school? She wanted to ask why you didn't choose the ninja assessment of the police force. Uchiha Shijika asked then why did you choose the ninja school? Well, Uchiha Mikato groaned Dad asked me to come. So she came. Uchiha Mikato's father? Uchiha Shijika knows. The current clan leader, Uchiha Shahe's right-hand man, Uchiha Ritai. The Uchiha clan has elders, but they are more of an honorary nature. 
In advocating in the powerful Uchiha clan, it is not easy for the elders to use their seniority to suppress others, so the power of the Uchiha clan is in the hands of the strongest person. The strongest person is undoubtedly the clan leader Uchiha Shahe, and his right-hand man is the second strongest and the third strongest. Only in this way can the crazy Uchiha clan be patient and obedient. I answered your question, it's your turn to answer mine. My dad asked me to come. Uchiha Shijika said casually. The same to you. These words made Uchiha Mikato feel sympathetic. I actually want to join the police force. Do you know Brother Fugaku? Of course the clan leader's son, Uchiha Fugaku, knew that. He endured it again and again, and he endured it until the entire clan was gone. I watched Brother Fugaku's ninja test, and he defeated all the other clan members. Uchiha Mikato revealed her longing for. Many people praise Brother Fugaku for how majestic he is. The patriarch said to him. Uchiha Mikato imitated the clan leader's tone and said as expected of my son, well done. I also want my father to say this to me. He is worthy of being my son passed down from his ancestors. After thinking about it, his father Uchiha Ichiro never said that to him. But you came to ninja school. Uchiha Shijika's words made Uchiha Mikato escape from yearning and became a little frustrated. Well, you still have to listen to what dad says. Uchiha. Shijika tried to comfort her. Don't worry, if you can get the first place in the class, your father will also say to you, as expected of my daughter, well done. Hearing this, Uchiha Mikato nodded heavily. You are right, I want to be number one in the class and impress my father. Then you will never get it in this life. This class is like crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Uchiha Shijika casually passed over a person's face. Golden hair, blue eyes, somewhat feminine appearance. He was talking gently to a classmate he had just met, when he seemed to feel a line of sight, and he followed the line of sight and looked over. The owner of that sight was a classmate of the Uchiha clan. If I remember correctly, his name was Uchiha Shijika. Nami Kaze Minato nodded to him, and then saw Uchiha Shijika smiling kindly at him. This surprised him a little, and he also gave Uchiha Shijika a friendly smile. Nami Kaze Minato, he became a powerful enemy on the path of Hokage. He had known Nami Kaze Minato. His parents died in a mission and he was adopted into Kanaha's official welfare institution. He is already an orphan of Kanaha Ninja who died in the line of duty and can enjoy free admission. However, Nami Kaze Minato's resume is that he was admitted to the ninja school as a top student based on his personal ability. Therefore, many students are paying attention to Nami Kaze Minato. Really, I have been different from ordinary people since I was a child, doing great things. Host, do you want to kill Nami Kaze Minato directly? The sudden words from the system left Uchiha Shijika speechless. To kill Nami Kaze Minato, the system can figure it out. Although the possibility of success is not small, the possibility of failure is even greater. I don't know if Jiraiya has accepted Nami Kaze Minato as his disciple now. He probably hasn't yet, but he is very optimistic about Nami Kaze Minato. As Kanaha's official welfare institution, it is different from the semi-official and semi-private welfare institutions that exist on the periphery, such as the church where Yakushi Kabuto lives. Kanaha takes great care of the orphans of its own ninjas who died in the line of duty. On the one hand, they show preferential treatment after death to the outside world, and on the other hand, they are also the source of ninja students internally. Therefore, High-level officials would often send ninjas to give lectures to the orphans of ninjas who died in the line of duty. As expected, Jiraiya met Nami Kaze Minato under such circumstances. This possibility is not small, because Jiraiya also came from the Kanaha Welfare Institution, and he must have done a lot of things to give back to the welfare institution. In other words, there is Jiraiya standing behind Nami Kaze Minato and behind Jiraiya is the third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen. He has never learned how to kill. Even if he succeeds, there is a greater chance that clues will be found and exposed. 
the chances and risks of killing Namikaze Minato were high when he was still a child. As for growing up outside the village, in the battlefield, Namikaze Minato will grow, especially after he has learned the Flying Thunder God technique, and trying to kill him is basically a fool's errand. Unless he seeks death, like when he sealed the Nine Tails. I actually prefer to use Huang Huang's momentum to overwhelm him from the front. Uchiha Shijika said. I am your class teacher for the next five years of school life. My name is Kinoshi Daraiochi. Please give me your advice. Wearing a Chuyunin vest and a Kanaha forehead protector tied to his left arm, although his appearance is ordinary, he is pleasing to the eye and not annoying. You should already know something about the classmates around you. Teacher Kinoshida said with a gentle smile but the teacher doesn't know you very well yet, so please introduce yourselves to the students. Please also talk about your dreams and let the teacher listen. After the words fell, teacher Kinoshida motioned to the students on the left to start. My name is Inyazuka Kuma, and this guy is Kuromaru. Inyazuka Zuka patted the puppy next to him, and the puppy named Kuromaru barked. My dream is to have more dogs, and I want to train them to become the strongest dogs. What a great wish! Kinoshida Sensei praised, and then motioned for the students behind to stand up and introduce themselves. After that, as the introductions were completed one by one, it was Minato Namikaze's turn soon. Minato Namikaze had a hexy smile on his face, and that smile was very contagious. It gives people a warm feeling. It is like the sun shining on the earth, bringing revival to all things. This sun-like smile is really a big killer. Uchiha Shijika tried to imitate it, which annoyed the Uchiha next to him. Nami Koto looked over, her eyes filled with amazement. If Nami Kaze Minato's smile was like the sun, then Uchiha Shijika's smile was like a touch of moonlight, looking noble and cold, like an immortal from the sky. Uchiha Shijika was already handsome. His appearance has attracted many girls in the class. This smile like a moonlight immediately made the girls who were looking at Uchiha Shijika tremble in their hearts. Uchiha Shijika looked at the blush on his cheeks and hid shyly. The girl who looks at him feels satisfied in his heart. He should smile more. A smile can make people happy and make people like you in disguise. You should also pay attention to building your own image on the road to becoming Hokage. My name is Namikaze Minato. Please give me your guidance for the rest of my school life. My dream is to become Hokage and I hope to protect everyone in the village. It seems that everyone likes Naruto very much. I hope you all can succeed. Teacher Kinoshita nodded. As the leader of the village, Naruto is also recognized as the strongest ninja. He is respected and loved by people. Therefore, if Kanaha has the most dreams, it is definitely to become Hokage. My name is Uchiha Shijika. My dream is the same as everyone else's, to become Hokage. I like this village and everything here. Uchiha. Shijika said with a smile on his face I will not give up the position of Hokage to you. From now on, everyone will be my opponent. This class is undoubtedly an elite class. There are children from big families and top students, and the rest are either not very capable or rich businessmen. The third generation Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen must have something to say about this place. Attention! Many students in elite classes have dreams of becoming Hokage, but an Uchiha's dream is to become Hokage, which can still attract Saratobi Hiruzen's attention. First, let Saratobi Hiruzen have this in his mind. The person has an impression and looks familiar. The next step is to strive for the first place in the grade and let Saratobi Hiruzen know his excellence. Especially when Jiraiya's favorite Nami Kaze Minato is suppressed by him. There is Uchiha he is stuck in the Ataka character, and he is confident that he can surpass the current Minato Nami Kaze. Minato Nami Kaze is a genius, and Uchiha Ataki is not bad either. The five-year-old Uchiha Ataki received the teachings and training experience from his father, the ninja of the family and the clan leader. Compared with the current Nami Kaze Minato's magic, he is much stronger. No matter how you say it, the advantage is mine. 
as Jiraiya's master, Saratobi Hiruzen, Namikaze Minato must be on his watch list, and he must know about Namikaze Minato. Ability What Uchiha Shijika has to do is to take Saratobi Hiruzen's attention as his own. Please look at me carefully, Saratobi Hiruzen. Host, your smile now looks sinister. Ahem. Uchiha Shijika collected his emotions and maintained his image. There are no classes today, it is mainly about introductions between teachers and students. After school, Uchiha Shijika smiled and wanted to talk to the parents of the future Kanaha 12 to deepen their friendship. But before he could get up, he was already surrounded by little girls. Uchiha Shijika suddenly felt a pain in his head as he listened to the chirping voices of the little girls. But he couldn't look down and drive people away. He had just promised to create a friendly image of himself, so how could he give up in the blink of an eye? Lettuce San is so cute, your hairstyle is very nice. Does Ono San like flowers? I would also like. Thanks to his excellent looks, he looks at this handsome face and speaks flattering words. The little girls were all coaxed so that their little faces were filled with smiles, their eyes lit up when they looked at Uchiha Shijika, and then, the conversation got more exciting. Uchiha Shijika's smile could no longer be maintained, why didn't he leave? Glancing out of the corner of his eye, Minato Namikaze was also talking to someone. Coincidentally, he was also surrounded by little girls. In this class, the only one who could compete with Uchiha Shijika in appearance was Namikaze Minato. Seeing his distressed look, Uchiha Shijika suddenly felt that his head no longer hurt. There was one person who felt much better like him. After a lot of effort, I finally sent these nymphomaniac little girls away. The world of ninja is so premature. Uchiha Shijika sighed. In his previous life, he still had snot in his nose at this time. How could he think about whether he liked it or not, let alone the level of love? There was no one to disturb him now and Uchiha Shijika glanced at him and saw that no one in the entire class had left. I had just entered the ninja school, and everything I saw was new and strange. I was surrounded by strange friends. Naturally, no one left early if they wanted to get in touch with each other. Even though Hinata Hisashi was a bitter and hateful person in his mind, as a child he still smiles and talks to his classmates. A pair of white eyes are crystal clear and ignorant of the world. Does he now understand the significance of the caged bird above his head? Uchiha Shijika sighed, he was still a simple child. However, it was in line with Uchiha Shijika's wishes, so he immediately went to find the fathers of the future twelve little strong men to enhance friendship. Have a sweet love affair with a little girl that can just go away? Fall in love. It's more important to do big things. Uchiha Mikato also communicated with the friends she had just met. Seeing Uchiha Shijika leave, a pair of beautiful eyes suddenly drifted over. It's really pretty. Uchiha Mikato thought, no wonder the girls are talking about him. The common topic between her and the friends she just met is actually whether Uchiha Shijika is handsome or beautiful. It's a bit outrageous. It's weird. Why haven't I noticed that the children of the Tempera family are so good-looking before? Uchiha Mikato compared it with Fugaku-san in her mind. Well, it's better not to attack Fugaku-san. Although it is an elite class, it is only the first academic year. Except for courses related to chakra refining, the rest are all cultural courses. All students in the elite class are able to refine chakra. The chakra refining course taught in the school is not without merit. Just because students can refining chakra does not mean they understand the process. Therefore, there are many knowledge points that make them shine and benefit a lot. But other than the cultural courses, those who are willing to listen are really interested in it, and those who are not willing to listen are complaining. Uchiha Shijika belongs to the group that enjoys it with gusto. He inherited the Uchiha Ataka character card, and his intelligence can be called a genius. He can easily understand the knowledge taught by the teacher. This is what it feels like to be a top student, and Uchiha Shijika is in a happy mood. 
This feeling of being able to understand and understand things made him appreciate the essence. Of course, if you are so smart and can understand something once, you will naturally feel bored when the teacher explains it over and over again. But he couldn't show dissatisfaction, he also had to show that he was yearning for it, with an expression on his face that said, the teacher taught me really well. Didn't you see the happy expression on Mr. Kinoshita's face after seeing him? This is the result. Host, don't you know the art of shadow clone? Do you want to create a shadow clone to go to school instead of you? The voice of the system sounded in his mind. Uchiha Shijika shook his head and answered the system in his heart. My current setting is that of a studious and progressive Uchiha. What if my shadow clone is exposed? Moreover, one has to eat one meal at a time, and one has to follow the path of growth. The Uchiha clan can only produce geniuses, but it is too much to produce extraordinary talents. His growth experience is very simple, so simple that he has no way to come into contact with the shadow clone technique. So he needs a master to add rationality to him. Besides, I'm just dissatisfied with the repetitive content. It's not that I don't want to hear it. There is nothing wrong with increasing the amount of knowledge at any time. Thinking of this, Uchiha Shijika pointed at the content in the textbook. System, you should also learn from it and go away from your stupidity. I am a system, not a ninja. The system does not learn. The system is indignant, it doesn't want to read those tadpole texts. The system is directly hidden. Uchiha Shijika shook his head, this small system doesn't like progress. After class, it was noon. Nara Shikaku walked over listlessly and with his pocket in his pocket. Alas, it's true, Kinoshita sensei is dragging the class again. Crack, click, click. Akimichi Dingzeo was eating potato chips and waving his chubby face. Kinoshita sensei often does this. It seems that Shikaku's lunch break will be reduced. Shikaku, you can learn to sleep with your eyes open. Wouldn't your sleep time increase in this way? Uchiha. Shijika said with a smile increasing sleep time means increasing rest time. Resting means being lazy. This is your favorite. Nara Shikaku touched his chin and thought, maybe we can try it. Konghua, Minato. What does Kinoshita sensei mean by this? Teach me. Hiki Yamanaka asked with some distress. After hearing his words, Uchiha Shijika turned his head and saw Minato Namikaze standing behind him with a smile on his face. What this means is. Namikaze Minato was explaining to Yamanaka Hiki. At this time, someone called Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Shijika looked around and saw Hinata Hizashi. He pointed to the door. Konghua, someone is looking for you. Uchiha Shijika said apologetically to his friends I'm sorry. Someone is looking for me. That seems to be Mr. Mikami from the medical class. Nara Shikaku recognized the female teacher. He glanced at Uchiha Shijika who was leaving and was curious. If it has anything to do with the medical class, wouldn't he be thinking about learning medical ninjutsu? Uchiha Shijika really wanted to learn medical ninjutsu. The masters he expected were Jiraiya and Tsunade. Now he gets along very well with his classmates in the class and has a good relationship with each other, as does his powerful enemy Namikaze Minato. So with the light of Namikaze Minato, he was able to contact Jiraiya. But now, unfortunately, Jiraiya went out on a parade to pursue the prophecy, and it was a pity that he could not meet him immediately. Jiraiya isn't here, but Tsunade is. As the granddaughter of the first Hokage Senju Hashirama, the grandniece of the second Hokage Senju Tobirama, and the apprentice of the third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen. When it comes to identity and background, this sister is the one in charge. Uchiha Shijika hopes to become Tsunade's disciple most because of this glittering background and resume. If he can become her disciple, it will definitely add to his career of becoming Hokage and increase his reputation. Definitely not trying to make her look good. Having said that, Uchiha Shijika was unsure about how Tsunade viewed the Uchiha clan. 
Sunade was born after Kanaha was established. Although the traces of the Warring States period have not completely disappeared, there should not be much imprint on people born in the Ninja Village era. Although the first Hokage, Senju Hashirama, had village stress disorder, he had nothing to say to the people in the village, whether they were civilians or ninja clans. Tsunada even learned Senju Hashirama's good gambling, the way and perspective of looking at things. I should also have learned a few points. Although generally the good ones are not learned, but the bad ones are learned and mastered. The second generation Hokage and the third generation Hokage who inherited his will are wary of the Uchiha clan to varying degrees, but on the surface, there is still a peaceful atmosphere where you are good, I am good, and everyone is good. Today's young Tsunade should not be able to see such a deep level. As long as Tsunade is not innately disgusted with the Uchiha clan, then there is the possibility of trying to become Tsunade's disciple. Even if he is an Uchiha, Arrive. Teacher Mikami's words brought Uchiha Shijika back to his senses. This is another classroom, a class dedicated to teaching medical ninjutsu. I never thought that a child of the Uchiha clan would want to learn medical ninjutsu. Teacher Mikami looked at Uchiha Shijika strangely, thinking of the previous application and the Uchiha clan he came from. No matter how you look at it, it is strange. This prompted her to pick up Uchiha Shijika in person, and kept looking at her on the way. I don't understand this child's choice. Ninjas these days are all willing to be masters, and few are willing to be assistants. Therefore, the existence of medical ninjas is very rare in Kanaha, very rare. Even in the specialized Kanaha hospital, the medical staff there are not many ninjas. At this time on the eve of the Second Ninja War, Medical ninjas are very rare. Even if medical ninjas will be scarce in the future, they are even more scarce now. If we really want to make medical ninjas abundant, the second step is to Kanaha suffered a huge setback in the early days of the sub-ninja world war, and then Tsunade came forward to advocate increasing the resources and intensity of training medical ninjas, which led to an increase in medical ninjas. How brave is it to fight in a group without support? Do you think are you Uchiha Madara with explosive numerical strength? Mikami Sensei, I am very interested in medical ninjutsu. Uchiha Shijika said lovingly this is not just about self-healing when I am injured in practice, I also want to contribute my strength to my companions, family and everyone in the village. Medical ninjutsu is such a power, and I want to heal people who are suffering. Uchiha Shijika clasped his hands with a look of compassion on his face. It's good that you think so, but it's very difficult to learn medical ninjutsu. Teacher Mikami did not comment on Uchiha Shijika's idea. Although the idea is good, it must have the ability to realize it. The scarcity of medical ninjas is because of the high difficulty threshold for learning. Let's not talk about chakra control and tolerance. First of all, the large number of medical-related books makes ordinary people confused and at a loss. I still have confidence in myself. Uchiha Shijika said confidently. As a genius character card template, he certainly has the confidence to say this. Uchiha Ataka's life experience has not been involved in medical ninjutsu, but Uchiha Shijika has Uchiha Ataka's talent and understanding. Hwa can dabble in it. Medical ninjutsu is hard to say, but easy to say. Harano Sakura comes from a civilian family and has very little chakra. She can become a master in medical ninjutsu because of her smart brain and precise control of chakra. Ability Of course, the careful teachings and secret skills of Tsunade, the medical master, are indispensable. Teacher Mikami took Uchiha Shijika to get to know the students in the medical class. At this point in time, medical ninjas are not taken seriously and medical ninjas are specially trained. There are not many students in the medical class. Uchiha Shijika looked over and saw that there were only 15 people in total. He didn't know which of these 15 people could persist until graduation. Naturally, he chose the medical class and asked about it. Medical the graduation difficulty of the class is much higher than that of the ninja class. For the few students in the medical class who were not taken seriously, 
the graduation examination is still very difficult, which makes it worse. But from another perspective, it can also be understood it is said that the teachers of the medical class are responsible and will not let anyone pass the graduation examination half-heartedly. This is against medical ethics and harms human life. Uchiha Shijika is an elective. After completing the ninja class, he can come to the medical class. This kind of elective there are quite a lot of courses in the ninja school, such as flower arrangement classes, acting classes, etc. According to Kinoshita Sensei, these are very useful for ninjas to disguise themselves. Hello, I am pharmacist Nanoyu. Yakushi no no? Uchiha Shijika looked at the little girl with round glasses in front of him, paused for a moment and then smiled Hello, I am Uchiha Shijika. I didn't expect to see Yakushi Nunoyu in the medical class. The future root ninja, an intelligence agent dubbed the walking Maiko. Did she go to a ninja school to learn medical ninjutsu when she was young? She is indeed good at medical ninja. Technique, and somehow later entered the root and became Danzo's subordinate. Unfortunately, the root is not an easy place to exit. Yakushi Nono was carefully designed by Danzo and the final outcome was to die at the hands of the adopted child Yakushi Kabuto. Such a human tragedy caused Kabuto Yakushi to become autistic, thus giving birth to one of the bosses of the fourth ninja war. Okay, you go back first, and come over and study with us after school. Teacher Mikami pointed to the empty table over there, with some medical books placed on it. Read those books first. If you don't understand anything, you can ask Nanoyu. She is the monitor of our medical class and learns very quickly. She knows all the problems in those books. Yakushi Nono smiled quietly at the side. Uchiha Shijika nodded, and he took the books directly and prepared to take them away. Teacher Mikami looked at him strangely you are planning to take them to your class to read. Yes, what's wrong? Oh, I have already learned what Kinoshita Sensei taught and I plan to read these books during class. Uchiha. Shijika patted the medical books and said, I think, if nothing else happens, I will be the monitor of our class. The implication is that he is no different from Yakushi Nono. She is a class monitor, and I am also a class monitor. The studious and progressive Uchiha good student has filled up Mr. Kinoshita's favorability score. He is just reading extracurricular books for a short time. I want to come to Mr. Kinoshita and I won't stop him. Mr. Kinoshita also knows what kind of students are in the elite class he teaches. The first year courses are not so tight, so it's okay to turn a blind eye. Excellent students always have privileges Uchiha. Shijika pointed at himself, a confident smile appeared on his handsome face. I'm a top student. Pharmacist Nanoya was shaken by that smile. Konghua is so confident. I hope the boring medical knowledge will not bother him. In class, Nara Shikaku, Nami Kaze Minato, and others all looked at her frequently. Uchiha Mikato was no longer so serious in class, and turned to look at Uchiha Shijika. When Uchiha Shijika came in with a pile of medical books, these friends were all surprised. Nara Shikaku had some guesses but he didn't expect that Uchiha Shijika really planned to prepare to learn medical ninjutsu. There are a lot of things to learn as a medical ninja. Are you sure Konghua won't delay the ninja's lessons? Konghua, why do you want to take medical classes? Uchiha Mikato asked Uchiha Shijika softly. It was a big shock to Uchiha Mikato that people from the main sea clan should learn auxiliary medical ninjutsu. Comparing her feelings, if Uchiha Mikato learns medical ninjutsu, she her father must have scolded her severely. For most of the Uchiha clan, which advocates strength, learning medical ninjutsu is simply a matter of ignorance. Of course, it is to get in touch with Tsunade. Medical ninjutsu is very useful, but from the beginning to the end, Uchiha Shijika's purpose was to contact Tsunade. As the principal, Sarutobi Hiruzen often came to the ninja school to give lectures. As his disciples, Orochimaru, Jiraiya, and Tsunade were also asked to give lectures and lectures. This among them, Jiraiya comes the least. 
After all, he has a prophecy by his side and often goes out to the village to parade in search of the prophecy's son. The second is Orochimaru, who comes frequently, not many times, but the most students listen to his lectures. Orochimaru, this guy checks Kara, has a deep understanding of magic. Students have benefited a lot from his classes. They are passed on to ten and passed on to hundreds. More and more people are willing to listen to Orochimaru's classes. The one who comes the most is Tsunade, but there are fewer students taking her courses, and they are basically concentrated in the medical class. However, according to Uchiha Shijika, the most important thing for Tsunade to come more is his younger brother Naoki. Naoki is one year older than him, and as a thousand the grandson of Tehashirama, he attracts a lot of attention. Everyone in the ninja school knows it. Everyone knows it. The rope tree is here, and Tsunade, the younger brother, will naturally appear from time to time. As long as Tsunade appears, she will give lectures to the medical class. As a student in the medical class, I can get in touch with Tsunade. I have a plan in mind, and naturally I can't tell Uchiha Mikato about it. I was often injured while practicing, so I thought that learning medical ninjutsu would help me heal myself. If you are injured, why don't you just go to the medical ninja within the clan to treat the injury? The ninja clan has its own medical ninjas who are not open to the public and only treat the ninjas in the clan. And it's free, and the money and food provided are all funded by the clan's public treasury. The difference between the ninja clan and civilian ninjas can be seen from the medical ninjas. Special supplies, free treatment, no need to worry about injuries during practice, medical ninjutsu for the upper body, and medicinal baths provided, so you can immediately return to practice vigorously. How can the children of the ninja clan not make rapid progress? After graduation, can I seek treatment from medical ninjas while on missions? Uchiha Shijika asked back. Mikato opened her mouth and wanted to say something. After all, she couldn't think of how to refute. Yes, it is common to become a ninja and go out of the village to perform tasks. What should I do if I get injured at that time? Where can I go to get medical treatment? The ninja will treat you. When I think about it, it suddenly makes sense. But, Uchiha Mikato still felt strange after waiting for a long time. Looking at Mikato's twisted little face, Uchiha Shijika understood. Support is indeed important, the reason is that, but I still want to be the main C. That, then don't delay your ninja lessons. Medical ninjas are also ninjas. That, that's different. What's the difference? Uchiha Mikato stopped talking and turned away angrily. Uchiha Shijika shook his head, if not to mention the heavy losses in the early stages of the Second Ninja World War, even the rope tree that is now in the spotlight was killed. If the combat troops and the medical teams support each other, and so many Kanaha ninjas will not die in the early stage. The battle modes and scales of the Second Ninja War and the First Ninja War are different. The First Ninja War has a strong Sengoku style the legacy is that civilians did not participate much, and it was essentially a clan fight during the Warring States period. The Second Ninja World War was a complete ninja village war, whether it was a human or a dog, every ninja was a ninja village war machine. The scale and brutality of the screws are completely different from the first ninja world war. Learning medical ninjutsu is useful after all, and he also has the talent and talent to learn it. Becoming a Hokage requires merit and fame. Suen who helps the world, and the benevolence of a healer heart. Perhaps medical ninjutsu can help him gain fame. Being too popular is both a blessing and a worry. Every move of a popular person always attracts attention. No, Uchiha Shijika's elective medical class has attracted inquiries from his friends. Uchiha Shijika used his words to Uchiha Mikato as an explanation. Nami Kaze Minato became interested. As an orphan in a welfare home, it was common to get injured while practicing. Although Jiraiya hoped that Nami Kaze Minato could enjoy the same medical treatment as clan ninjas, Nami Kaze Minato felt embarrassed and always felt guilty. The expectations for him were so high. On the one hand, 
I felt happy, but on the other hand, I was anxious and stressed. He knew that Lord Jiraiya was optimistic about him so he would give him good medical treatment and focus on ninja training. Namikaze Minato will strive to live up to Jiraiya's expectations. He will work harder in private training and will not disappoint anyone. But if possible, he still hopes to reduce his privileges and solve injury problems by himself. Then, the medical class welcomed a new student. One month later, Uchiha Shijika got out of the sea of medical books and looked up at the medical class monitor, Pharmacist Nuno Yu. You mean, Tsunade Sama is going to give a lecture tomorrow? Yakushi Nunwoyu nodded and said starting tomorrow afternoon, when you and Minato-san come over, you should be able to listen for an hour and a half. The medical class ends later than the ninja class. When the ninja class ends, the medical class goes to Kanaha Hospital to observe and practice, which is actually equivalent to a practical class. However, the medical class is also the first year, so the main course at the moment is endorsement, but the course time remains the same. If there is no practical class, just endorse it. After the ninja class is over tomorrow, Uchiha Shijika and Nami Kaze Minato will rush over and still hear the second half of Tsunade's class. I'll go to Mr. Kinojita and apply. Listen to the second half, listen to the whole thing if you want to listen. The Tsunade he has been thinking about is coming, and he can't sit still. Naturally, he has to leave a good impression on Tsunade. Thinking like this, Uchiha Shijika followed Nami Kaze Minato had a conversation and agreed that Tsunade's class should not be missed. The two of them applied to teacher Kinojita for leave tomorrow afternoon, and as expected, they agreed to apply. Both of them were top students, ranking first and second in cultural classes. This is not just a class ranking, but also a school year ranking. By the way, the number one in the school year is Uchiha Shijika. In order to become Hokage, he strongly endorsed and concentrated as much as he did in the college entrance examination in his previous life. Who said his opponent was Nami Kaze Minato? If you don't deal with it with all your strength, you don't know when Minato Nami Kaze will catch up. This is the future fourth generation Hokage, and you can't overestimate it. Although the two have a good relationship now, they are close friends. They are also rivals. If Uchiha Shijika views Nami Kaze Minato like this, why doesn't Nami Kaze Minato view Uchiha Shijika as a rival? They compete with each other, encourage each other, and grow with each other. Both of them still dream of becoming Hokage. Nami Kaze Feng Shuman sometimes couldn't help but think to himself that there were a lot of similarities between the two of them. They behaved like the same person. If Uchiha Shijika knew what Nami Kaze Minato was thinking, he would complain. Nonsense, I just learned from you. With the ready-made template for the next four generations of Hokage, Uchiha Shijika naturally had to take advantage of it. The next afternoon, Uchiha Shijika and Nami Kaze Minato came to the medical class. Looking over, Uchiha Shijika was stunned for a moment. Who did he see? Tsunade's younger brother, Tsunade, a popular figure in the ninja school was talking to the pharmacist Nuno Yu. Kong Hua, Minato, you are here. Yakushi Nanoya stood up and introduced to the two of them this is senior Naoki, one year older than us. I know you are well known throughout the ninja school. Hehe, <laughs> I know you too too. Naoki chuckled, a little silly. Uchiha Shijika looked like Uzumaki Naruto. The two looked different, but their silly temperament was exactly the same. Nanoyu told me that two top students came to the medical class and they memorized the textbook very fast. Shenchu looked at the two of them with admiration I really admire you for being able to read so thickly, so hard to pronounce, and so, such a difficult book to understand. His sister once taught him medical ninjutsu, but he failed at the first step of endorsement. Fortunately, I have some understanding. Uchiha said modestly and wanted to say something else. A sweet voice came over. Shenchu, my sister is here to see you. Uchiha Shijika turned his head, his eyes blazing. Tsunade, here we come. 
Now Tsunade is still a plain girl, and her chest does not rise or fall. There was a bright smile on her delicate little face. Compared with her fierce and courageous appearance later, Tsunade now looked young, youthful, and beautiful. Shenshu, my sister is here to see you. Tsunade rushed over and hugged Naoki, who pushed Tsunade away in embarrassment. Sister, there are so many people watching around you. Just watch, we are siblings, what's wrong with a hug? Tsunade muttered with some dissatisfaction, and she looked at the people beside Naoki. She knew Yakushi Nono, she had met him when he came to give lectures before. She also knew Nami Kaze Minato, the child that Jiraiya had always talked about. Depending on the situation, the possibility of becoming Jiraiya's disciple is very high. Tisk tisk, it's hard for this handsome guy to have a pervert master. Tsunade's sympathetic look left Nami Kaze Minato confused. What happened next? Tsunade looked at Uchiha Shijika. Tsunade Sensei, my name is Uchiha Shijika. Please give me your advice. Uchiha Shijika saw Tsunade looking at him and immediately introduced himself, appearing humble and polite. At the same time, Uchiha Shijika observed Tsunade and saw that she was not unhappy, and he was relieved. It seems that Tsunade there is no prejudice against the Uchiha clan, and it is a very equal gaze. The same is true for the two descendants of the Senju clan. The two descendants of the Senju clan have not been affected by the ideas of their ancestors. People born after the establishment of Kanaha and the legacy of the Warring States period people under the influence have different ideological educations and have different views on things. Of course, Uchiha's love of going crazy is also an important reason. Although he was born in the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Shijika has lived in these years and has a strong understanding of Uchiha. Some people in the clan hold different views. They are paranoid and radical, which makes people shake their heads. If there is a Shimura Danzo in the top management of Kanaha, then there will be a group of Shimura Danzo in the Uchiha clan. The lethality of Shimura Danzo it is conceivable. It can only be said that both sides ran towards each other, pulling each other until one fell into the abyss. Obviously, it was the Uchiha clan who fell into the abyss, and Uchiha Shijika did not want to fall with him. Tsunade waved her hand and said I'm not your teacher. Tsunade sensei wants to give us a lecture, why isn't she our teacher? Uchiha Shijika's words made Tsunade stunned. You mean, do you want to listen to the class later? Tsunade asked hesitantly, then she noticed us and she looked at Nami Kaze Minato. Minato, you too. Nami Kaze Minato knew Tsunade, the person Jiraiya-sama talked about most, and he was lucky enough to see the famous scene where Tsunade-sama punched Jiraiya-sama away. Yes, Tsunade-sama, Shijika and I took the medical class. It's really strange, Minato, you actually choose to learn medical ninjutsu? Judging from your appearance, do you feel guilty about Jiraiya's arrangements? Tsunade could see Nami Kaze Minato's reason for learning medical ninjutsu at a glance. That's what Tsunade Sama said. Nami Kaze Minato smiled and said in addition, I also think that learning medical ninjutsu will be of great benefit to my practice. Tsunade Sama, I really want to learn medical ninjutsu. What about you, Uchiha child? Uchiha Shijika put on a gentle smile and said I can save myself when I am injured and I can help my companions heal when I perform missions in the future. Of course, it is also good for my personal practice. Chakra control can be more precise and unnecessary consumption can be reduced. The feeling this Uchiha child gave her, Tsunade looked at Nami Kaze Minato. She knew where this sense of deja vu came from. Isn't this just Minato's way of treating others? This is very different from the Uchiha clan people she has come into contact with. You are different from other Uchihas. Tsunade looked deeply at Uchiha Shijika. People born in the Uchiha clan have a kind of arrogance, which is the glory brought to them by the blood inheritance limited Sharingan and the powerful strength of their ancestors. They feel proud because of their family. It is not uncommon, but there are not many people who are as arrogant as the Uchiha clan. 
Uchiha Shijika did not comment on Tsunade's words. Tsunade has only seen a few Uchiha. Where there is madness, there are peaceful people. Not everyone in the Uchiha clan likes to go crazy. For example, his deskmate Uchiha Mikato is very gentle and kind, and another example is Uchiha Fugaku who is in the police force, that is the ninja emperor. The glory of the family may make them proud. But it is not derailed from reality. Just because my ancestors were richer does not mean that I am richer. Tsunade thinks that he is different from other Uchiha. That is because in the Uchiha clan, there are too many people in the Uchiha clan who are richer than me. He couldn't see the reality clearly, was arrogant, and jumped around. No matter how gentle Saratobi Hiruzen was, he couldn't be gentle when he encountered these Sabi, not to mention that these crazy actions played into the hands of Danzo Nabke Shimura Uchiha. Shijika took a deep breath, and his inky eyes shined into Tsunade's amber pupils. Tsunade Sensei, not all Uchiha are what you think. These words made Tsunade stunned and her eyes were full of meaning. It is true that you cannot infer a person based on the established impression, but how many Uchiha Shijika are there in the Uchiha clan? Tsunade began to teach courses. For the current first year medical class, Tsunade taught more about the content in books. Other than that, he just brought a half-dead fish back to life and opened the eyes of the students in the medical class. Shen Shu scratched her ears and cheeks swaying left and right, unable to sit still, with a mask of pain on her face. So he didn't want his sister to come at all. Every time he comes, he must be detained in the classroom and forced to listen to the lectures. The key is that he cannot desert, otherwise what he will get when he comes home at night is the iron fist of his sister's love. It's uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. The young Naoki wanted to graduate and leave this ninja school as soon as possible. He looked at the front row, where Yakushi Nono was taking notes. Beside her, Uchiha Shijika and Nami Kaze Minato were listening to the class seriously. I really admire them, now Shu thought to himself. As a descendant of the Senju clan, children of the Uchiha clan always have to fight when they meet but after learning that Uchiha Shijika can memorize medical books that even he is afraid of. Shenshu no longer wanted to fight. In his simple mind, what he can't do but what others can do is to be better than him. Tsunade was observing while giving lectures, and when she saw Nasha fidgeting, she hardened her fists, thinking about going home and giving her an iron fist of love. She was pleased to see pharmacist Nono. She came to the medical class to give lectures only three times, but she was very optimistic about pharmacist Nono, and he would definitely be an excellent medical ninja in the future. The two children, Minato and Shichika, listened carefully and attentively to the class, making Tsunade nod with satisfaction. She clapped her hands OK, students, today's class is over, you can ask if there is anything you don't know. Uchiha Shijika did his part and asked several questions in a row. Tsunade explained one by one and looked at Uchiha Shijika in surprise. Being able to ask these questions meant that he had listened to this lesson. After a while, I saw that the students had no problems. Tsunade announced get out of class is over, students, go home and be safe. Great. The rope tree was excited and came back to consciousness from the sluggish state. This torture lesson is finally over. Under the towering Hokage Rock, the Hokage's office building stands here. Saratobi Hiruzen smoked his pipe while working. At this time, he was not as old and short as he was later, but instead looked tall and strong. He is checking the evaluation of the students by the teachers of the ninja school. Minato, he is indeed the child that Jiraiya likes. Saratobi Hiruzen read Kinoshita Sensei's evaluation of Nami Kaze Minato. Thinking of the child's excellence, this evaluation was a matter of course. And Uchiha Shijika, who could dominate Nami Kaze Minato, was even more valued by Saratobi Hiruzen. Uchiha, Konghua. Saratobi Hiruzen exhaled a puff of smoke, and his face could not be seen clearly in the mist. The teachers were full of praise for Uchiha Shijika. 
Compared to Minato, Uchiha Shijika had more compliments. Saratobi Hiruzen used the telescope technique to observe Uchiha Shijika. As he observed, the more he discovered Uchiha Shijika's excellence. He was so excellent, both in terms of dealing with people and in ninja training and learning. He was gentle and gentle. Modest, polite. He simply doesn't look like a member of the Uchiha clan. However, Saratobi Hiruzen did not fall into the spiral of stereotypes. He is the Hokage, the leader of the village, the patriarch of everyone. Regardless of whether they are commoners or clan members, they are his companions and family members that he wants to protect. For Hiruzen Saratobi, it is obvious which one to choose between a peaceful Uchiha and a crazy Uchiha. Instead of joining the police force, I chose ninja school. Everyone wants excellent talents, and Hiruzen Saratobi, as the Hokage, is even more eager for talents. Especially those who can help him do things and move some of his cages are even more precious. The police force is basically the voice of the Uchiha clan, and it is difficult for Hiruzen Saratobi to influence the internal affairs of the police force. However, Uchiha Shijika chose ninja school. As the principal of the ninja school, he can affect many things. For example, ninjas who graduated from the ninja school are more favored by Hiruzen Saratobi and are more likely to be promoted. Even after some operation, it is not difficult to become a close confidant of the third Hokage and enter the direct ANBU. He exempted the ninja school from tuition and assessment for clan children, and passed the admission directly not for charity. Subtly weakening the traces of the clan's descendants and deepening the label as a ninja of Kanaha Hidden Village, making them not limited to one clan, but becoming a part of the village. To contribute to the village, for him, the Hokage, to do everything. Simply put, become a supporter of the Hokage lineage. This is what Saratobi Hiruzen expected and wanted. I hope you can be like the mirror, jumping out of the family and holding the village in your heart. Don't let me down. Saratobi Hiruzen is not only special to Uchiha Shijika, except for him, other ninja clan children are under his attention. And Uchiha Shijika is the best among these children who are paying attention. Dong Dong. Hokage Sama, Assistant Sama has arrived. The ANBU's voice made Saratobi Hiruzen look up from the papers and looked over in confusion. Danzo Shimura had already opened the door and walked in. Danzo, what's the matter? Shimura Danzo, who was not a one-eyed dragon, came to Saratobi Hiruzen with sinister eyes and vigorous steps. News came from the root, there was something strange happening to Yugakura's Sancho Fish Hanzo. He is gathering his ninja troops and heading north. When Saratobi Hiruzen heard this, his expression became serious. Zayongbei, are you launching a war against the land of grass? Shimura Danzo the country of grass does not want to fight Sancho Hanzo, and it seems that Hanzo does not want to go to war with the country of grass. They are marching in a hurry and have already crossed the country of grass and entered the territory of Takano. Saratobi Hiruzen looked at the map of the ninja world on the wall, and fixedly looked at a country in the north of the country of Taki. It was a country of warriors. The atmosphere in the ninja world is a bit impetuous now. I heard that there are more voices of other ninja villages launching wars to plunder resources. Indeed. Shimura Danzo said 70% of the mission rewards in the ninja world have been taken by us, Kanaha, and they are fighting for the remaining 30% which is not enough to support the village. At the same time, there are voices in the famous government offices of other countries saying that they need to disarmament and cut funding. Saratobi Hiruzen sighed it's been such an eventful time. There are more voices of starting a war within the ninja village. The Daiming Mansion is already feeling heartbroken and dissatisfied with the increase in funding due to the reduction in the remuneration for ninja village missions. Not all countries have a superior environment like the fire country and are fully self-sufficient in resources. No problem. The flames of war are getting stronger and stronger. Sancho Hanzo probably wants the mineral supplies from the Iron Kingdom. If it is to prepare for war, in the country heading north, the minerals of the Iron Country will be more helpful to Sancho Hanzo. 
it is reasonable to speculate that that is the goal of Sancho Hanzo's urgent march. Hiruzen, if this continues, war will be inevitable. We can take the initiative while they are busy taking care of themselves. Danzo. So. Shimura's eyes flashed fiercely after more than ten years of training, it's time for the ninja world to know the edge of Kanaha, the number one ninja village. Saratobi Hiruzen shook his head and rejected Shimura Danzo's suggestion. I took the lead in signing the end of war agreement, and we cannot be the first to break it. That was the first ninja war, the end war agreement implemented by Hiruzen Saratobi just after he ascended to the position of Hokage. In the first ninja war, Kanaha lost the second Hokage, and Kumagakura lost the second Reikage. Kirigakura and Iwagakura's second generation cage died together. Only Sunagakura did not participate in the first ninja war and developed silently. Once the end war agreement implemented by Saratobi Hiruzen was launched, the various ninja villages did not agree at first, but they did not I disagree. After all, the negotiations were successfully implemented after a pause, which became an important symbol of the end of the first Shinobi World War. That was his contribution to ending the war, Saratobi Hiruzen, who was praised by others. Now he takes the initiative to start a war and destroy the end of war agreement he introduced, praise turned to contempt in an instant. Didn't he become a villain who broke his word? Let them fight on their own, as long as it doesn't involve Kanaha, it's none of our business. Saratobi Hiruzen chuckled and said learn from the second Kazakage. No matter how chaotic it is outside, I will remain calm. Our country of fire has abundant products and can be self-sufficient. Danzo, we shouldn't be the ones who should be anxious. Isn't the abundance of products exactly what they lack? Danzo Shimura sneered Hiruzen, you will regret it when they turn around and attack us. Whoever attacks Kanaha will be regretted by me. Saratobi Hiruzen, who is in his prime, is not afraid of trouble Danzo, do more research on other countries' intelligence. Shimura Danzo frowned. Saratobi Hiruzen's giving orders made him feel uncomfortable, but the other party was the Hokage, and he was just assisting. Got it, Hiruzen. Shimura Danzo left. When he walked out of the room, he looked back at the seat belonging to the Hokage, with strong jealousy and regret flashing through his heart. Hiruzen, if I could have stood up back then, now I'm the one giving the orders. If you can stand up. It is said that there was a war in the Kingdom of Iron. I heard that it was Ogakura's Sancho Fish Hanzo. After so many years of peace, why did a war suddenly break out? An Uchiha who was drinking sake sneered wars have always existed, but they are big or small. I hope that Sancho Hanzo will be stronger and expand the war to the entire ninja world. It would be great if that was the case. Another. Uchiha smiled excitedly we Uchiha must go to the battlefield to fight and let the ninja world know the reputation of our Uchiha clan. Know the power of Sharingan. What I am saying is that no matter what, the expansion of the war is a good thing for us. This is an opportunity for the Uchiha clan. With our strong strength, we will definitely be able to obtain the position of Hokage based on our achievements on the battlefield. The tempera you ordered has arrived. Uchiha Shijika put down the tempera and interrupted the Uchiha people at the table. Hearing what these Uchiha people said, he rolled his eyes and felt speechless. Saratobi Hiruzen was at the peak of spring and autumn, why? Do you think that you can achieve the position of Hokage by getting results on the battlefield? Uchiha Shijika doesn't understand the brain circuits of these people, and his thinking is a bit too simple. There is no way for Hokage to retire, unless he retires voluntarily, otherwise it is basically tenure-track position. Uncle Kenji, please keep your voice down, you are affecting other people. The man named Uchiha Kenji looked around and found that others were looking at him with frowns, and he felt embarrassed. Oh oh, we'll keep it down. Uchiha Shijika left. At this time, he heard the Uchiha clan members at another table talking quietly. Is a war a good thing? I'm on my way to the battlefield. Keep your voice down, don't let that group of people hear it. 
forget about talking about peace, you actually actively embrace war. Uchiha are a peace-loving people. The third Hokage, please don't be affected by these war maniacs. So is it war or peace? Uchiha Shijika is not surprised at all. The Uchiha clan has never been united, and it is not uncommon for people to have opposite ideas. Sancho Hanzo's attack on the Iron Kingdom had a great impact. Uchiha Shijika helped his family fry tempera on his day off, and he had already heard the guests discussing the matter back and forth. Looking through the pipe, the Uchiha clan is like this, and the entire Kanaha is probably the same, paying a lot of attention to this war. Because the ninja world has not seen such a brave person for a long time. As the Uchiha man said, there have always been wars, big or small. There have always been local wars. Not to mention border frictions between big countries, it is not uncommon for small domestic conflicts to cause fights. However, it is rare for Sancho Hanzo to invade other countries with such a clear-cut banner. Internal wars in small countries rarely spill over, because the daimyo of small countries can hire ninjas from large countries to dissuade small countries from thinking about invading. However, Hanzo Hanzo was not deterred by ninjas from large countries and had a firm belief in the invasion of the Iron Kingdom. This gives this war a different meaning. The Kingdom of Iron cannot stop Sancho Hanzo, so it will inevitably hire ninjas from the great powers to resist the invasion. In the past, when large countries moved out ninjas, small countries would either give up the idea, or start a fight and find that their own food was outrageous and completely unable to withstand the attack of the big country ninjas. The result was usually a successful S-level mission, and the reward was paid and the war was ended. However, the reward for this S-level mission is not easy to get. Sancho Hanzo is not an ordinary person. Soon, he will let everyone in the ninja world realize his power and be named a demigod. Kanaha can still have peace for a few more years, leaving little room for Uchiha Shijika to grow. He must work hard to grow and become stronger, then ride on the wind and dance on the wave of the times. That's it, host, come on, become Hokage, and then pay off your debts and generate income. The corners of Uchiha Shijika's mouth twitched, he was in debt, he had to dance. Mom, I went to play at my classmate's house. In the afternoon, the store became more relaxed. Uchiha Shijika said hello and went to the Senju mansion. After getting to know the rope tree that time, they kept in touch with each other more, and their relationship got further and they became friends who talked about everything. With the help of the rope, thanks to Shu's friendship, he can enter the Senju mansion openly, meet Tsunade from time to time, and ask for advice on medical ninjutsu. Your boy is here again today. Tsunade held her hands and looked at Uchiha Shijika with a smile on her face, feeling speechless for Naoki in her heart. Her stupid brother still hasn't seen through this kid's mind. At first, Tsunade really thought that Uchiha Shijika was they came for the rope tree, but as time went by, Tsunade realized that things were not that simple. Uchiha Shijika spent a lot of time with the rope tree, but it was shorter than Tsunade. Good guy, Shisunade Hans has spent the most time with Uchiha Shijika. Is he here to play with Nezuki, or is he here to play with Tsunade? I made an agreement with the rope tree that we will have a battle today. What about after the battle? Do you have many questions you want to ask me? Uchiha. Shijika heard this and scratched his head in embarrassment. Student is stupid, I hope teacher Tsunade can teach me more, can't you? Looking over with wet eyes expectantly, Tsunade sighed. She already knew that this kid had bad intentions. However, Uchiha Shijika was studious and thirsty for knowledge. She didn't hate children who studied hard. But she didn't want to time is wasted on Uchiha Shijika. If she has that time, wouldn't it be nice for her to go to the casino and play a few games? Tsunade's amber eyes turned, thinking of the rope tree and she had an idea in her mind. Kong Hua, I don't have that much time to waste on you. But... Tsunade wore a bright smile, and what she said made Uchiha Shijika secretly think that something was wrong. If you can make the rope tree listen to my teachings, 
I wouldn't mind taking the time to teach you more. After that, Tsunade smiled and patted Uchiha Shijika's little head, and left the Senju mansion. She was going to the stud. Uchiha Shijika smiled bitterly. It seems that it was too much for Tsunade to notice, but Tsunade Han didn't have any bad opinions about what he did, but he left a request that made Uchiha Shijika feel embarrassed. Let Naoki listen to Tsunade's teachings? The last thing Naoki didn't want to listen to was Tsunade's teachings. Haha, <laughs> Xiao Gang always comes up with something, which makes it difficult for you, Xiao Kong Hua. A kind voice came, Uchiha Shijika looked up and quickly bowed humbly. Excuse me, Grandma Mito. The body is hunched, with white hair tinged with red, and the whole person has a gentle temperament, like the old lady next door. The wife of the first Hokage Senju Hashirama, the first Kyuubijin Hiroki Uzumaki Mito. She is Tsuna grandmother with hands and rope tree. Come in, I've prepared tea and snacks for you. Uchiha Shijika nodded, took off his shoes and entered the house. He glanced at Mito Uzumaki as he passed by. She was no different from an ordinary old lady. She was senile and walked slowly. It is completely unimaginable that this old man is the best in Kanaha now. A strong person. Mito Uzumaki watched Uchiha Shijika with a smile. A wonderful Uchiha. One day, a member of the Uchiha clan could enter the mansion of the Senju clan. Times have really changed. Mito Uzumaki's heart with emotion, Hashirama's wish is gradually becoming a reality. The Warring States period is really far behind. Wow! Naoki screamed and fell to the ground. Uchiha Shijika saw this and quickly stopped his hand to help Naoki up. Naoki shook his arm, the pain still remained on it, and he was shaking a little. Hiss, you are so strong. Shenshu was a little frustrated and said, I didn't expect that I would lose so quickly. You guys are really strong. You are a little weak, Uchiha Shijika thought silently. As the grandson of the first Hokage Senju Hashirama, Naoki has received attention from all over Kanaha since he was born. In order to respond to this expectation and pressure, Naoki did not fall. My grandfather is famous and his cultivation is not without hard work. But, how to say? Roshu, who is one year older than them, has an average grade in cultural classes. In addition to cultural classes, he is also practicing ninja training and has started practical courses. In terms of actual combat, Naoki was not the best either. The first in the class was a child from the Abarame clan. This achievement surprised many people who paid attention to him. I can't beat you or Minato. Am I really my grandfather's grandson? Broken, Naoki began to wonder if he was a descendant of Senju Hashirama. Is this making the child an autistic EMO? Uchiha Shijika quickly comforted your strength is not weak in the first place, but it is not complete. Play. You have plenty of chakra and your physical skills are not bad, but your chakra control ability is relatively weak, which affects your strength. By the way, rope tree, have you learned to step on the tree? Naoki's answer surprised Uchiha Shijika. Ah, what is that? Are you serious? Naoki nodded, indicating that he was indeed serious. Uchiha Shijika was silent, then walked towards a big tree in the garden of Senju Mansion, and then under Naoki's surprised eyes, he walked as if walking on flat ground. On the tree trunk. The rope tree looked left and right, and even touched it. Uchiha Shijika was walking on flat ground, motionless. This, this, this. How did you do that? Uchiha. Shijika kicked off his feet and landed on the ground with a somersault. He looked at the rope tree and said strangely I'm still surprised. Are you sure you don't know how to step on a tree? Didn't your sister teach you? No, no matter what, you should have seen others perform it before, right? Wait, maybe you haven't seen it before. After all. Stepping on trees is basic and is rarely seen except in teaching scenes. After all, we are in a village. Most ninjas walk along the walls and rarely walk on the trees. 
There are many trees in the village and there are more houses. You see, the three little ones from the future class 7 are all unfamiliar with tree stepping. It can be seen that there are really not many tree stepping practice scenes in the village. Is it dark under some lights? Hey, wait. Isn't this a breakthrough point? Uchiha Shijika changed his mind and thought of a way. Rope tree, your foundation is not bad, but your chakra control is relatively poor, and the output is not stable enough. If you complete the practice of stepping on trees and water like me, you will be able to initially control chakra as arm drive, reduce unnecessary consumption, and stabilize chakra output. In this way, your strength can be fully exerted, and you will not be strong at one moment and weak at another. He discovered this situation when he was fighting the rope tree. It was obviously caused by the instability of chakra. Can you still tread water? Naoki was surprised, walking on the water, is this really possible? So Kanaha is still too peaceful, like other ninjas in shinobi villages with harsh environments who don't know the basic training of chakra control. Uchiha Shijika shook his head, Kanaha he is very good at educating people. How many people have been deceived by the will of fire, but it is not perfect in cultivating ninja abilities. There are even flaws in basic training. Uchiha Shijika scoffed, and he must not let such a thing happen when he becomes Hokage. Occur. Damn it, if there is such a practice, why didn't sister tell me? Naoki was a little depressed. He wouldn't be sleepy if Tsunade taught him this. But it's not too late to know now. It's just, Naoki looked at himself. Was it really because he had poor chakra control and was not stable enough that he couldn't defeat Konghua and Minato? If Uchiha Shijika knew what Naoki was thinking, he would tell him cruelly, no. Even if Nezuki's chakra is stable, its strength in all aspects is not as good as that of Uchiha Shijika and the true genius Nami Kaze Minato. Don't compare with them, but Rotri shouldn't be the first in his class to defeat them, question? Uchiha Shijika began to guide the rope tree cultivation. Come on, distribute the chakra evenly on the solace of your feet, no more, no less, then step on it, and make fine adjustments in real time according to the tolerance of the tree trunk. Snapped. As soon as he stepped on the rope tree, it fell upside down. He was not discouraged. He adjusted carefully and ran up the trunk, and then continued to fall down. One of the characteristics of the Senjua clan is that chakra is abundant and huge. It is not easy to control a huge amount of chakra. So, Uchiha Konghua Tokian Dagger met. Naoki, let's learn medical ninjutsu from Tsunade Sensei. There were branches hanging on the rope tree, and his clothes were dirty and torn. He looked like a savage. Hearing Uchiha Shijika's words, he was stunned for a moment, and then his voice suddenly became louder. What? Want to learn medical ninjutsu from your sister? I don't want it. Uchiha. Shijika said slowly you don't really want to learn medical ninjutsu, you just want to learn the key points of chakra control. Rope tree, do you want to learn to tread trees and water as soon as possible? Think about it, but, thinking of those medical books, Shencha felt dizzy but I don't want to study. Who wants you to study? Uchiha Shijika looked at him in surprise you want to learn chakra control, right? That's right. Those medical books are for learning medical ninjutsu. You are here to learn chakra control. Why are you reading? Uchiha. Shijika shook his head the process of learning medical ninjutsu is to learn chakra control. This is to speed up your practice of treading trees and treading water. When you master it, you can give up learning medical ninjutsu. Shenshu touched his head, it seems to make sense, but I still don't want to learn it. I'll go find my sister and ask about the training method of chakra control. She must have a way. Why do I need to learn medical ninjutsu? Because the key points of the practice of stepping on trees and water are so simple and unpretentious, you have to understand and familiarize yourself. Genius people will understand the key points immediately, and they will know it once or twice. 
people who are not smart can only rely on falling down again and again to let their bodies memorize it. Naoki was the latter. Uchiha Shijika had told him all the important points, but he still failed over and over again. After that, Naoki asked Tsunade who had returned home. After hearing Naoki's question, Tsunade answered with a bad face. Uchiha Shijika thought to himself, with this look on his face, I'm afraid he's going to lose miserably. He is indeed the legendary big fat sheep. If one day he runs out of money, he can gamble with Tsunade and make a huge profit. After asking, Naoki pulled him. Face, why is this exactly the same as what Kong Hua said? Although he can learn it through water grinding Kung Fu, he still wants to learn it as soon as possible. So, do you want to learn it? Medical Ninjutsu? Naoki rolled his throat and said embarrassedly, Sister, can I not read those medical books and just learn medical ninjutsu? Ah! Tsunade looked at Naoshu with a horrified expression. You are not Naoshu, who are you? Tsunade looked at Uchiha Shijika, as if asking how this was done. Incredibly, Naoki, who listened to her guidance like a mouse to a cat, actually one day offered to learn medical ninjutsu. Uchiha Shijika had a faint smile, which seemed inscrutable to Tsunade. How is this done? You cannot fully utilize the full effectiveness of medical ninjutsu without reading medical books. Ahem. Uchiha Shijika quickly reminded Tsunade, look at Naoki's quickly slumped little face. After Uchiha Shijika's reminder, Tsunade's heart skipped a beat, and Naoki finally offered to learn from her but you can't dampen the child's enthusiasm for learning. Tsunade quickly changed the topic however, it's not that strict. If you want to learn, it's not like I can't make some concessions. Sister means. The expression on Naisha's face changed, and the face that had been pulled down just now immediately became happy and joyful. Great. There is no need to study. To learn ninjutsu, learn medical ninjutsu first. Boom. Ah. It hurts. Naoki covered his head, Tsunade clenched her fists, and said with a smile Naoki, you're getting carried away, aren't you? Do you remember that your sister is here too? He openly said something about not studying, begging for a beating. Ah, sister, have mercy. Uchiha Shijika looked at the siblings chasing each other and gave himself a thumbs up. Doesn't this solve Tsunade's problem? Although Ida Euro trademark s just a layer of medical ninjutsu, Ida Euro trademark s enough if the results are achieved. Tsunade was willing to admit defeat, so she spent less time going to the casino and spent more time teaching Naoki and Uchiha Shijika. Afterwards, Tsunade asked how Uchiha Shijika got his brother to want to learn medical ninjutsu. Uchiha Shijika tells the truth. Actually, that's right. Tsunade was stunned, so the rope tree is to learn chakra control faster and dabble in medical ninjutsu? The learning process of medical ninjutsu will indeed enhance the practice of chakra control. Tsunade glanced at the rope tree, and in the end the rope tree was not I am really willing to learn medical ninjutsu. But he has already started to learn, hasn't he? Uchiha Shijika finished finishing the test paper given by Tsunade and said with a smile Tsunade Sensei, the next step is to see if you can make Naoki willing to learn medical ninjutsu. Tsunade nodded, that's right. So Tsunade is willing to admit defeat. Although there are some differences between her original idea and the current results, Naoki probably started learning medical ninjutsu, and the results are different but not bad. He is really a big kid and has too many tricks. Tsunade muttered, and then carefully marked Uchiha Shijika's test papers. Ah, don't a Euro trademark T die, keep living for me. The noisy sound of the rope tree came again, and Tsunade pressed her temple helplessly. Another fish died. It made Tsunade feel a little cruel. Well, lead a Euro trademark s continue eating steamed fish tonight. Recently, you have been going to the Senjo clan's clan more often. At night, Uchiha Ichiro was preparing the ingredients for tomorrow's store, and suddenly said something to Uchiha Shijika who was helping next to him. Yes, 
it's my luck that Tsunade Sensei is willing to spend more time teaching me. Uchiha Shijika put down the ingredients and looked at his father. Do you feel dissatisfied? He is a mixed Uchiha, with two life experiences in the past and this life. After all, he is different from the local Uchiha. Therefore, his father it was normal for Uchiha Ichiro to criticize him for going to the Senju clan. But Uchiha Shijika observed and found that he was a bit of a villain. That was a worried look. The people in the clan are dissatisfied with you going to the Thousand Hands clan. Kong Hua, please be careful these days. Yes, Kong Hua, eat a Euro trademark s better to go there less in the future. Mother Uchihami nodded and said worriedly I'm afraid those people will bully you. Uchiha. Shijika was silent and said for a long time I know, Dad, Mom. Uchiha Ichiro and Uchihami relaxed after receiving their son's assurance. Their children have been very sensible since they were young, and they will do it if they say so. But unfortunately, in this regard, Uchiha Shijika will let the two elders down. He is sensible but not afraid of trouble. Becoming a disciple of Tsunade is one of his goals. What should he do if there is a stumbling block on the road to his goal? Kick it away, move it away, smash it. With Uchiha Shijika with a plug-in, as his abilities grow, his confidence becomes stronger and he becomes more daring to think and do. A Euro host, you are different from when you first met the system. What a big change a Euro. This is human beings, who will change and grow according to different environmental capabilities. Uchiha. Shijika praised the system and said these are all changes brought about by the system. A Euro hum hum, this is the meaning of the system's existence. If the host grows well, the system feels very happy. A Euro. Feeling the joyful emotion clearly coming from the system, Uchiha Shijika smiled warmly. A Euro of course, if the host can become a Hokage as soon as possible and obtain a lot of rough stones, the system will be happier a Euro. Eat a Euro trademark s done now, don't a Euro trademark t rush it. With his parents' warning still in his ears. Uchiha Shijika still went his own way and headed to the Senju clan. After beating the rope tree and listening to Tsunade's teachings, I walked out of the Senju clan. The sky had turned fiery red, fire clouds were all over the sky, and it was already dusk. Just after Uchiha Shijika entered the Uchiha clan, his eyes moved slightly, and then he walked towards home without changing his expression. As he passed a street corner, he was stopped by some people. All dressed up as Uchiha, the leader of the Uchiha tribe looked at Uchiha Shijika with evil intentions. Uchiha Shijika knew these people. After all, they were all members of the Uchiha clan. But if relatives are relatives and think differently and do things differently, then they have different ways and do not work together. Kong Hua, you must have just returned from the Thousand Hands clan. The leader of the Uchiha clan said with a malicious smile you have been going there often recently. Do you know that the Senju clan and our Uchiha clan are feuding? I only know that we are all part of Kanaha. I deeply agree with what Hokage-sama often says. Kanaha is a larger family and we are all one family. Therefore, when I go to the Senju clan, it is like going home. Uchiha Shijika looked around these clansmen and said the Uchiha clan and the Senju clan used to be feuds, but now we are all Kanaha people. You Kanaha man, make me laugh, you look quite happy. Uchiha Shijika looked at the fatter clan members with a smile that made people feel happy. I do feel happy, but it seems that you must not be happy. Bah, what a family, what Kanaha people, bah. The disgusting words Saratobi Hiruzen said. This Kanaha should belong to the Uchiha clan. What kind of Hokage is he? He's just from a lower class clan. That is. Another Uchiha tribesman spoke forget about Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobirama, what the hell is Saratobi Hiruzen? Is he worthy of being Hokage? There is no one in the Senju clan now. The position of Hokage should belong to our Uchiha clan. How dare the old monkey dare to steal the position of Hokage? You are not allowed to say that to Hokage-sama. 
Uchihashijika flashed in front of the tribesman. While the tribesman was still cursing, before he could react, Uchihashijika kicked him away. Damn little devil! Seeing Uchihashijika take action, several other people suddenly became furious and punched and kicked Uchihashijika. We are here for your own good, don't forget that you are an Uchiha. I am the Uchiha of Kanaha. Uchihashijika choked the opponent. Since he chose to start the group first, he naturally had no intention of stopping. After kicking the Uchiha away, he immediately rushed to the other Uchiha and avoided him. With the whip kick coming, he raised his fist and struck hard at the opponent's waist. The opponent was already on alert, and would not be able to succeed by surprise like before. He reacted quickly and formed a palm with his right hand to block Uchihashijika's punch. Uchihashijika missed a single blow and quickly pulled away to avoid the fist of another tribesman with a solemn expression. Each of the six people wore Kanaha forehead protectors, which showed that they had passed the police force assessment. A ninja, at least a genin. Uchihashijika was dealing with a few people. The five people plus the Uchiha tribesman who was kicked away by him, everyone had a ferocious sneer on their faces, chakra surged, and Taijutsu fists and kicks were thrown at them fiercely. Uchiha Jug called out to him. But every time the attack would fall on Uchiha Jug, he would be dodged by a hair's breadth. This made them furious. You brat, don't hide if you have the guts. Uchiha Shijika responded with a mocking smile Are you sure you are a graduated ninja? Why are you so naive? Don't say you're an Uchiha when you're out. Wow yeah yeah yeah. This made the other party's anger rise. His face was red with anger, and he was a little confused in his moves. Uchiha Shijika was able to move among several people like a butterfly through flowers, either bending down, or being short, or turning sideways to the left and right. As if dancing, he dodged the enemy's attacks one by one. Uchiha Shijika observed while dodging, and he also had a number of the strength of these people. According to his observation, they have the strength of Genin. After all, there are only the Genin had enough time to trouble him. Hey, wait! Uchiha Shijika noticed something. He seemed to have preconceived the idea that the other party was a ninja from the police force. It's in phase, it's in phase. The Kanaha police force is very busy, patrolling throughout the village, maintaining order, strengthening security and arresting people and ninjas with criminal tendencies in the village. Of course, this is what the terms of reference say, but in fact they can arrest ninjas. There are only genin who have no authority in the village. If you want to arrest a Chunin or above, you must ask the Hokage for approval. Thanks to the current relationship between the third Hokage and the Uchiha clan, people from the police force often participate in supporting Anbu work. This is one of Saratobi Hiruzen's methods to win over. At this point in time, it was not the era when they were later squeezed out of Kanaha's core circle. The current police force had a good relationship with Kanaha's top brass, and the corresponding tasks they were entrusted with became more numerous, which seemed cumbersome and busy. Even the genin who was an intern in the police force didn't have much time to block him. Members of the Uchiha clan can pass the assessment of the police force to become genin and work as an intern, but an internship is an internship, and it is not a full-time job, and there is a risk of being dismissed. The Kanaha police force also selects the best from the best, has a fixed establishment, and there is no such thing as redundant officers. And the strength of these people, in Uchiha Shijika's eyes, he looked a little weak. Also, how strong can these twenty or so young-looking Uchiha genin be? Born into the prestigious Uchiha clan, he is still a genin at this age, it's really unreasonable. Uchiha Ataka graduated from the ninja school at the age of seven. Now he has the strength of five-year-old Uchiha Ataki, plus his own training. It's stronger than the five-year-old Uchiha Ataki, probably as strong as the six-year-old Uchiha Ataki. Weaker than the six-year-old Uchiha Ataki, these people's path to becoming genin is a bit easier. Damn it! Uchiha Shijika was hiding and hiding, which made them more and more anxious. Finally, someone couldn't hold it any longer, 
used a sharp weapon, took out a shuriken and threw it away. Others saw someone starting to do it, and they followed suit. For a while, Kunao and shurikens came towards Uchiha Shijika from all directions. With such little skill, how can one with such strength be disrespectful to Hokage-sama? Uchiha Shijika's jade-like eyes turned, capturing the trajectory of Kunao and Shuriken. Then, facing the Shuriken that arrived first, he raised his right hand and grabbed the Shuriken, chakra protecting his hand, Sheng Sheng stopped the rotation of the Shurikens. Next, under the incredible eyes of the group of people, Uchiha Shijika flew up and down with his hands, catching the Kunao Shurikens one by one. Uchiha seeing them stunned in place, Kong Hua revealed a cold smile on his lips. Return it to you. The sound of breaking through the air was heard, and Kunao and Shurikens that were faster than what they had projected passed through their hair, and with a thud, they were nailed into the wall. The force was so strong that it cracked the stone wall. Turned into spider web like cracks. What happened? These Uchiha people's throats rolled, and they were covered in cold sweat. He, he grabbed our Kunao and Shuriken in his hands, and then, and then returned it to them? That sharp voice just now, did it ring from my ears? So close. Only then did these people belatedly look behind them. When they saw the cracked stone wall, they were all horrified. What a powerful force! You are not from the police force, right? Uchiha Shijika's voice sounded, which shocked them. The Kanaha police force is very busy, but you have time to trouble me. Uchiha Shijika said calmly it is true that there are very few people who associate with the Senju clan, but there are many people who associate with Hokage-sama. You are blocking me here, why don't you block those adults? After all, do you still think I am a soft persimmon that is easier to handle? Haha, <laughs> then these people have found the wrong person. Uchiha Shijika sneered in his heart. These people did not speak. They realized that this kid had strength that did not match his age and appearance. Regret filled his heart, but he was still unforgiving. People. We do it for your own good and avoid interacting with the Thousand Hands clan. I believe the adults also think so. With your strength, you will definitely have a big position in the clan in the future. We are here to prevent you from going astray. Guide you. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Uchiha Shijika. Are you worthy of representing the adults? How about I go and ask the adults myself to see if they really think so in their hearts? Also, are we really from the same clan? Do you hate me so much that you even use fire escape? Bang! Uchiha Shijika appeared next to an Uchiha tribesman at some unknown time. He stretched out his hands and grabbed the opponent's wrist. When? As soon as his eyes flickered, Uchiha Shijika appeared next to him. They looked at each other and started talking. I was shocked. Didn't this kid use all his strength just now? This instant speed, too fast. Faster than before. Damn it, you didn't use all your strength to deal with them, you actually underestimated them. Uchiha Shijika looked at the other person with a smile and the other person came back to his senses and struggled quickly. Feeling the opponent's struggle, Uchiha Shijika was not polite, increased his strength, and stretched his hands outward. Ah! The screams, like those of a slaughtered pig, made other people's hearts sink, as if they were falling into a cold ice cave. Uchiha Shijika turned his head, his smile becoming more kind. You think you are stronger than me? so you are causing trouble for me. But now, I am stronger than you, so I am going to cause trouble for you. Uchiha Shijika appeared again, and under the horrified gaze of the other party, he touched the other party's wrist. I want to put some plaster on this place. Ah ha 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 The six people who came to trouble him, Uchiha Shijika, all fell to the ground and howled in pain. Uchiha Shijika kicked the leading Uchiha clansman. Accusing me of visiting the Senju clan too much and being disrespectful to Hokage-sama, and also saying that he wants to guide me not to go astray. 
Uchiha Shijika squatted down and looked at the other party's twisted and painful face. It sounded nice, but it turned out to be causing trouble for me as a child. I said, I'm only five years old. It's true that adults don't go to the Senju clan very often, but they meet and talk with Hokage-sama much more often than I go to the Senju clan. You don't dare to trouble the adults, but you dare to trouble a child. Trouble. When did we Uchiha become like this? Uchiha Shijika suddenly thought of something and asked the Uchiha tribesman who was causing trouble for him. Judging from your strength, the Kanaha police force will definitely not be able to enter, so what do you, a ninja, do on a daily basis? You can't just idle around and wander around. Passing the assessment of the police force must be reported to Kanaha officials. In other words, no matter how you become a ninja, as long as you wear Kanaha's iconic forehead protector, you are a Kanaha ninja. As a Kanaha ninja, naturally it is impossible for them to do nothing, there is a quota for the number of tasks completed every month. Uchiha Shijika has learned about it, it is not difficult, this kind of fixed goal will only appear in the most common D-level tasks. Just complete at least five D-level tasks every month. So. With this inference, Uchiha Shijika suddenly laughed out loud, as if he had seen something funny. I'm disrespectful to Hokage-sama, but I have to go to the mission hall under the jurisdiction of Hokage-sama every month to pick up missions? Ha ha ha, that's it, they are a bunch of rotten people. Bullying the weak and fearing the strong, what you say is loud and clear, but your body is honest, living under the people you hate. Kanaha originally, as a member of our Uchiha clan, I, I went to take the mission not for Saratobi Hiruzen, but for Kanaha. It's a shame that you could endure the pain and be so harsh with my child. Yes, yes, you are absolutely right. Uchiha Shijika feels bored. If you really do it for Kanaha, then become Hokage. You will only be bragging here and it is of no use at all. Again, don't say your last name is Uchiha when you go out. But I think you can't even beat me, a kid like me. It's really hard for you to become Hokage. Take off your forehead protector as soon as possible. What kind of ninja are you? A ninja that even a five-year-old can't beat? Uchiha Shijika sighed and stood up to leave, leaving the last sentence. The glory of Uchiha was ruined by rotten people like you. Not long after Uchiha Shijika left, a man with a sword on his back appeared here. The man squatted on the wall, glanced at the six people who were still wailing in pain, and then looked thoughtfully at the direction Uchiha Shijika left. Ms. Mikato's classmate, he is not weak, he is a genius. Although these six people are trash, they are real genin. To be able to defeat six genin at this age, this child's talent is worthy of attention. This matter must be reported to Taitai-sama as soon as possible. As for these six pieces of trash, the man named Uchiha Kizawa thought for a while, left here, and found a trainee Uchiha Genin patrolling outside. All these people were arrested and sent to the Kanaha prison behind the Kanaha police building. These trashes do bully the weak and fear the strong, and most of the crimes they commit are bullying and extortion, which is not a serious crime according to the definition of the laws established by the Uchiha clan. Most of the people they bullied were people with little background, such as Uchiha Shijika. Yes, the background is simple. In the Uchiha clan, everyone has relatives, which means that everyone has no relatives. Most people focus on direct blood relatives who are inherited from the same line. For relatives on the branch line, it depends on whether the relationship is good or not. If you have a good relationship, you are often helpful. If your relationship is average or not good, then you are just an acquaintance. And above this are the factions that gather together because of different cognitions, different thoughts and different needs. The Uchiha clan is a big family, and under the big family there are small families. The small families will breed factions with different pursuits due to their thoughts and styles of doing things. Uchiha Shijika's family background is that of a simple one. There are not many important people among the relatives he is familiar with, let alone any factions he has joined. 
but Uchiha Shijika himself is not simple. This time these six people have hit the iron plate. It was not this time that these six people went to jail. They had been in prison several times, but most of them were imprisoned for a few weeks or months before they came out and returned to their old jobs. Returning to prison was as familiar as coming home. But this time, Uchiha Kizawa decided to increase the sentence and give them a harsh sentence, starting from ten years. Who told them to offend Miss Mikato's friends? Uchiha Kizawa found a reason. What if Miss Mikato's friend is not a genius? Then Uchiha Kizawa has another idea. In the final analysis, capable people will always be treated differently. In the days that followed, Uchiha Shijika's life seemed uneventful. The six Uchiha tribesmen who made trouble for him were never seen again after that. At the same time, there was no news about his defeat of six genin. This made Uchiha Shijika realize that there was a story in it. Did someone suppress this? Also, where did those six people go? Uchiha Shijika looked at his deskmate Uchiha Mikato, who happened to be looking at him intently at this moment. Seeing Uchiha Shijika's jade-like eyes looking over at her, Mikato was startled and quickly turned her head to look at the blackboard. Uchiha Shijika looked away and pretended to look at the blackboard, but in fact he was observing Mikato with his peripheral vision. Sure enough, Uchiha Mikato saw him look away, and after breathing a sigh of relief, she started looking at him again. In the past few days, Mikato had obviously looked at him more often, with curiosity and surprise. That kind of sight was so intense that it was difficult for Uchiha Shijika not to notice. This happened after beating those six people, Uchiha Shijika thought. Mikato seemed to know about this matter, so was it the Mikato family who suppressed the matter? The right-hand man of the Uchiha clan leader, Uchiha Ryade. However, attracting attention is something that will happen sooner or later. With his growth rate, as his strength increases and he participates in more events, he will be watched by more and more people. Some of these people will win over him, and some will try to get rid of him. There will also be people investing in his future. So, what role does Uchiha Ritai play in it? Hello, I am Mikato's father, Uchiha Ritai. Uchiha Shijika observed each other. Uchiha Ritai looked young and handsome. If he stood next to Mikato, no one would think he was her father, and more people would think he was her brother. Hello, Rite Taisama, I am Uchiha Shijika. Before he finished speaking, Uchiha Ritai shook his head and smiled let's get rid of unnecessary titles. You are Mikato's classmate and her friend. You and I can be more cordial. Kong Hua, call me uncle from Taiwan. Yes, uncle. I wonder why uncle called me here today? Hearing this, Uchiha. Ritai pretended to be dissatisfied and said, if nothing happens, can't you come? Kong Hua, you should come to play with Mikato more often in the future. That child has a very good relationship with you. Ever since he entered the ninja school, he has been chanting your name at home every day. Uchiha Ritai patted his right ear and said with a smile, my ears are getting calluses when I hear it. Are you sure you didn't make this up? Uchiha Shijika was doubtful. He only thought that Uchiha Ritai was using Mikato's relationship with him to get close to him. To this, Uchiha Shijika naturally nodded in agreement. Yes, uncle from Taiwan, I will come to play with Mikato more often in the future. Well, that's right. Uchiha Ryade nodded with satisfaction, and then he took out a beautiful wooden box and handed it to Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Shijika took it and looked at the other party in confusion. What kind of method is this? He immediately started giving gifts. Well. Uchiha Brigade suddenly sighed I have sent those six people to prison. I will give them the necessary punishment. It is because I did not care about the affairs of the clan well. I learned about this from my daughter Mikan. True the whole situation was learned from his subordinate Uchiha Kizawa, but it was indeed Mikato who asked Uchiha Kizawa to secretly protect Uchiha Shijika. 
Uchihashijika's parents all know that there are people in the clan who are dissatisfied with his frequent visits to the Senjua clan, and others will naturally know if they have intentions. Uchihamikato is the caring person. Ever since I heard that someone disliked Uchihashijika, I was sure that he would take risks and bully Uchihashijika. Uchihamikato then ordered Uchihakizawa to secretly protect Uchihashijika. But Uchihashijika's strength exceeded their expectations. A five-year-old child can actually defeat six genin. What a talent! Uchiharitai was full of disbelief when he heard it for the first time, but with the assurance from his subordinates, he had no choice but to believe it. The five-year-old child in front of him already had the strength of a genin. Such an amazing talent made Uchiharitai immediately want to win over him. He really has to thank his daughter Mikato. An action to protect his comrades actually allowed him to discover such geniuses in advance. There are two ninjutsus in this. This is my apology. Please accept it. Uchihashijika declined Uncle Lutai, please take it back. Those six people have dark minds and have nothing to do with Uncle Lutai. There is no need to apologize to me. Uchiharayode pressed down on the wooden box that was handed over and pushed it back forcefully. If it's wrong, it's wrong. No need to say more, Kong Hwa can just accept it with peace of mind. Uchiha. Shijika accepted the wooden box and said modestly okay, I'll just accept it. Please don't take it to heart, uncle in Taiwan. However, uncle Lutai, doesn't he have any objection to my frequent visits to the Thousand Hands clan? Uchiharayatai picked up a glass of sake and said with a smile of course I have no objection, Kong Hua, I am different from some people in the clan. Please relax. Not only will I not stop you from going to the Senjua clan, on the contrary, I will I hope you can go there more often. Shijika, the Uchiha clan and the Senjua clan were once enemies, but now, we are all part of Kanaha. We are the Uchiha clan of Kanaha. Do you understand? Uchiha Shijika nodded, he understood. The Uchiha Ritai in front of him is a pro Kanaha official faction within the Uchiha clan. He is happy to see Uchiha Shijika's behavior of frequently going to the Senjua clan. Uchiha Ritai laughed at the Uchiha tribesmen who couldn't see the reality and were intoxicated with the glory of the past. According to their tough ideological style, the Uchiha would only usher in destruction instead of becoming stronger. Now the ninja clans are no longer fighting alone. Era There are large and small ninja clans in this big family of Kanaha. Can their Uchiha clan fight against the entire Kanaha? Uchiha Ritai thinks it is impossible in his heart. Since Uchiha cannot dominate Kanaha, then there is no harm in getting closer to Kanaha officials. I heard your dream is to become Hokage? Uchiha. Shijika nodded and said with longing I like Kanaha, I like everyone here, I like everything here, and I want to protect them. Uchiha Shijika said loudly I want to become Hokage. Uchiha. Ritai clapped his hands and said with a smile it's a good dream. My dream was to become Hokage. It's true or not? Uchiha Shijika looked at him with approval but he didn't believe it in his heart. In the early years of Kanaha, the Hokage's authority was not as stable and deeply rooted as it is now. He said that Uchiha Ritai's dream at that time was to become Naruto? Haha! <laughs> there are many things that need to be prepared to become Hokage. The first is extraordinary strength that is praised and convinced. Uchiha Ryode greeted Uchiha Shijika to get up, and the two of them crossed the corridor and came to the courtyard. Let me review your strength. Dad, Kong Hua is here as a guest on his first day. No fighting is allowed. Wow. Uchiha Mikato opened the door and ran out from another room, looking at her father Uchiha Ritai with dissatisfaction. Oh, my good daughter, why did you run out? Uchiha Ritai patted Mikato's little head does this confirm the fact of eavesdropping? Ah. Uchiha Mikato screamed and turned around with a look of shame. Uchiha Shijika responded with a gentle smile. He had already sensed that Uchiha Mikato was eavesdropping in the next room. Since her father didn't stop Mikato from eavesdropping, 
he not to mention he wouldn't go overboard and drive Mikato away. Besides, it was the first time he and Uchiha met in Taiwan, and they wouldn't have much in-depth conversations with each other. This kind of eavesdropping was harmless. It's okay, Mikato, remember to be careful next time. Sorry, Kong Hua. Uchiha Mikato breathed a sigh of relief, and then looked at his father with raised eyebrows. Fighting is prohibited. Kong Hua is here for the first time. We must entertain him well. Mother has prepared the meal. Dad, Kong Hua, let's go eat. Uchiha Ryatai shook his head, feeling pity oh, I still want to see Shijika's strength, but Mikato is right, you really shouldn't use force when you meet for the first time, and you should treat the guests with delicious food. Kong Hua, leave the review of your strength for next time. Come here more often. You have acquired two ninjutsus. If you don't understand anything, just ask me. At night, Uchiha Shijika opened the exquisite box and checked the two ninjutsu. A C-level fire escape and dragon fire technique, and a B-level shadow clone technique. Uchiha Shijika threw it aside casually. With the Uchiha attack a character card, he has already learned these two ninjutsu. What was really useful was Uchiha Ritai's words to ask him if he didn't understand anything. As a jonin of the Uchiha clan, his experience and knowledge are favored by Uchiha Shijika. You can go and ask for advice, but you can't a Euro trademark T go too many times. Although they are pro Kanaha, in the end they are based on the interests of the Uchiha clan. The character Uchiha Shijika now wants to create is to transcend the interests of his own clan and loyally follow the interests of Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen. People's hearts are unpredictable and being too deeply involved with the Uchiha clan can easily cause Saratobi Hiruzen to have other thoughts, which is not good for him. One day after that, Hiruzen Saratobi came to the ninja school to give a lecture. After class, Hiruzen Saratobi gathered the top ten students of this year together to express condolences one by one. When it was Uchiha Shijika's turn, Saratobi Hiruzen looked pleased. Kong Hua, work harder. Although you are excellent as the number one in your grade, you cannot relax. Saratobi Hiruzen patted Uchiha Shijika on the shoulder and smiled I have been paying attention to you. Uchiha Shijika was as excited as a crazy fan meeting his idol, and his voice in response seemed nervous and trembling. Yes. I will study hard and not let down the Hokage-sama's expectations. Saratobi Hiruzen smiled and nodded then took out a scroll and handed it to Uchiha Shijika. This is the reward for being the first in age. It is a shadow clone technique with a level B level of difficulty. It's actually a B level ninjutsu, Hokage-sama, this is too precious. Uchiha Shijika showed great excitement, without any disturbance in his heart. The ninjutsu Saratobi Hiruzen gave him was also a shadow clone technique. Uchiha Shijika didn't know what to say. Take it, your grades are excellent, this is what you should do, I think highly of you. Thank you, Hokage-sama. Then, Saratobi Hiruzen gave Nami Kaze Minato and Uchiha Mikato a C-level ninjutsu each and left. Minato, Mikato, let's learn the shadow clone technique together. Uchiha Shijika extended the invitation, but Nami Kaze Minato quickly refused isn't that bad? That's your reward. Just because it is my reward, I have the final say on what to do with it once it is in my hands. Seeing that Minato Namikaze was still refusing, Uchiha Shijika was dissatisfied and said okay, Minato, don't refuse. I have already learned the shadow clone technique. This ninjutsu is useless to me. You can take it. There is nothing wrong with learning. How about this, show me your ninjutsu. One grade B. One grade C. Minato Namikaze was a little embarrassed, but seeing that Uchiha Shijika was a little angry, his voice became quieter. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Shijika, for making you suffer. Did Kong Hua learn the shadow clone technique so quickly? Uchiha Mikato was dazed at the side. The ninjutsu that was just sent out a few days ago has been learned now? However, 
with Shichika's feat of defeating six genin, his talent and talent have been verified, and he can quickly learn the shadow clone technique. Thinking about it carefully, very reasonable. So let me share the ninjutsu I got. In the end, the three of them learned each other's bonus ninjutsu. Nami Kaze Minato's was wind release, great breakthrough, and Uchiha Mikato's was fire release, flame meteor. One blew out strong winds, and the other spit out small fireballs continuously. Uchiha Shigehawa had already tested his chakra attributes, which are fire and thunder. The chakra attributes of the Uchiha Ataka character card he inherited are fire, wind, and water. He can also learn Nami Kaze Minato's Wind Escape Ninjutsu. The yin and yang attributes everyone has it, but they have different preferences. Therefore, Uchiha Shijika is only short of the earth attribute from completing the seven attributes. This depends on whether he can get the ninja character card after graduating as a genin. The second in command of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Ritai's voice spread that he was optimistic about Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Shijika can now feel the eyes from all directions when he walks in the clan. He turned a blind eye and would have expected this to happen. Uchiha Ritai was optimistic about his potential and wanted to win him over, so naturally he wanted to leave the mark of his faction on him. Although Uchiha Shijika has not expressed his intention to join his faction, in the eyes of others, Uchiha Shijika is already a member of Uchiha Ritai. In other words, he is a pro Kanaha clan member of the Uchiha clan. Join a faction and have a backer behind you. The hardliners and extremists who upheld Uchiha supremacy looked at him with much less disgust. The specious and ambiguous identities can make these people restrain themselves, and Uchiha Shijika is happy to see this happen. Uncle Daja, bring me a newspaper. Uchiha Shijika went to the Senju clan. On the way, he read the newspaper. The war between small countries is insignificant to the five major countries, but it is an interesting story in the ninja world, and the newspapers will report it with all their heart. Uchiha Bokonghua glanced at it casually, and then his eyes froze. The situation changed. One of the five major countries, Sand Hidden Village came to an end. The daimyo of the Iron Country showed his money ability and hired Tsunagakura ninjas to sneak attack the Rain Village from behind country. His hometown was stolen, and the people of the Land of Rain were suffering. Logically speaking, San Yohanzo would give up attacking the Land of Rain and go back to resist Tsunagakura's invasion. But in fact, on the contrary, San Yohanzo's attack on the Iron Kingdom became more they were fierce and fast, as if they didn't care about their hometown being invaded. As a result, there was a fierce attack on the Kingdom of Iron, and hear a fierce attack on the Kingdom of Rain. The people of the two countries were trapped in the vortex of war and suffered. The samurai group of the Iron Kingdom could not withstand the offensive of Sancho Hanzo yes, it will be defeated soon, and the role of money ability will be greatly reduced. Sand Hidden Village sent troops, but it failed to achieve the purpose of letting Sancho Hanzo retreat. Whether the reward for this mission can be obtained is irrelevant. The weapons have been mobilized and the resources have been invested. If the income decreases, Sunagakura village will not be willing to give in. Now that they have sent out troops, they will simply bite the meat of the country of rain. Sunagakura has already had a bad relationship with Sanchao Iuhanzi and has formed a quarrel. Uchiha Shijika recalled that in the original work regarding the development of the Second Ninja World War. Next there is the war between Tsunagakura and Omega Kure. After this war, what follows is the war between Omega Kure and Kanaha. Time waits for no one. Uchiha Shijika sighed and threw the newspaper into the trash can on the roadside. For the upcoming war, he must seize all time to practice and grow. The land of the Senju clan has arrived. The sun and the moon fly like a shuttle, and time flies like an arrow. Two years passed in the blink of an eye, and it was Kanaha's thirty-first year. Uchiha Shijika had grown taller. He stood in front of the mirror and looked at the eyes shown in the mirror with joy. The scarlet eyes exuded a strange light, and in the pupils, the two Megatama moved slightly. This summer, eight-year-old Uchiha Shijika opened his Sharingan. 
Double Megatama Sharingan Uchiha Ataki opened the Sharingan when he was eight years old, which Uchiha Shijika already knew. But when the Sharingan really opened, Uchiha Shijika was surprised and happy. He actually directly achieved the second Megatama Sharingan. This was something Uchiha Shijika never expected. The first time Uchiha Ataki opened his eyes, he was a Megatama, and now I am a Megatama. Uchiha Shijika calmly began to think could it be that Uchiha Ataka's power to open his eyes drove my Sharingan to open simultaneously. Then due to the fusion of the pupil power, it evolved and directly turned into the second Megatama Sharingan. This is a guess, but Uchiha Shijika feels that things develop roughly like this. Even if it is not what he thought, it doesn't matter. After all, he got great benefits. Uchiha Shijika looked left and right admiring his own the two Megatama Sharingan, feeling the surging eye power, stirred in the heart, and could not control his emotions. At the same time, his strength also experienced a great increase. After the Uchiha clan opens the Sharingan, Chakra will be ushered in the surge, along with the various abilities carried by the Sharingan, will lead to a terrifying increase in strength in a short period of time. Uchiha Shijika clenched his fists feeling the abundant chakra in his body and his mastery of various techniques. He it is estimated that whether he can defeat the opponent is another matter, but his current strength can indeed compete with the Jonin. This is the confidence that the Sharingan brings to him. As time goes by, day by day, Uchiha Shigehua can clearly feel that the strength of Uchiha Ataka's character card is increasing more and more rapidly, and there is also a lot of knowledge about the practice of Sharingan. Uchiha Shijika understands in his heart. This is his father Uchiha Fugaku, and his friend Ukiha Shisui is teaching Uchiha Ataka the techniques of using the Sharingan and the knowledge of illusions. Their experience is indispensable, and it is now being absorbed by Uchiha Shijika, who inherited the Uchiha Ataka character card. During these days, Uchiha Jukka grew up very fast. Nami Kaze Minato felt it very deeply. The Uchiha Jukka who practiced against him was basically the same every day, and his strength became more and more refined. This doubled his pressure. In the past three years, the two competed many times. In competitions, Uchiha Shijika always dominates the Feng Shui family, and has been ranked first in the grade until now. Is this boy Konghua entering a period of explosive growth? Jiraiya, who was watching the battle between the two from a distance, marveled at Uchiha Jukka's growth rate. Minato's current persistence time was shortened by half compared to before. Tsunade looked at Uchiha Jukka thoughtfully, as a member of the Thousand Hands clan, she had a suspicion in her mind. Could it be that Konghua, Sharingan turned on? Only by opening the Sharingan can the strength of the Uchiha clan be greatly increased in a short period of time. This is strange. Did Konghua encounter something painful? Tsunade looked at Uchiha Shijika with some worry. She knew exactly what opening the Sharingan meant. However, according to her observations in the past few days, Konghua's mood is no different from before, if there is any difference, is it that you are happier? Boom! Nami Kaze Minato couldn't bear the opponent's strength and flew backwards. He turned over in the air and fell to the ground his breathing a little disordered. He smiled bitterly I lost. Accepted, Minato. You are getting stronger and stronger, Konghua. Nami Kaze Minato sighed, with a slightly frustrated look on his face. The gap between him and Shijika was getting wider and wider. Snap! There was a warmth coming from his head, and Nami Kaze Minato knew that it was teacher Jiraiya's big palm without even looking up. Jiraiya messed up Nami Kaze Minato's hair and said, Don't be discouraged, Minato, just practice more and catch up. Nami Kaze Minato gathered his emotions, took a deep breath and said, Yes, Mr. Jiraiya. Mr. Konghua has changed a lot recently. I am very curious about what happened to you. With a cold and pale face, a tall figure, and a pair of snake like pupils, he stared at Uchiha Shijika with interest. I just have more insights recently. 
Uchiha Shijika looked at Orochimaru and said slowly. Is it really just perception? Orochimaru's voice was hoarse and he smiled lightly. He didn't ask further, but his snake-like eyes had a deep meaning. If there are really more insights that promote Uchiha Shijika's great changes in a short time, it can only be Uchiha's. The blood inheritance limit of the Wave Clan, Sharingan. Ida Euro trademark S. Just, has Uchiha Shijika really opened his Sharingan at such an age? Considering the research he had done, it was a bit too early to activate the Sharingan at this age. He should believe the data, but Orochimaru marked in his mind to be determined. Kong Hua, are you hiding something from me? Teacher, really not, what can I hide from you? Real. Tsunade looked at Uchiha Shijika suspiciously. Uchiha Shijika had no choice but to say that he had gained enlightenment recently and his practice was smoother. As long as he didn't open his Sharingan, they could just doubt him. The three ninjas were gathered together. It was just a short moment. As the elite Jounin of the village, they all had their own things to be busy with. Tsunade was no exception. Compared with two years ago when she had time to go to the casino to stud, she was now so busy that she even visited her beloved casino. Less gone. Another day, Uchiha Shijika went to the Senju clan to learn medical ninjutsu. Three years later, Tsunade has not accepted him as a disciple, but she has taught him the ninjutsu he learned. Uchiha Shijika Hua thought to himself that since he has begun to teach the ninjutsu he has learned without hesitation, it means that the day when he becomes Tsunade's disciple is not far away. The stepping stone for the Hokage lineage is finally in hand. Rope tree, here I come, Uchiha Shijika did not say any more words of greeting. He found that the rope tree was now like an eggplant beaten by frost, with a sad and declining look. Following the rope tree in, I found that this was not exclusive to the rope tree, Tsunade also had the same expression. This is what you are, what's wrong? Tsunade saw Uchiha Shijika come in and forced out a smile. Although in Uchiha Shijika's view, it was more like crying. Kong Hua, you should go back today. It is not convenient for us to entertain you at home. Uchiha. Shijika didn't ask the reason I know, Tsunade Sensei, then I'll come back next week. Don't come next week either. Teacher. I have to leave the village to perform a mission. I'm not sure when I will come back. I will let you know when I come back." Uchiha Shijika nodded without saying anything. The rope tree welcomed him in and then welcomed him out. Kong Hua, I'm sorry, Grandma is ill and can't receive you today. The rope tree is deeply sorry. Feel sorry. Uchiha. Shijika paused for a moment after hearing this and shook his head no need to apologize. It turns out that Grandma Mito is ill. This is my fault. Please tell me on my behalf that I hope Grandma Mito will recover soon and regain her health. Nasaka nodded, and then the door closed. Uchiha Shijika exhaled the breath that was suppressed in his chest, feeling very bad. He has been in the Senjua clan for three years and Grandma Mito looks at her with kind eyes every time. He treated him as if he were his own heir, preparing good tea and delicious snacks for him every time. Sitting in the corridor, watching him play with the rope tree, watching him listen to Tsunade's teachings, and watching him step by step step growth. The old times together are still before our eyes. Non-vegetation, ruthless practice makes perfect. He understands that the time has come for that kind old lady. This is transferred to our school from today. I am Uzumaki Kushina, ah. Uzumaki Kushina quickly covered her mouth, her face was rosy and a little shy. She looked at her classmates nervously. The classmates looked at each other. Such red hair. I can't believe it, how come you have such red hair? How can I become so popular? It's quite strange. The students were talking loudly, and the whole classroom became noisy. Teacher Kinoshita knocked on the table, that's enough, you all should be quiet. Those pointing and criticizing words reached Uzumaki Kushina's ears. She was a little angry. What's wrong with her having such red hair? 
She clenched her fists and mustered up the courage to speak loudly. Only after she came to Kanaha she has such a dream that no one should underestimate her. I, I want to be the first female Hokage in this village, you all have your say. Bang bang! The sound of Uchiha Shijika's applause seemed abrupt, which aroused the laughter of classmates and Uzumaki Kushina light stares at the past. Uchiha Shijika stood up and said with a smile it's a good dream. I also want to become a Hokage recognized by the villagers. Nami Kaze Minato looked at Uchiha Shijika in shock. What he said, he originally wanted to say it. Uzumaki Kushina observed Uchiha Shijika, this guy is pretty good looking, wait a minute. Thinking of what Sister Tsunade said to her before coming to school, there were two outstanding looking boys in the class he was going to, one with yellow hair and one with black hair. They were both friends and companions that she could trust. Black-haired. Is he Uchiha Shijika? Uzumaki Kushina looked at Uchiha Shijika curiously. Kinoshita Sensei saw Uzumaki Kushina staring at Uchiha Shijika intently, and thought to herself, maybe Uchiha Shijika would be happy to have someone as a supporter? Kushina san, the boy who stood up is Uchiha Shijika, who is also the monitor of this class. Go sit in front of him. If you have any questions, you can ask him. Uzumaki Kushina nodded, walked over and sat in front of Uchiha Shijika. She was a transfer student, and she had red hair that was rare in the village. As she moved around, the children in the class all looked at her secretly. Come over. Hello, Uzumaki-san, can I call you Kushina? Oh oh, hello hello, I know you, Sister Tsunade and Naoki told me. Uchiha. Shijika was a little surprised and said so you know Tsunade Sensei and Naoki, why haven't I seen you before? I'm from a foreign country, so it's normal that you haven't seen me before, but I'm currently living at Sister Tsunade's house. Can I call you Konghua? Uzumaki Kushina is a little cautious. As a foreigner, she is unfamiliar with everything in Konoha, and her behavior cannot be as casual as in her hometown of Uzumaki. Uchiha Shijika's voice sounded gentle and kind of course, in the future if there's anything you don't understand about Kushina, feel free to ask me. I'm quite familiar with Kanaha. Well, I'm a boy and I'm afraid I can't cover everything. Uchiha. Shijika introduced his deskmate Uchiha Mikato this is my kindred, Uchiha Mikato. You girls can get along more comfortably. Hello, my name is Uchiha Mikato. Just call me Mikato. Oh, I am Uzumaki Kushina, you can just call me Kushina. Uchiha Shijika pulled away and handed over the topic to the two girls who gradually started talking. He glanced at Nami Kaze Minato and happened to see Nami Kaze Minato looking towards them. Nami Kaze Minato was stunned for a moment, and then saw I was even more stunned when I saw Uchiha Shijika's meaningful smile. What does this mean? Nami Kaze Minato touched his head, somewhat confused about the meaning of this smile. The bell rang and class was over. Uzumaki Kushin, who transferred to another school from another place. Nai received great attention. Several boys in the class blocked Uzumaki Kushina. Wow, when you look closer, the hair turns even redder, like a tomato. With your chubby round face, red hair, and tomato. Your nickname is Tomato. I hate tomatoes the most. How could a tomato be Hokage? It's so funny. That is, if there are tomatoes in the meal, I will just pick them out and throw them into the trash can. It's so unpalatable. Uzumaki Kushina swallowed her anger, telling herself in her heart not to be angry, to leave a good impression on everyone, and to integrate into this unfamiliar environment. But she was still angry and I also hated tomatoes. I didn't expect the red color that I was accustomed to in my hometown. Her hair turned out to be strange in a foreign country. Kushina Uzumaki tugged at her hair, and she suddenly felt a dislike for her red hair in her heart. Suddenly, she saw Minato Namikaze looking at this place with a faint smile. Kushina Uzumaki frowning, why should I smile, what can I say that's funny? He must be the good-looking person with yellow hair that Sister Tsunade said, Hi, 
now she is being teased and ridiculed, and she doesn't come to help. By the way, Kong Hua, Kong Hua he should be able to help her out. After a conversation in class, she had a good impression of Uchiha Shijika, and she looked for Shijika Uchiha. At this time, a boy went to catch Uzumaki Kushina with ill intentions. Hair. Let me see why this hair is so red. Don't bother me with the transfer students, second order, you're making it difficult for me to be the monitor. Uchiha Shijika appeared here at the right time and grabbed the hand that was grabbing the hair. Kong Hua. Uzumaki Kushina's eyes lit up, he really came to help her. I just wanted to see why her hair was so red. The boy named Urja smiled and took back his hand. Okay, all of you, please pay attention to me. Although Kushina is a transfer student, she is also a member of the class and a new friend of mine. Uchiha Shijika patted the other party's shoulder and said in a kind tone I usually get along quite happily with everyone so I don't know what kind of situation I am unhappy with, but you probably don't want to try it. Ah, haha, since she is your friend, monitor, then she is our friend. How can you say she is not good to her? Misunderstanding, misunderstanding. The boys quickly promised, and then they smiled awkwardly and left the classroom arm in arm. Uchiha Shijika and the others couldn't afford to offend him. Thank you. Kong Hua. Uzumaki Kushina thanked her sincerely, and her smile seemed much more real. Uchiha Shijika shook his head and smiled I also protected those people from being beaten. Kushina, I can feel that you are much stronger than them. If you are angered, they will only suffer. Uzumaki Kushina blinked. Is she stronger than those people? She doesn't even know. What Kong Hua said is true or false. I'm not even sure. Before Uzumaki Kushina finished speaking, Uchiha Shijika's voice came over this is a school for cultivating ninjas. In the world of ninjas, there is a simple way to be recognized. There will be a practical test in a few days. Kushina can show your strength to everyone in the class at that time. As long as you get excellent practical results, everyone in the class will get to know you initially, and then no one will dare to look for you again trouble. Uzumaki Kushina is not systematic about ninja training, but she has a strong bloodline. He is born with huge chakra, and with the blessing of chakra, his punches and kicks are very powerful. The strong vitality enhances Uzumaki Kushina's energy and endurance, allowing her to endure pain more and last longer in battle. In the actual combat test a few days later, Uzumaki Kushina showed great strength which impressed all the students in the class and admired her. Especially the boys who had caused trouble for her before looked even more frightened. Because of their fear, they all looked at Uchiha Shijika with strong gratitude. How could that foreigner have such strong physical skills and such great strength? He could swing and hit them so hard that they cried out in pain. Hitting the chest was even more serious, making them short of breath. Can't afford to offend can't afford to offend. Uzumaki Kushina was happy when she saw the expressions of those boys. She put her hands on her hips with an air of pride, snorted, and clenched her fists. Humph, let's see who else underestimates me. Uchiha Mikato praised Kushina is really amazing. Hee <laughs> hee, it's okay, Mikato said even more powerfully. After all, she is the third in age. Uzumaki Kushina watched Uchiha Mikato's battle. Compared with her random attacks, Mikato's battle was more entertaining and more like a ninja fighting. Compared to Minato and Shijika, my strength is not good enough. Look, they are about to start fighting. Mikato's words brought Kushina back to her senses, and she quickly looked towards the center of the field. Uchiha Shijika and Nami Kaze Minato formed a seal of opposition. The next moment, both sides used the teleportation technique to rush towards each other. Bang! A dull sound. When the sound rang out, the two fists and kicks met, and they competed in physical skills. Uchiha Shijika struck out with a palm, and Nami Kaze Minato dodged sideways, followed the spinning body, and raised a battle axe with his right foot to strike. Uchiha Shijika seeing this, 
Hana crossed his arms to block the opponent's downward slash, and Chakra surged, pushing the opponent away directly. Namikaze Minato turned over and fell, and with a kick of his feet, he collided with Uchiha Shijika again. Uzumaki Kushina couldn't help but his mouth opened wide, and his eyes were filled with the figures of the two fighting. This, 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 it's so fast, my eyes can't keep up. The two of them, this is too strong. Uchiha Mikato smiled and nodded this is Shijika, Minato, the strength of the two of them is not the same as ours. I really don't know how they practice, they are obviously the same age. Inuzuka Claus chimed in. Her ninja dog Kuromaru whined, looking a little scared. We are the same age, but their fate is different from ours. Hayaka Hizashi, who was very shy three years ago, now has an expressionless face, and his white eyes are not as clear as before. He touched the bandage on his head and said in a calm tone everyone's fate is determined the moment they are born. No matter it's mine or theirs. Forid, what happened to him? Shen Shen said naggingly. Uzumaki Kushina's eyes were strange, what about fate or not? This person's words are so awkward, and it doesn't sound comfortable. Hisashi people are pretty good, but, Uchiha Mikato reminded the changes in his family affected his thoughts. Family reasons? Uzumaki Kushina looked at Hinata Hisashi with a somewhat sympathetic look. She also left her hometown and came to the unfamiliar Kanaha because of family reasons. Alas, Kushina sighed, so why is it her? Wind escape big breakthrough. Namikaze Minato formed a seal with his hands, and a strong wind was blown out by him, heading towards Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha. Shijika was swept by the strong wind, and the wind blade cut his clothes open, which made Uzumaki Kushina almost shout out. But the next moment, Uchiha Jutka, who was attacked by the wind blade, suddenly exploded into a cloud of smoke. And the real Uchiha Jutka appeared behind Namikaze Minato. Namikaze Minato had long expected that Uchiha Jutka was gone. Being defeated by him so easily, he had been suppressed for three years and had already set his expectations extremely low. He concentrated on fighting Uchiha Shijika, but as time passed, the strange thing was that he could still hear the classmates outside the field just now sound, now it is completely silent, there is no sound at all. Something is wrong. Namikaze Minato distanced himself, with a vigilant look on his face. Uchiha Shijika did not pursue him, but stopped, and the two remained motionless in a stalemate. For a long time, Namikaze Minato heard a voice. Uchiha Shijika, victory, you two may form a seal of reconciliation. Kinoshita Sensei's announcement of the result stunned Namikaze Minato. Did he lose? When did he lose? Suddenly, the world in his eyes was spinning, and the whole scene was distorted. The next moment, noisy voices came one after another, and Namikaze Minato was a little stunned. He realized something, and then smiled bitterly. Looking at the smiling Uchiha Shijika opposite, Namikaze Minato formed a seal of reconciliation with him. It's an illusion, when? From the beginning. This answer shocked Minato Namikaze right from the beginning? But the person fighting him was undoubtedly Uchiha Shijika, and he was 100% sure of this. So was it a delayed triggering illusion? Your skills are getting wider and wider. Minato Namikaze sighed. He had learned Uchiha Shijika's ninjutsu and taijutsu many times in the past three years. Now he has learned genjutsu, and he also has medical ninjutsu. He somewhat admires Uchiha Shijika. How can one person have so much energy to learn many different techniques? None of them are bad. He may be witnessing the birth of an all-round ninja. If Uchiha Shijika knew what Namikaze Minato was thinking, he would say, it's a plug-in, I added a plug-in. He just used Uchiha Ataka's talent to learn techniques that Uchiha Ataka didn't dabble in. The only thing he tried hard to learn on his own was medical ninjutsu, oh, and recently I'm learning a new technique that doesn't exist yet. So awesome, Kong Hua. Uzumaki Kushina moved forward excitedly, 
staring at Uchiha Shijika with gleaming eyes. That sissy is no match for you. Mother, sissy. Namikaze Minato looked depressed and suffered a lot. He had a good impression of Kushina-san. She had the same dream as him, and she also had red hair. He liked it very much. He never thought that he was in Kushina. Zena actually looks like a sissy. Minato is also very powerful. His wind release has been able to change its nature and has a sharp cutting nature. Uchiha Shijika showed Kushina his cut sleeves. Nature, variety. Kushina wondered, what is that? Hey, never mind, he is not as powerful as you anyway, he was so scared just now that he froze there. It seems that Kushina's ninja knowledge needs to be replenished. That's falling into a genjutsu, Kushina, you are a transfer student and you haven't taken any previous cultural courses. This is not okay. This is a joke. You have to make up for the courses you missed before. Uchiha Shijika I will report your situation to Sister Tsunade. Uzumaki Kushina went crazy ah, uh, I don't want to study. Uchiha Shijika stared at the rubber ball in his palm, mobilizing chakra to flow in. Immediately, the rubber ball began to vibrate, and the surface of the ball began to bulge and dent irregularly, as if something was running rampant inside the rubber ball. Finally, there was a muffled bang, and the rubber ball couldn't stand it anymore and exploded. Uchiha Shijika showed a happy smile. Success, the second stage of practice is achieved. Next. Uchiha Shijika calmed down, he wanted to reappear the raised nan in one go. His control of chakra is extremely precise, which is the result of more than three years of learning medical ninjutsu. The initial state of the raised nan is the ultimate form change, which is exactly the aspect of chakra control. Uchiha Shijika possesses Uchiha Ataka's talent. Logically speaking, raised nan is not a very difficult ninjutsu for him. But in order to be conservative and achieve success at once, Uchiha Shijika chose the three steps of Jiraiya's practice taught to Naruto in the original work. The first two steps were quickly accomplished, and now there is only the final stage. Gather the high-density chakra in the palm of your hand and continuously release it to maintain it and stabilize it. Uchiha Shijika shouted in a low voice give it to me. Buzz. The practice went well. A whirlwind suddenly blew up, causing Uchiha Shijika's hair to fly. A small typhoon gathered in the palm of his hand, emitting a faint blue light. When Uchiha Shijika saw this, he laughed and then raised his head. He slapped his palm towards a big tree. Raise Nan. Boom. There was an explosion first, then a sizzling sound. The raised Nan was spinning, the tree trunks were twisted, and wood chips were flying. Good. Increase your strength. Uchiha Shijika suddenly had an idea, and she carefully increased the output of chakra. The raised nan grew to the size of a basketball in an instant, and its destructive power increased sharply. Click. The tree trunk could not withstand the torture, and was shot to the ground. A loud noise caused the forest birds to scream and fly away. This is the day of a raised nan. The corners of Uchiha Shijika's mouth curled up, satisfied. With precise chakra control ability, it is not difficult for him to make an ordinary raised nan grow in size to a large jade raised nan in an instant. The outer layer of the raised nan is stable, and the inner layer is chaotic. I have mastered the extreme ninjutsu of changing the form. I have previously learned the nature change of the thunder attribute, and have already controlled the chidori. He has mastered all Nazuo's bonding skills. For Uchiha Shijika, who has the talent and talent of Uchiha Ataki, he can always learn it if he is willing to learn it. The Ray's Nan has been learned, and the path of form change has been mastered. There is no difficulty in changing the form of a bird and expanding it into the Chidori-style Thunder Release Ninjutsu. In order to learn the Chidori, he learned the changes in the nature of the Thunder attribute. Uchiha Shijika's tiny eyes stretched out his palms, the blue light reappeared, and the raised nan stood on his palms. He added the thunder attribute chakra to it, and under his precise control, he completed it easily. Then, in his eyes, 
a white light emerged from the ray's nan. After a brief moment, there was nothing on the palm, looking like failure. But Uchiha Shijika smiled. He made a gesture like a baseball pitcher and could feel the thing in his palm being thrown out. Immediately, it fell on the tree trunk in the distance, making a roar. The tree trunk was half hollowed out, and a spiral mark appeared. Burrito's thunder release Ray's Nan succeeded. This is an invisible Ray's Nan that can be thrown in silently. Ha, in that case. Uchiha Shijika stretched out his right hand, and thunder and lightning condensed in his palm, crackling with lightning. It was like a thousand birds chirping, noisy and harsh, which is also the origin of the name Chidori. Uchiha Shijika wanted to eliminating the unnecessary noise, he integrated the understanding he received from the thunder release rays nan into the thousand birds. The next moment, the sound of the thousand birds slowly weakened until there was no sound. The radiating lightning calmed down, and he it was like holding a pure white moon in his hand, but Uchiha Shijika knew that in that moon, there was raging lightning. Uchiha Shijika nodded with satisfaction that Chidori with the voice is very handsome, but it is better to fight the enemy this way. The insights gained from the Ray's Nan can be used in the transformation of Chidori, and the lessons learned from the Chidori can also be used to feed the Ray's Nan. But in the end, the Ray's Nan is more malleable. Burrito's Thunder Release Ray's Nan lacks sufficient changes in properties and is a semi-finished product, but I am different. I can create a Ray's Nan secret ninjutsu with complete Thunder Release properties. Having said that, Uchiha Shijika did not continue. The movement brought by the secret ninjutsu must be shocking. It is not good to attract attention in the village. It is best to test it in the no man's land outside the village. Also, his current the chakra is not enough to perform the secret ninjutsu. He is not in a hurry to produce results now. He plans to graduate and become a genin to try his luck in drawing cards to see if he can produce a character with huge chakra. There is the best, there is no then just wait until he grows up. Chakra will definitely be enough by then. Three years ago, the Kingdom of Iron was defeated by Hanzo Sanchoyu as expected. He could claim the resources of the Kingdom of Iron, but he did not go back to resist Sunagakura village, but stayed in the Kingdom of Iron for a year. Two years ago, Sanchoyu Hanzo integrated the resources he had obtained. After sufficient military supplies, he assembled the main force of Rain Ninja and returned to the country of Rain to start a battle with the Sunagakura village that was still raging in the territory at that time. Unexpectedly, this war is still going on, and Sunagakura village did not capture Sancho Hanzo. Jiraiya took a sip of wine and turned slightly red. The poison of Sancho Hanzo is very difficult. The people in Sunagakura village dare not approach Sancho Hanzo and have always used puppets to fight. Orochimaru is very interested in the poison of Sanchao Fish Hanzo and is curious about the ingredients of its poison. Although puppets can replace ninjas to a certain extent, they are controlled by ninjas after all and are greatly affected by them. Sunagakura ninjas are afraid of Sancho Hanzo's poison. The puppets are controlled remotely, and the chakra delivery and control accuracy are attenuated. Orochimaru shook his head and said, the puppet can't do anything to Sancho Hanzo. Sunagakura is also good at playing poison, but he didn't expect to meet someone who was better at playing poison than them. Tsunade smiled playfully, which made Jiraiya crazy. Orochimaru nodded the Sunagakura ninjas are afraid of being poisoned, and puppets are useless. The poison they are good at is not worth mentioning in the eyes of Sancho Hanzo. Sunagakura village is a military force of one of the five major countries. It doesn't look good on the surface to retreat like this. It's a stalemate. However, I heard that Cho is studying the poison of Sancho Hanzo and thinking of making an antidote to restrain Sancho Hanzo. When Tsunade heard this, she became interested. Cho is most famous for his identity as a puppet master, but he is also good at medical ninjutsu. Perhaps, he can really create an antidote to restrain Sancho Hanzo. Woolen Cloth Congratulations on graduating, Rope Tree. Uchiha Shijika congratulated Naoki. Half a year has passed, 
and it's another new year. It's Uchiha Shijika's fourth school year. And this year, Naoki, who is one year older than them, graduated and officially became a Kanaha Genin. Naoki smiled happily, his hands never leaving the Kanaha forehead protector on his head, as if showing off. When he met a familiar person, he would always come close to show off his Kanaha forehead protector. Thank you, Konghua, he he. The smile of Naisha never stopped. He looked at the Huoying rock in the distance, looking longingly at the sculptures of his grandfather and second grandfather. I am now a genin, one step closer to my dream of becoming a Hokage. Hey, Konghua, you have to stay in school for another year. Uchiha Shijika was dissatisfied and punched the rope tree, and said with a smile it's only a year, it depends on your arrogance, there are many genin in Kanaha, you first make a name for yourself among these genin and then show off. Bar. Don't wait until after I graduate, all I hear is the sound of you getting into trouble, Shenshu. Shenshu waved his hands quickly that can't be done, hey. Konghua, what image do I have in your eyes? Am I such a trouble-making person? Tsunade nodded matter-of-factly I think Konghua is right, Naoki, don't let your instructor get into trouble. It will be my shame then. Eh, elder sister. Why do you say that, ah, by the way, sister, do you know who my instructor is? Every graduating genin will be divided into three classes, and each class will have an instructor, ranging from Chunin, Special Jounin, and Jounin. Naoki is somewhat looking forward to his instructor, who must be a Jounin or a Jounin. The elite among ninjas. Tsunade blinked keep it secret, I do know, but there will be no surprise if I tell you. Ah, why is this? The rope tree was depressed for a moment, and then started to get silly and happy again. Congratulations on graduation, Senior Shenshu. Congratulations, you officially became a ninja. Friends who are familiar with Naoki all came to congratulate, including Namikaze Minato, Uchiha Mikato, Uzumaki Kushina, Yakushi Nono, etc. Nara Shikaku, Hinata Hizashi, Inuzuka Claw, and others were also there. These people all got to know Nojeki through Uchiha Shijika and Namikaze Minato. Naisha was a little moved and immediately decided to invite everyone to a newly opened barbecue restaurant. As for the cost of the treat, my brother has graduated, so my sister should treat him to a meal no matter what. To this, Tsunade readily agreed and called Jiraiya and Orochimaru. This night, we drank and drank together. A large group of people were laughing and joking, very lively, and everyone was filled with happy smiles. Especially the protagonist of the story, Shen Shu, burst into tears with joy. He kept mumbling, Oh, ah, I finally graduated. No need to study anymore. Just wait, I will soon become a Chuyunin, promoted to a Jonin, and then become the Hokage that everyone in the village recognizes me. Now Shu raised his arms and said, I want to become the greatest Hokage. The rope tree needs to be careful when performing its mission. Thinking of the tragic ending of the rope tree in the original work, Uchiha Shijika gave many instructions. There is only one core requirement. Listen to your boss and don't rush forward with your head in a hurry. This is how the rope tree in the original work fell into the detonating charm trap. Exploded to death, Orochimaru didn't even stop him. Remember, you must pay attention to your own safety. Only when you are alive can you realize your dreams but if you die, you will have nothing. Shenshu slapped his chest fiercely, but he accidentally exerted too much force and coughed several times. Now his nose was runny and he was wiping away tears. Cough, okay, I am a man who wants to become Hokage, so I won't die on the way. Seeing that he didn't listen, Uchiha Shijika felt helpless. He patted Naoki's shoulder hard. Naoki frowned and gritted his teeth feeling a little painful. He looked at Uchiha Shijika and saw that the other party was looking at him seriously. Looking at him. Konghua looks like this, Shenshu swallowed a gulp, he had never seen it before. Rope tree, 
promise me to put your own life first. I don't want to see you on the memorial monument one day. The words were a bit serious, and Chen Chu couldn't help but become serious. I promise you, Kong Hua. I won't die. I am the one who wants to carry the shadow hat. How can I remain unknown on the commemorative monument? Hey, why are you so serious? What about life and death? Tsunade came over, nodded Uchiha Shijika's head, and said with a smile what the rope tree can do at the current level is only D-level and C-level tasks. The risk is not high. It's just a good training. What you said. Let's talk about it after Naoki becomes a Chuyunin. Uchiha Shijika sighed inwardly. It would be great if that were the case, but it's a pity that there are not many opportunities for the rope tree to sharpen itself. The war is coming soon. As soon as the front foot finished speaking, the back foot arrived. It was beyond Uchiha Shijika's expectation. A war involving Kanaha came very quickly. One month after Nezu graduated, Uchiha Shijika learned that the great northern country, the Kumagakura village of the Land of Thunder, had launched an attack on the border of the Land of Fire. This made Uchiha Shijika was shocked, but then he was relieved. Although the original work did not mention the war between Kumagakura and Kanaha in the Second Ninja War, he was in reality now, and nothing was unexpected. This war was not a surprise. Shu did not participate. He had just become a genin and was still familiar with the task process. Moreover, Kanaha now has enough manpower, and it was not his turn to go to the battlefield. By the way, no Shu's instructor was an elite Jounin. Or their acquaintance. Teacher Tsunade's best friend, Orochimaru. This is indeed a surprise to Naoki, after all, he heard Naoki's words of admiration for Orochimaru Senpai more than once, as a result, he lost his life when he arrived at the battlefield and did not listen to the words of his admired Orochimaru Senpai. Orochimaru, as the instructor of the rope tree, did not follow the troops to the north to deal with Kumagakura's invasion. Leading the troops were Jiraiya and Tsunade Sensei, Danzo Shimura. Is the war in the north over? So fast. Uchiha Shijika had just treated a half-dead cow to life. The greater the mass, the more time-consuming the treatment was. As soon as he wiped the sweat from his head, he heard Tsunade who had just returned say that the northern war was over. Is this a little too fast? It has only been two months since the outbreak of the Northern War. Tsunade looked a little worried. She glanced at the depths of the corridor, where was the room where Uzumaki Mito was resting. Kushina followed her there. Mito Uzumaki is learning the art of sealing. Kumagakura's eight tails rioted. Tsunade said quickly the third rakage made an emergency retreat back to the village to deal with the eight tails uprising. Until this incident is resolved. Kumagakura will not have the ability to start another war. When the Eight Tails rioted, Kumagakura's ninjas were fighting at the front. The strongest ninja in the village, the Third Reikage, was also sitting on the front line. The rear was empty, and the Eight Tails was ruthlessly ravaged, and the entire village was almost reduced to rubble. Although the main force was still there, but the top priority is to urgently retreat back to the village to clean up the Eight Tails and rebuild Kumagakura village, which was in ruins after being ravaged. Two months into the Northern War, it ended hastily in such an unexpected situation. Konghua, I want to hear about your choices after graduation. Uchiharayo Day sat on the corridor, looking far away, looking at the towering Hokage rock in the distance. Uchiha Shijika remained silent and did not answer. Uchiha Ryode continued there is a shortage of people in the police force. Do you want to come? With my help and your strength, you can quickly achieve the position of captain. I wasn't planning on joining the police force. Uchiha Shijika shook his head and refused compared to the position of captain, I would rather start as a genin doing D-level and C-level tasks. Do you prefer them to the police force? Uchiha Ryode knew it, and it was no surprise that after getting along with him for several years, this child was closer to Kanaha than he was. He shook his head and laughed I'm just trying to ask. I know your dream, 
and I know even more about your efforts for it. There is nothing wrong with this choice. But, Uchiharayatai's face became serious, and he looked at Uchiha Shijika with piercing eyes. Konghua, don't forget that you have Uchiha blood in your body, and never forget your family. The village is very important because it is the home for all of us, but this home is composed of many small homes. Don't just look up and ignore the roots under your feet. It's okay to be close to Kanaha. Uchiharayatai is also a faction close to Kanaha. But being close is because it can bring benefits to the family and bring long-term peace and security. If one day Kanaha and Uchiha there was a conflict between the clans. Uchiharayatai's eyes were sharp. He would undoubtedly choose his own roots. Uchiha Shijika dreamed of becoming Hokage which was good. Many people in the Uchiha clan had ideas about the position of Hokage. This was not true. Strange. Uchiha Ritai just hopes that such a talented and talented young man will not mindlessly fall into the arms of the Hokage family, thereby neglecting the Uchiha family he came from. Family, family is the foundation. Uchiha Shijika he nodded solemnly to express his understanding. Of course he would not ignore the Uchiha clan. But at this stage, he would not get too close to the Uchiha clan. This depends on the face of Saratobi Hiruzen. There is no way, who knows that the Hokage has more cards in his hand now. Well, the Sunan and Hotaki Sakumaj are completely worthy of any comparison with any family. The initiative is not with them at all, but with the Kanaha official. And what he has to do is to work hard to squeeze into the Kanaha official circle, and then strengthen your voice step by step. Until the day when you become the main player. Congratulations on graduation, now it's my turn to say it, he <laughs> he. Naoki congratulated the friends. The class of Uchiha Shijika graduated today. Uchiha Shijika touched the Kanaha forward protector on his head. He did not feel happy. On the contrary, he felt a little frustrated. Konghua, what? You have graduated and become a ninja. Why do you look like this? Of course the draw card exploded. When he took the Kanaha forward protector, took an identity photo, and sent the ninja file to the Hokage building, the system popped up and told him that he could draw cards for Genin. Then, Uchiha Shijika didn't want to recall his experience of drawing cards. That was not someone he was familiar with, just a passerby Kirigakur Genin. His whole body is ordinary, and assassination with the Kirigakur technique is the strongest skill he can master. Ah this, Uchiha Shijika tearfully inherited everything from this Kirigakur passerby's character card. Apart from a slight increase in chakra and physique, there were basically no benefits. How strong can a ten-year-old Kirigakur passerby be? It was still from the early days of Kirigakura's establishment, which was definitely a peaceful period compared to the later blood mist. This time I drew a card and it was heavy. I just want to become a Chuyunin as soon as possible. Uchiha Shijika clenched his fists in grief and anger. He didn't believe that he would be so angry when it came to Chuyunin drawing cards. As an experienced person, Naoki said sincerely if you want to become a Chunin, you must first complete a certain number of tasks, and then return. Having a recommendation letter from the instructor is the most difficult thing. I felt that I could definitely pass the Chunin exam with my strength, but Orochimaru-sensei thought it was not possible, so he never recommended it to me. I had no choice but to continue doing boring tasks. Uchiha. Shijika gave him a strange look is it possible that Orochimaru-senpai is right? You are really not qualified to take the Chunin exam now. I think I am enough. Naisha was full of confidence and patted his chest. Come on, what's the point of saying you can do it? The Chunin exam requires all members of the class to take it together. Can your teammates do it? Uzumaki Kushina suddenly shook her head when she said this. No, no, it may be that your teammates can do it, but you can't. So Orochimaru said that he disagreed. Hey, it makes sense when you think about it. How reasonable. Naoki looked at Uzumaki Kushina angrily how could it be that I can't do it? Well, 
our class can do it, so it's all Orochimaru-sensei's fault. Okay, okay, don't stay here anymore, barbecue, I want to eat barbecue. Akimichi Tingzao shouted, congratulations come and go, nothing can make people happier than a barbecue. That's right. I'll ask Shikaku and the others to come over. Minato Namikaze went to call for people, and then a large group of people came. Not only Nara Shikaku and other friends, but also their parents were also there. For such an important event as a child's graduation, of course parents came over to share the joy of graduation. On the way, Uchiha Shijika walked to Yakushi Nono. Nanoyu, are you going to Kanaha Hospital after graduation? Yakushi Nanoyu's medical class has also graduated, but unlike them, the medical class will not have an instructor to lead them to do tasks, but will directly enter Kanaha Hospital for internship work. Pharmacist Nanoyu nodded and said about the future she expressed her expectations for life. She finally became a medical ninja and entered Kanaha Hospital to work to earn money. In this way, she could give back to the church welfare institution that raised her. Nanoyu, if another department recruits you, you can go, but don't stay and work. Uchiha Shijika looked forward, and his words came clearly to the ears of pharmacist Nono if you believe me, you must take root in Kanaha Hospital and don't move. Konghua, is there any danger? Yakushi Nono knows that Uchiha Shijika has an unusual background. He often interacts with teacher Tsunade and has many channels for obtaining information which is different from her. So, did Shijika hear something bad? There will be danger, Nanoyu, you should be more careful and pay attention to Root Root. Pharmacist no Nanoyu thought for a moment, then nodded to express his understanding. Uchiha Shijika was also afraid that Yakushi Nono wouldn't pay enough attention to it, so he exaggerated it. He whispered in Yakushi Nono's ear this word should be rotten in your heart, and don't say it in other places, so as not to attract attention. I don't want it. You are in danger, Nanoyu. Pharmacist Nanoyu shrank, her ears were itchy, and the warm breath made her face rosy. Got it, Konghua. Hiruzen, I suggest recruiting Uchiha Shijika into ANBU. Shimura Danzo pointed to Uchiha Shijika's file with a sinister look in his eyes he has good strength, talent, and a heart that loves Kanaha. This kind of talent is most suitable to join the Anbu and contribute to Kanaha. But, Shimura Danzo changed the subject after all, he is from the Uchiha clan. He will first go to the ANBU training department to study and wait to see if he really has a good impression of Kanaha. Hiruzen, I will go out and test him personally. Anbu training department, headed by Shimura Danzo. While cultivating many talents for ANBU, Shimura Danzo also intentionally selected the talents he needed. When these talents selected by Shimura Danzo come together, what is achieved is root. Saratobi Hiruzen took a puff of his pipe. Danzo's intention was too obvious. He shook his head and tapped the table. Danzo, this is the child that Uchiha Ritai is optimistic about. If he is optimistic about it, then Uchiha Shahei is optimistic about it. You can't make the two of them agree. How can a child that the patriarch and right-hand man of the Uchiha clan pay attention to can let you get into the root so easily? Danzo Shimura naturally knew that it was impossible. Hiruzen, you are Hokage. Danzo Shimura stared at Hiruzen Saratobi and said, Ninjas must obey the orders of the Hokage. Those Uchiha are also ninjas of Kanaha. They must listen to your orders. Haha. <laughs> Danzo, will you obey my orders? Danzo. Shimura answered without any hesitation of course I will listen, but some people are different. Think about it, Hiruzen, that family has caused a lot of trouble for Kanaha. But everything is looking up now, right? Saratobi Hiruzen's answer was also without hesitation. Danzo, they are a part of Kanaha. I believe that as time goes forward and the new generation grows, Uchiha will be able to integrate into Kanaha sooner or later. It's no longer the early days of Kanaha's establishment. Do you think there are still many people in Uchiha who want to rebel against Kanaha? 
many of them are close to Kanaha and us. Snort. Danzo Shimura sneered a person who can dig out the eyes of his own people is close to Kanaha. I'm afraid he's not playing us. They are a clan of lunatics. There are lessons learned from the past. Hiruzen, your ideas are too naive. You will definitely regret it. Danzo, this is a carefully considered choice, I am the Hokage. Saratobi Hiruzen covered the ninja file belonging to Uchiha Shijika I believe he will become a person like Mirror. Danzo, not everyone in the Uchiha clan has extreme ideas. We should find a way to let these Uchiha children who yearn for Kanaha and peace grow up, and then change the Uchiha clan. This is the right thing to do. The two of them were at war with each other. They looked at each other with solemn expressions. After a long time, Danzo Shimura turned and left, leaving behind a message Hiruzen, sooner or later you will pay the price for your naive ideas. Saratobi Hiruzen looked at Shimura Danzo's back and murmured to himself Danzo, you are too extreme. He picked up the seal and printed it on the three ninja files. I am more familiar with that child from Konghua than you are. What I expect will come quickly. Uchiha Shijika, Uchiha Mikato, and Hinata Hizashi, from today on, you are members of my Tsunade class. When Uchiha Shijika saw that his instructor was Tsunade, the stone hanging in his heart finally fell. After studying medical ninjutsu with Tsunade for five years, he still did not become Tsunade's disciple. Fortunately, he became Tsunade. Although the members of the class are less valuable than the Tsunade disciples, they are not satisfactory. They finally entered the circle of the Hokage and got a stepping stone. The favorability of Hiruz and Saratobi over the years it's not a waste of time, and letting Tsunade lead him is obviously a sign of valuing him. Well, we can't slack off yet. Just becoming a member of Tsunade's class is not enough. After all, it is safer to become Tsunade's direct disciple. Uchiha Shijika he glanced at his teammates. Tsunade was born in the Senju clan, and her students were Uchiha and Hinata. Saratobi Hiruzen was quite good at playing. I am already very familiar with you, so skip the self-introduction step and proceed directly to the next step. Follow me. Tsunade left first, and Uchiha Shijika and the other three hurriedly followed. After a while, they came to a training ground. Tsunade took out two bells, and as they shook, there was a tinkling sound. Come on. Okay, Kanaha's traditional art, grabbing the bell. You are very good friends with each other, and teamwork questions are of little significance to you. Tsunade tied the bell around her waist and clapped her hands. So I changed the test questions. You come to grab the bells one by one. Just one is enough. The time limit is fifteen minutes. Let me see your strength. Uchiha. Shijika did his part and was the first to stand up. I'll go first, Teacher Tsunade. Okay, Konghua, you have to go all out. If you can't finish it, I will tie you to a stake and bask in the sun for a day. Uchiha Mikato and Hinata Hizashi moved away, leaving room for the two to fight. I don't want to be tied to a stake and offended, Tsunade-sensei. A breeze blew by and Uchiha Shijika's figure suddenly appeared next to Tsunade. He stretched out his right hand directly and ran towards the bell. Tsunade dodged sideways, and the bell rang. Uchiha Shijika did not succeed, but he touched the bell, and the next moment, his stretched out hand was grabbed by Tsunade. Your teleportation speed improved again, and you almost caught the bell. Tsunade was a little scared, then she looked sharply, pulled Uchiha Shijika into her arms, and bumped him with a knee. Uchiha Shijika groaned in pain, and then there was a bang, and the next moment it exploded into smoke and dissipated. That's the shadow clone. Tsunade was shocked, when was this shadow clone technique performed? She kept observing, but she didn't find that Uchiha Shijika had any seals. Art fire escape ho fireball. A hot feeling came and a ball of flames burst out from the air. Tsunade jumped back, and the ball of flames exploded on the ground. The flames burned the grass, 
and a hole was made. Bang! Tsunade suddenly felt there was something moving behind him, and he saw a stone under his feet suddenly turned into an Uchiha Shijika and grabbed it towards the bell. Tsunade concentrated her chakra and used some strange power punch techniques. She bent her right arm and elbowed the Uchiha down. The Konghua hammer exploded. This was another shadow clone. Whoosh! There was a sound in the air, and a kunao drew an arc from the air, passing through the bell rope by just a hair. So close! Before Tsunade could relax, the shuriken shot out from the grass on the left, hitting the kunao with a clang. This blow changed the trajectory of the kunao and headed towards the ground under Tsunade's feet. At this time, another one came the shuriken shot out and hit the kunao just as it was about to pierce into the ground. The kunao's trajectory was changed again. After changing twice, the kunao was heading towards the bell on Tsunade's waist. Surprise flashed in Tsunade's eyes. Such a delicate throwing technique, and the calculation is very precise. If it is not stopped, the bell rope will definitely be cut off. That won't work, she hasn't tested enough yet. Tsunade quickly stretched out a finger and clicked to the kunao. Since the iron kunao was directly broken by Tsunade's finger, Uchiha Shijika was shocked when he saw Tsunade shattering the kunao with one finger and squatting in the grass to hide himself. He himself had the experience of developing strange power boxing, but the effect was not very good. Without professional guidance, it would be easy to break the muscles and bones, and accidentally explode the palm of his hand. The principle is that principle, but the degree and dosage of adjustment are all details. Without these details, you will get half the result with twice the effort, and you will only end up with harm to your body. He covets the power of the strange power fist, and when he becomes Tsunade's direct disciple, he will definitely learn it from Tsunade. Got you. After Tsunade smashed the kunao, she suddenly teleported to the top of Uchiha Jugka, gathered her right fist around her waist, let out a sweet shout, and struck hard. Uchiha Jugka's concealment was useless, Tsunade's ability in perception not bad. When Uchiha Shijika saw this, he mobilized the chakra in his body to instantly change the nature of thunder, stimulating the cells in his body, as if it turned into a bolt of lightning. Tsunade's eyes dazzled, and Uchiha Shijika's figure disappeared in front of her eyes. The white and delicate fist missed its target and blasted into the earth. Boom! With a loud noise, the earth cracked, spider web like cracks spread out, and the surrounding trees fell in groups, spreading with Tsunade as the center it formed a huge circular pit. Hinata Hizashi and Uchiha Mikato staggered around. Tsunade's punch caused a brief, violent earthquake in the training ground. They straightened their bodies and looked at Tsunade's punch with dull eyes. The destruction caused, they couldn't help but look at each other, and then their throats rolled together, and cold sweat dripped from their foreheads. Good, what a terrifying destructive power. I didn't expect Tsunade-sensei to have such a strong attack and killing ability. They knew that Tsunade was best at healing but the power of this punch opened their eyes and frightened them both. Kong Hua, is Kong Hua okay? Hayaga Hizashi stuttered a little, and Uchiha Mikato looked worriedly at the center of the smoke-filled battlefield. Then, she saw a blue light appear there, like a flash of lightning, and then suddenly disappeared. What followed was its Uchiha Shijika's high-spirited voice. Tsunade Sensei, I grabbed it. Dingling bells. That was the sound of bells. When the smoke and dust dispersed, Hayaga Hizashi and Uchiha Mikato looked quickly. Tsunade looked blankly at her waist, where a small hand grabbed two bells and gently in a flash, the bells collided and made a crisp tinkling sound. Uchiha Shijika looked at Tsunade with a smile on his face, his expression was somewhat proud, showing his youthful spirit. Two, got them all. Tsunade did not expect this result. She knew that this child's talent and strength would definitely not be bad. She might be able to keep up with the ninja with all her strength, but she was not an ordinary jounin, she was a jounin. Among the elite. In her expectation, Uchiha Shijika could only get a bell from her. 
In the end, both of them were captured. That move just now was very fast. Tsunade suddenly thought of a light that suddenly appeared in the smoke like lightning. She seemed to vaguely see lightning bursting out of Uchiha Shijika. Is it the lightning escape technique? It's very fast, and it's enough. No. Tsunade slapped Uchiha Shijika on the head and rubbed it hard. She had never seen Uchiha Shijika use this trick before. He was calculated mentally and unintentionally. He was unprepared and accidentally killed. All two bells were taken down. Alas, the instructor's majesty was challenged. But, Tsunade smiled your kid's growth rate is really amazing. Compared to you, the teachers have become mediocre. Uchiha Shijika took a step back and straightened his messed up hairstyle with some distress. Tsunade Sensei, don't belittle yourself like this. I have a lot to learn from you. Uchiha Shijika looked at Tsunade's hand. There was no scar there. It was completely unimaginable that such a small hand could cause an earthquake and bring trauma to the earth. He looked at Tsunade with some expectation and nervousness, and tried to say Tsunade Sensei, can you teach me the move you just used? Tsunade did not hesitate and readily agreed. Of course, you are my student, if I don't teach you, who will teach you? Hey? This answer made Uchiha Shijika a little confused. He was very happy to obtain the strange power fist so easily. That is, he got it too easily, which made Uchiha Shijika uncomfortable. Did Tsunade obtain her secret technique just like that? He is not Tsunade's apprentice now, wait, Uchiha Shijika suddenly noticed something. Did he make some subjective assumptions and set artificial boundaries for himself? Uchiha Shijika took a deep breath and asked Tsunade Sensei, Am I your apprentice? Students and apprentices are still different. In the ninja world, many secret techniques are passed down between families and masters and apprentices. But it's not absolute, Uchiha Shijika thought, he might have encountered an uncertain situation. Tsunade's amber eyes rolled, and she understood Uchiha Shijika's thoughts and her expression suddenly became strange so you value your apprenticeship so much, Shijika. Tsunade tapped Uchiha Shijika's head lightly and said angrily do you think I'm some stubborn old man? There is no difference in my eyes between a student and an apprentice. The only thing is whether I am willing to teach others. This is not okay. Don't become a stubborn little man who is limited by your status. Be generous, be generous. Uchiha Shijika slapped his face with a speechless palm. In this case, he thought too much, and he really became a little stubborn. Host, you are so inferior. Shut up, system. Uchiha Shijika knew very well how embarrassing he was now, and he seemed to be in a small position. Tsunade who was born in two lifetimes was not as open-minded as Tsunade who was born in one lifetime. So what is he doing all this time? Uchiha Shijika watched the test between Uchiha Mikato and Hinata Hizashi with a melancholy expression. It can only be said that under teacher Tsunade's extreme pressure, she stepped on the limit for 15 minutes and grabbed a bell. Average level. The two of them were a little out of breath, and looked at the melancholy Uchiha Shijika, who was a little ashamed. Compared with Uchiha Shijika, the two of them are completely inadequate. In the past, they valued the battle between Konghua and Minato. Although they realized that they were very different from these two and were not in the same dimension, they did not have a clear idea of how big the dimension was. Now the battle with Tsunade Sensei is clear. They, the top students of the same age, turned out to be as strong as a Jounin. This is a truly destined person. Hayaga Hizashi, who is somewhat firm and superstitious about fate, looked at Uchiha Shijika with a different look. It was a kind of respect from the heart. At this age, he can fight against Jonan. What is this? Talent? No, this is fate. Hinata Hizashi looked a little excited. Uchiha Shijika, the shining destiny sign on his body burned him like the sun. Compared with this kind of destined person, his tragic fate is more foil he seemed despicable and insignificant. So, 
Can one change one's destiny by following one's destiny? Uchiha Shijika looked at Hinata Hizashi strangely, that look in his eyes, like a hungry beast seeing delicious meat. He shivered and felt a little chilly. He was happy to have a beautiful woman staring at him like this, but a man would be exempt. Genin's mission levels are D-level and C-level missions. They, newly graduated Genin, were not enough to accept C-level missions. The D-level tasks that can be accepted are trivial daily tasks, such as catching lost cats and dogs, weeding, taking care of children and the elderly, helping with watering, etc. D-level tasks occur every day and are extremely repetitive. Uchiha Shijika had ever wondered why so many people in and around Kanaha village entrusted these trivial D-level tasks. Do ninjas also need to do work like watering flowers? After Uchiha Shijika's understanding, he understood that this was actually a disguised tax collection method. There are many genin in Kanaha, but they are not strong enough to complete high-level missions, so D-level missions are specially prepared for these new genin. After the genin complete the D-level mission, half of the mission reward belongs to Kanaha officials, the remaining half and one half belong to the instructor, and the remaining one half belongs to the student, and three people have to divide it. It looked like very little, but he was indeed very little. The reward for a D-level mission was distributed layer by layer, and in Uchiha Shijika's hands, he estimated that it would only be enough for a day's meals. But the genin of Kanaha village rely on D-level missions to make a living. Even though the reward for a D-level mission is very small, they can't handle the large amount of missions. Little things add up, and the monthly income of a diligent genin is no different than that of a company employee. As for the villagers not wanting to entrust D-level tasks? Hee <laughs> hee, open the door and let the Kanaha police force come over. You have violated Kanaha's laws. Yes, it is lawful and compulsory. All in all, there is no shortage of tasks in Tsunade's class. As long as you want to do it, there will be tasks waiting for you at any time. Shadow Clone Technique Of course he doesn't need to do the tedious and monotonous D-level tasks personally. The Shadow Clone will help. Blanche Of course the Shadow Clone was dissatisfied, but could not disobey the real body's order, so it had to show an international friendly gesture. Uchiha Mikato and Hayaga Hisashi followed the same example, and also separated Shadow Clones to deal with D-level tasks. And they followed suit. Teacher Tsunade was practicing ninja training. Uchiha Shijika calmed down and concentrated on controlling the concentration of chakra in his palms. When it reached a certain level, he shouted low and punched out. Bang! There was a muffled sound, Uchiha Shijika this punch made a circular crater in the tree trunk surrounded by the three of them, causing the tall trees to sway. Tsunade glanced at it and nodded this level of chakra burst can cause such power. Kong Hua, you have the initial getting started. The next step is to increase the input of chakra step by step. Remember, you must control chakra carefully. As the amount of chakra input increases, the risk of failure will increase. Uchiha Shijika listened carefully to Tsunade's teachings. After Tsunade finished speaking, she glanced at the shadow clone working hard in the distance. Think about the number of D-level tasks they complete every day. There are about two months left, and the accumulation of almost enough tasks will be enough to take the Chunin exam. Uchiha. Shijika heard this and raised his head in surprise. Tsunade-sensei, are you willing to write us a letter of recommendation? Just having enough tasks is not enough. He needs a letter of recommendation from his instructor before he can take the Chunin exam. His desire for Chunin is not low. After all, there is the temptation of drawing cards waiting for him, so he is naturally eager. But unexpectedly, Tsunade was more anxious than him. There is no doubt about your strength. Mikato and Hisashi are a bit inferior in strength, but fortunately there is still time to practice and practice. It is enough to participate in this year's Chunin exam. Naturally, I am willing to write a letter of recommendation to you. After all, these children are all students in the elite class, and their grades and strength are not bad. Although the three of them are genin, 
but Shichika aside, the strength of Mikato and Hisashi is not inferior to that of ordinary Chuyunin. Based on the current task progress, enough tasks can be accumulated in two months, and the Chuyunin exam is held on July 1st every year, which is five months away from now. Five months is enough for Mikato and Hisashi to the strength has increased several times. Didn't you say you wanted to become a Chuyunin as soon as possible? Tsunade blinked. This was what Uchiha Shijika said on the day she graduated. She kept it in mind. As a teacher, she naturally has to make preparations for her students. Moreover, the strength of the students is also the confidence that Tsunade dares to do. Uchiha Jilka takes part in the Chunin exam? What kind of drama is wolf among sheep? Tsunade suddenly laughed evilly. This Chunin exam is interesting. She really wants to see the expressions of other students and instructors taking the Chunin exam. Tsunade Sensei, I will not let you down. I will definitely win the Chunin exam. Uchiha Shijika raised his arms and shouted, his eyes full of expectation and fear. I hope this time the card draw will be different and there will be a famous person. The misery of the Kirigakura passerby is still before our eyes, which makes people heartbroken. The development of things cannot keep up with the changes. While Uchiha Shijika was doing tasks and counting the days to prepare for the Chunin exam, the war broke out again. There are still two months left before the Chunin exams. The Kumagakura ninjas from the northern country once again went south to invade the land of fire. The village was completely destroyed by the Eight Tails. Did Kumagakura ignore the reconstruction of the village? Actually started the war again. The Sunin gathered at the Senju clan, and their students also ate and drank with the adults. Uchiha Shijika was chatting happily with Nami Kaze Minato and Naoki, whom he hadn't seen for a long time. An ANVU ninja wearing an animal mask the sudden appearance of the girl broke the cheerful atmosphere here. And the news brought by the ANVU ninja brought a bit of chill to the quiet atmosphere. The ANVU ninja left after being notified, and Jiraiya was full of doubts. He didn't know that Kumagakura why did the village invade the land of fire at this time? The impact of the eight tails cannot be eliminated so quickly. The third rakage also suffered some injuries in the battle with the eight tails, and the village needs to be rebuilt, Kumagakura should not start the war at this time. According to reasonable logic, Kumagakura should not launch a war at this time, but war has never been logical. Orochimaru sneered I heard that the eight-tailed Jin Hiroki is the brother of the third rakage. I guess many people in Kumagakura village hate the eight-tailed Jin Hiroki. Maybe it's to divert the conflict. Get ready, Jiraiya, Tsunade, we are going to the battlefield. Jiraiya and Tsunade nodded. No matter what the third rakage thinks, the war has begun. As Kanaha ninjas, they have the unshirkable responsibility. What about us? Should we also prepare for the battlefield? Shencher raised his hand and looked at the three of them with bright eyes. He also wanted to go to the battlefield. He waved his fist and shouted a few times you dare to invade the country of fire, hum, let's see Mr. Shensha teach you a lesson. Them. Tsunade's eyebrows were raised, her arms crossed and she was holding the rope tree's ears. War is not a child's play, Shenshu, you stay in the village honestly. Ah, it hurts, how could this be possible, sister, I am also a Kanaha ninja and I also want to go to the battlefield to kill the enemy and defend the land of fire. You. Tsunade's fist hardened, and she planned to beat the rope tree before leaving the village. Tsunade, I think we can ask Naoki to visit the battlefield. At this time, Orochimaru's voice came. Naoki finally followed Orochimaru to the northern battlefield. With Orochimaru's persuasion, Jiraiya patting his chest and assurance, and Naoki's fuss about wanting to go, Tsunade thought about it and agreed. Naoki underestimated the cruelty of the battlefield. Tsunade frowned and wanted to let Naoki see it. As for Nami Kaze Minato and Uchiha Shijika, they didn't think about going to the battlefield. Nami Kaze Minato has been running to MT Mayaboku these days because he practices psychic skills and communicates with toads. 
Naoki can go because he wants to go. Namikaze Minato is modest and thinks that he is not strong enough. It may not be helpful on the battlefield. It is better to practice more. Although Jiraiya felt that Namikaze Minato's strength was completely sufficient, and they still had them to protect him, he said that there must be dangers, but being careful and being careful is not an opportunity that cannot be used as a training opportunity. Namikaze Minato thought for a while, but still refused. Uchiha Shijika didn't go because he remembered what happened in the original work. He glanced at Kushina who was joking with Mikato, his eyes were deep, was it this time period? Not sure, but he'll keep a close eye on it. Give it to you. Uchiha Shijika released a crow as black as ink. The crow cried out and flew towards the person in the photo shown to it by its master. Uchiha Shijika formed the seal, and the next moment, the world in front of him changed, and the spiritual connection on the crow. Through the crow, he could overlook the earth from the sky, and the scene of Kanaha village came into view. Not long after, the crow found Uzumaki Kushina and perched on a nearby tree, with a pair of eyes blinking. Stare. Wherever Uzumaki Kushina goes, the crow follows. Isn't it very safe? Uchiha Shijika felt that one crow was not enough, so he once again channeled four crows to follow Uzumaki Kushina. East, west, south, north, and the middle downward perspective, observing Uzumaki Kushina in all directions to ensure nothing goes wrong. Even if, if the crow loses him in the end, he has a second plan, which is Inyazuka Claus Kuromaru Ninja Dog. As a classmate, Kuromaru is familiar with Uzumaki Kushina's aura. His vision is gone, and his sense of smell is gone. Bottom. If that doesn't work, Uchiha Shijika tapped on the table. Then we can only use the original method to find Kushina's beautiful red hair. I don't know when those Kumagakura spies will launch. This feeling of being unable to control makes Uchiha Shijika uncomfortable. He only knows that Uzumaki Kushina was kidnapped by Kumagakura when she was young, but he doesn't know what day it was. Looking at the forehead protector and age of Uzumaki Kushina in the original work, it is this happened in the past two years. When Kumagakura acted out of common sense and ignored the fact that the village had just been ravaged by the Eight Tails, instead of rebuilding, he brazenly launched another war against the Land of Fire. Uchiha Shijika felt that something was going on here and contacted the Eight Tails. The riots, and Kushina's current age. She didn't run away, Kushina was kidnapped just recently. Uchiha Shijika waited patiently. And this wait has passed for a month and a half. Everyone in the village is focused on the northern battlefield is in full swing. Kanaha is busy during this time with ninja mobilization, logistics mobilization, incentive payments, pensions and other matters. And while everyone is attracted by the situation in the northern battlefield, something happened in the Senjua clan unknown turmoil. It was dusk. Uchiha Shijika was extending the Chidori's form-changing practice. He had just tested the maximum length of the Chidori's sharp spear. At this moment, his expression changed and his face changed. He quickly dispersed. With lightning in his hand, his legs subconsciously shot out from the ground, heading towards the Thousand Hands clan. On the way, he connected with the crow and learned everything from the crow's memory. He was kidnapped directly at home. Didn't Grandma Mito find out? Or... Uchiha Shijika's face looked ugly, or in other words, he found out, but Mito's grandma was in such a haggard condition that she was about to run out of gas and there was nothing she could do. Um. Uchiha Shijika picked it up from the ground casually, a strand of red hair fluttering in the wind in his hand. He could find Kushina's hair so quickly. This girl is much smarter than the original. This place is far away from the Senjua clan. Red hair can be seen before the ground is far away, and the desire to survive is much stronger than in the original work. In this case, thunder and lightning burst out of Uchiha Shijika's body, and the thunder and lightning surged around his limbs. Whoosh! A blast! The lightning flashed rapidly through the air, and the speed increased several times. 
This was developed by him based on Kumagakura's Thunder Chakra mode, but it was just a semi-finished product. It only had a much faster speed, but did not have the power and defense of the Thunder Chakra mode. After all, it is cloud-hidden technique, and some key points are completely unknown to Uchiha Shijika. But it is enough. In the world of martial arts, only speed cannot be broken. Most ninjas have high attack and low defense, and fast speed has a great advantage. Uzumaki Kushina was caught, Uchiha Shijika knew it almost immediately. Under his full pursuit, he quickly caught up with several Kumagakura ninjas who kidnapped Kushina. At this time, they had not left the scope of Kanaha Ninja Village. Hurry up, the speed is increasing, let's hurry to Lord Reikage's place. The leader of Kumagakura held Uzumaki Kushina under his right arm. He kept walking and looked nervous. He ran towards the northern battlefield with all his strength. The others did the same. The last person hanging at the end looked behind him from time to time, leading with expectations and fears. What he looked forward to was that his life as a spy for more than ten years was finally coming to an end, and he was about to return to his hometown Kumagakur. What he was afraid of was naturally the fear that there would be Kanaha ninjas chasing them behind. He the fear was correct. The Kumagakur ninja looked back nervously again, and then saw a young and handsome face appearing in front of him. What was particularly eye-catching was that this man's eyes were red, like blood. Average. So close. Who is this person? Before the body could react, the thoughts in the head started to diverge. These eyes, sharing gone. When the Kumagakura ninja realized it, it was already too late. The next moment, he suddenly felt that the world in his eyes was spinning. For some reason, he was stunned and stood still. The others were still galloping forward, and they didn't even notice that one of their companions was falling behind. The sun was setting in the west, and the darkness in the sky spread over, obscuring Uchiha Shijika's figure. In the darkness, a strange blood-red light stared at the Kumagakur ninja in front of him. A total of five Kumagakur, Kushina, it looks fine. Uchiha Shijika watched Kushina carefully holding her hair and then throwing it on the ground. Kumagakura just ran forward and didn't notice this detail at all. Let's make a quick decision. Uchiha Juk soared like a wild goose, with lightning flashing on his body, turning into a bolt of lightning and striking in front of the Kumagakura ninja. A pair of three Magadama Sharingan glanced over lightly. The leader of Kumagakur saw a person suddenly descending in front of him, he was horrified in his heart and secretly thought something was wrong. Without waiting for a closer look at the person coming, he quickly shouted kill him. I can't say anything else. He had already seen the face that turned around, and he immediately noticed the disharmony in the picture before him. They were a pair of blood-red eyes, with Megatama turning slightly in the pupils. His spirit also drifted and fell into silence. In the whole world, only those eyes exist. Uzumaki Kushina was still struggling with her hair when she suddenly saw the Kumagakura ninja who was catching her and stopped. Before she could get curious, a loud shout of kill him startled her, but then there was no sound, and she became completely motionless. Uzumaki Kushina turned her head and looked curiously. Then he saw Uchiha Shijika standing there with his arms folded, and when he saw Uzumaki Kushina's eyes, he waved. Are you okay, Kushina? Uchiha Shijika came over and rescued Uzumaki Kushina. He was still stunned when he saw her. He smiled softly and patted Uzumaki Kushina's little head. I'm here to save you, Kushina, look. Uchiha Shijika glanced at the red hair between the fingers of his right hand fluttering in the wind, and hitting Kushina's round face. It was a little itchy. Uzumaki Kushina came back to her senses, his eyes were shining, and he hugged Uchiha Shijika with joy. I knew you would definitely save me. I am not afraid at all to say that. Uchiha Shijika hugged her gently, and the little girl looked a little excited. But I'm afraid you can't find me. Uzumaki Kushina grabbed the red hair that was broken by her. Hehe, <laughs> so, I left my hair as a mark, 
I believe you will be able to find my hair soon. Oh? How can Kushina be sure that I can find out? Uchiha. Shichika asked curiously, and Kushina blushed and shook her head I don't know, but I just believe that you will definitely find my hair and come to save me. Look, I'm fine now. Kushina left Uchiha Shichika's arms, then shook her arms and stretched. It's just that the hair has become uneven. Kushina was a little worried about her hair. When she first came to Kanaha, her red hair received strange looks from many people, and even she was a little tired of her hair sometimes. But as time went by, now Kushina doesn't think so anymore. Because her relatives and friends like her red hair, especially. Uzumaki Kushina glanced at Uchiha Shijika shyly. He must like it. Although she never asked Uchiha Shijika what he thought of her hair, Kushina felt this way and was willing to believe that he she must like her red hair. So, as long as the people she cares about like her hair, after all, she doesn't know those people who treat her differently. Thinking of her previous thoughts, Kushina felt a little funny, tisk tisk, so childish. It's really conspicuous, and it's hard not to notice those hair strands. Uchiha Shijika came to those Kumagakur ninjas. They were all dumbfounded, staring in front of them motionless. Uzumaki Kushina came over, took a look, and shook his hand. They are, you must have fallen into an illusion. Uchiha Shijika nodded, then snapped his fingers, and saw the Kumagakur ninjas walking over and standing in a row behind him. Uchiha Shijika glanced at them, and they looked ahead expressionlessly, with no eyes. Blinking, looking lifeless. This feeling, like driving away corpses. He patted Kushina on the shoulder. Kushina, let's go home. Um. Let's go home. Kushina's eyes lit up. The word go home attracted Kushina like magic. She knew that the home she was going back to was Kanaha and the Senjua clan, but she couldn't help but fantasize about when she would have one. It's just her and Konghua's home. That home, better. Mito-sama, this is the consequence of not letting ANBU protect you. Danzo. Shimura had an ugly expression on his face you actually let people arrogantly break into the clan territory and kidnap people. Since the founding of Kanaha, when has such an embarrassing thing happened? This is provoking Kanaha, I can't bear such humiliation. Union must pay the price. Saratobi Hiruzen frowned at the side it's not necessarily Kumagakur who did this. Who else could this be if not Yunyin? Danzo Shimura choked and said, we all know the situation of Kumagakur. They should not have launched a war at this time. We didn't understand it before, but can we still not understand it now? Hiruzen, it's clear that this was done by Kumogakuen. Ahem. The weak Uzumaki Mito did not pay attention to the quarrel between the two. She had only one sentence has Kushina been found? It hasn't been long since the incident happened. Those spies are not strong. Find them and rescue Kushina. Mito-sama. Danzo Shimura had a bad look on his face. Even if the woman in front of him was his elder, he had nothing good to say that girl is the next Nine Tails Jin Hiraki. She is a strategic weapon of a country. She should have been monitored more. She is water. Todasama refused, saying that surveillance would not make people willing to stay in Kanaha, and that she should be kept with love. Ethereal emotions are not as good as actual surveillance. Mito-sama, this is all the result of your mistake today. Danzo. Saratobi Hiruzen looked at his companions dissatisfied, and Shimura Danzo shut up. Saratobi Hiruzen said it is true that Kushina really likes Kanaha, but the protection of ANBU is also necessary. Mito-sama, when Kushina comes back this time, please increase the protection of ANBU. Uzumaki Mito was speechless and looked a little helpless. She could only nod. In the past, when she was in good health, she could protect Kushina, but something happened when she was in poor health. She will eventually end her life. On that day, the next person to protect Kushina is Kanaha. Maybe. Uzumaki Mito thought of Uchiha Shijika and him. 
he would definitely be able to protect Kushina well, but... Uzumaki Mito sighed in his heart, Uchiha, there will definitely be some disputes in the future. She looked at Hiruzen Saratobi and Danzo Shimura. These two disciples of Tobirama vaguely remembered how they looked when they were young and young. They were high-spirited and full of energy, just like seedlings growing vigorously. Now, they have become big trees, with luxuriant branches and leaves, and deep roots. But Uzumaki Mito's cloudy eyes looked over and realized that although the trees were good, the roots were not well maintained. I don't a Euro trademark T know what kind of future the Kanaha built by Hashirama will have in the hands of these two people. She can't see it. Hokage-sama, Assistant-sama, Mito-sama. An Anbyo came in and reported Uzumaki Kushina is back, it was Uchiha Shijika who saved her. Uchiha Shijika. Shimura Danzo frowned. The ANBU nodded and continued not only that, the five spies were also captured by Uchiha Shijika. After investigation, it can be confirmed that they are Kumagakur's ninjas. It is indeed the Kumagakur ninja. Hiruzen, give them to me and I will make them spit out how many Kumagakur spies there are in Kanaha. Shimura Danzo's eyes were cold and stern perhaps, we can also find spies from other ninja villages from them. Grandmother Uzumaki Kushina had tears in her eyes, and she fell into the arms of Grandma Mito like a bird in the forest. Uzumaki Mito rubbed Kushina's little head in her arms and comforted Don't cry, don't cry, you are back safely. She looked up at Uchiha Shijika and said gratefully thank you very much, Shijika. If it weren't for you, Kushina would be in danger. Uchiha. Shijika shook his head and said it was all because Kushina was smart and used her hair as a mark so that I could know Kushina's whereabouts and defeated the ninja who kidnapped Kushina and rescued her. Uchiha Shijika's words caused everyone in the room to look at Kushina's hair. Only then did they realize that Kushina's hair was uneven, some were long and some were short. Uzumaki Mito stroked Kushina's hair distressedly. Thanks to you for saving Kushina, Shijika. Saratobi Hiruzen patted Aizonghua on the shoulder and said, Otherwise, if we let them successfully take them away from the land of fire, the consequences would be disastrous. Uchiha. Shijika seemed to have just remembered something, and asked the third Hokage Lord Hokage, Why did those people take Kushina away? I heard them saying that they would take her directly to the wreckage. He was puzzled, as if asking, Is Kushina so valuable? She actually involved a big shot like Rakage. Saratobi Hiruzen observed Uchiha Shijika, and saw that his doubts were true, and sighed. Uka didn't the higher UPS of the Wave Clan tell him Kushina's identity? This really made Saratobi Hiruzen feel a little bit confused. It was common knowledge that Uchiha was optimistic about Shijika and wanted to win over him, but now it seems, the effect of wooing is not good. Mito-sama do you want to follow Shijika? Saratobi Hiruzen is determined to reveal something, and one more person knowing the secret will increase the risk, but at the same time it will also bring them closer to each other. He is optimistic about Uchiha Shijika and intends to build a common circle with him. Hiruzen. This is confidential. Ever since Uchiha Shijika came in, Danzo Shimura has not looked away. He has a sinister look in his eyes and his slightly narrowed eyes are filled with cold light, like an eagle. He has been observing and sizing up. Hearing Saratobi Hiruzen's words, he stopped after observing, he quickly stopped, don't forget, he is Uchiha, you won't forget what happened. The Sharingan can control tailed beasts. Shimura Danzo wanted to say loudly to Saratobi Hiruzen, wake up. I know you are optimistic about Uchiha Shijika but you won't tell him this secret. Saratobi Hiruzen frowning Konghua will know about this sooner or later, I just informed him in advance. Moreover, Danzo and Mito-sama are also willing to. Kushina, she is the vessel of the tailed beasts and the next nine-tailed Jinhuriki of Kanaha. Uzumaki Mito directly announced Kushina's identity at this moment. This made Shimura Danzo confused, and then became angry Mito-sama, you. Uzumaki Mito suddenly burst out laughing, 
although a cough followed. Kushina quickly patted the old man's back to smooth out the bad breath. Ahem, Uzumaki Mito stopped coughing and said with a smile okay, it's no longer a secret. Snort. Shimura Danzo left the room with a livid face. Everyone was like a demon. Is Uchiha Shijika worthy of their respect? Even the strictly guarded secrets were told. Have they forgotten the Uchiha they once were? Habara, is there anything about the rebellion of the Uchiha clan in the future? This clan is completely untrustworthy and is a time bomb that threatens Kanaha at any time. But now, Uchiha Shijika has so many people supporting him, Shimura Danzo is angry he was also full of vigilance. When did this Uchiha brat have so many people gathered around him? Shimura Danzo's departure actually made the atmosphere in the house much warmer. Uchiha Shijika listened to what was going on about the Jinkraki. After listening, he looked at Uzumaki Kushina with distress. Uzumaki Mito observed and saw that there was nothing strange in Shijika's eyes, and he was full of distressed emotions for Kushina. Malicious perception can prove that Shijika's emotions at this time are true, which makes Uzumaki Mito deeply gratified. Kushina was originally catching up with her cruel fate, but after noticing Shijika's emotions, she forgot about it and buried herself in her arms with a rosy face. Mito Uzumaki smiled and patted Kushina on the head. It seems that Kushina has found love that fills the container. So, is Kumagakur planning to abduct Kushina as a container for the Eight Tails? Uchiha Shijika looked serious after all, the Eight Tails just rioted a while ago. Saratobi. Hiruzen nodded the ceiling technology of Cloud Hidden Village is backward, and the Jinkraki cannot contain the Eight Tails, and they often riot. As for Kushina, she is very good as the container of the Nine Tails. Among the Uzumaki clan, there are not many psychics like Kushina who can match the Nine Tails. Since Kushina is suitable to be the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails, she is naturally suitable to be the Jinchuriki of other tailed beasts. Thinking about it, this is the reason why Reikage is eyeing her. Speaking of this, Saratobi Hiruzen shook his head and sighed maybe we should ask more children from the Uzumaki clan to come with Kushina, so that it can also confuse the outside world. I was negligent. Uzumaki Mito also felt that the original decision was a mistake. Kushina should not be the only Uzumaki clan member to come over. The Uzumaki clan is good at sealing techniques has a huge amount of chakra, and has tenacious vitality. In addition, the first nine-tailed Jinhuriki is her Uzumaki Mito. Now that her life is coming to an end, other ninja villages know that the next nine-tails Jinhuriki is urgent. So when the news that Uzumaki Kushina entered Kanaha came, it attracted their attention. Uchiha Shijika complained in his heart. So where is this secret? Other ninja villages know that Kushina is the next Nine Tails Jinhuriki and have not escaped. The well-connected ninjas, Jonin, and major families in the village also know Kushina's identity tacitly. This is not confidential at all. Now that the plan to kidnap Kushina has failed, the war in the north will probably end soon. Saratobi Hiruzen believed that the other party launched the war to attract their attention, so as to make it easier for Kumagakura's spies to steal people. The people did steal, but they were also rescued. Saratobi Hiruzen planned to dispatch ANBU to strictly monitor and protect them. We must not encounter the situation of people being stolen from the clan land again. Kumagakura's village is still in urgent need of reconstruction. Since the stealing failed, there is no need to continue the northern war. But... Uchiha Shijika is different in his voice, he tried to speak every time the Eight Tails riots will bring losses to Kumagakur, even if the village can continue to be rebuilt, it will not be safe if the hidden dangers of the Eight Tails are not solved. Um? Konghua, what do you mean? Thinking of what happened in the original work, Uchiha Shijika decided to fan his butterfly wings. The Uzumaki clan is suitable as a Jinchuriki for tailed beasts and they possess powerful sealing techniques that can make tailed beasts bow their heads. Uchiha. Shijika said slowly this is a hypothesis of mine. Could it be that kidnapping Kushina was also a cover for Kumagakur to attract attention? 
Uchiha Shijika's hypothesis was very bold. Uzumaki Mito and Sarutobi Hiruzen both looked at him blankly, and they all had the same idea. Konghua is too thoughtful, right? The Uzumaki clan has the spiritual medium they need and the sealing technique they need. It is possible for Kumagakur to take action against the Uzumaki clan. Uchiha Shijika continued Hokage-sama, how are the sealing techniques of other ninja villages? Sarutobi Hiruzen followed Konka's train of thought and continued the sealing techniques of Sand Hidden Village and Iwagakura Village come from Buddhist temples. They are not as sophisticated as the Uzumaki clan sealing techniques, but they are still sufficient. Over the years, the tailed beasts of Sunagakura and Iwagakura rarely rioted. Uchiha Shijika nodded. It was different from the impression Gara had when Shikaku was rioting. At this time, the old monk Fenfu and Shikaku were getting along well, so there were naturally less riots. He didn't know about Iwagakura village, but Lao Ziyi and Han are determined and rarely allow the tailed beasts to succeed, and there are also few riots. We know well in Cloud Hidden Village that the sealing technology is very poor. The Eight Tails often breaks through the Jinchuriki's restraints and riots, and the same goes for the Two Tails. Kirigakura when Sarutobi Hiruzen talked about Kirigakura village, he paused and the corners of his mouth twitched. They haven't established a Jinhuriki system yet. It's not that they don't want to establish it, but that they can't do it. The Kingdom of Water cannot say that it has no research on Jinhuriki. It can only be said that it is better than nothing. Yes. Sarutobi Hiruzen coughed the three tails and six tails have been sealed in the wild since Master Hashirama assigned them to them. Since we were talking about tailed beasts, Sarutobi Hiruzen simply explained the state of the seven tails the remaining seven tails belong to Takigakura village. Their sealing technology is almost non-existent. Maybe there is something different about Nanao. I have never heard of any riots. Uchiha Shijika knows because among the nine-tailed beasts, the seven tails is the most docile, and is also talkative. He often chats with the Jinchuriki. After this, the relationship is good and there is no thought of riots. Hokage-sama, you see, Kumagakura is lagging behind in sealing technology, and the tailed beast rebellion is constantly rioting like gangrenous gangrene, destroying everything around him. Kumagakura spent a lot of effort to suppress the tailed beasts and rebuild the village, consuming a lot of resources. If Hokage-sama faced this situation, he would definitely want to end the tailed beast rebellion once and for all. Uchiha Shijika's eyes were bright we can't overestimate that Kumagakura will do things according to our logical common sense. Before today, have you ever thought about Kushina being kidnapped? The possibility of attacking the Kingdom of Whirlpool is not low. Sarutobi Hiruzen nodded, frowning, and his face became more serious. Thinking about it carefully, although Shijika dared to think about it, he had to say that it made sense. Grandma, what Konghua said is possible. Uzumaki Kushina shook Grandma Mito's hand. She believed that Shijika would not be innocent. Thinking that her hometown might be in danger, Kushina couldn't sit still. She begged Grandma Mito. Hiruzen, Send some ANBU to take a look. Uzumaki Mito said with a stern face I somewhat believe what Shijika said. Kumagakura really cannot treat it according to common sense. Take precautions, Hiruzen, and be careful not to make a big mistake. The country of Whirlpool is our ally of Kanaha. When an ally is in trouble, Kanaha is obliged to do so, right, Hiruzen? Sarutobi Hiruzen hesitated for a moment and then nodded yes. Mito-sama, I will send ANBU to keep an eye on it. Uchiha Shijika exhaled, and then just watched the changes. I don't know how much he, a butterfly, can change by flapping its wings. Let him observe it. Snapped. Sarutobi Hiruzen slapped the table and stood up, looking at the ANBU reporting at the table in shock. That kid from Konghua really guessed it right. Kumagakura actually had plans to attack the country of Uzumaki, and not only that, many Anbu and spies of Kirigakura were discovered in the country of Uzumaki. What is this for? Will Kirigakura also attack the country of Whirlpool? 
If Kirigakura is included, the country of Uzumaki was attacked from both the north and the south, and was attacked by Kumagakura and Kirigakura. This is simply irresistible. Saratobi Hiruzen's face immediately became serious go and notify the assistants and advisors. Yes. The ANBU retreated and informed. After a while, Kanaha F4 gathered together. Shimura Danzo, Mito Kadoyan, and Kohara went to bed. They looked at the information from the ANBU and looked at each other with solemn expressions. They were going for the Uzumaki clan and the sealing technique. Danzo Shimura made the final decision, and there is no need to verify it. The two sealing skills are different, and one of them is Kirigakura who has never established a Jinchuriki system. Why should he go to the Uzumaki clan? It's not obvious. Mito Kadoyan held his eyes and said Hirazan, we must support the kingdom of Whirlpool. The other party is our ally, and Kanaha has the obligation and responsibility to support it. Kohara went to bed and answered. Not only that, we all know the suppression power of the Uzumaki clan against the tailed beasts. The sealing technique is the best in the ninja world and is terrifying. We cannot let these fall into the hands of Kumagakura and Kirigakura. If they obtain it, their Jinhuriki system will definitely usher in great development. This is not good for us, and we cannot let them get what they want. Saratobi Hiruzen nodded our information came in time. Kumagakura and Kirigakura are still in the preparation stage. We have time to inform the Uzumaki clan. Let's do this. If we can't afford to fight, we will inform the Uzumaki clan. Take refuge in Kanaha, they are being targeted now. Mito-sama's order must be more acceptable to them. Tendon Kohara turned around and left to find Uzumaki Mito. The remaining people exchanged opinions and finally decided to send an ANBU team to notify the Uzumaki clan to take refuge. From the Senjo clan, Uzumaki Mito was equally surprised when he heard Tengen Kohara's words. Followed by anger. They wanted to attack her hometown, Kumagakura and Kirigakura were so bold. But after the anger, Uzumaki Mito had a headache. How stubborn is their clan's temper? She is it couldn't be clearer. Let them avoid fighting and avoid enemies and come to Kanaha to take refuge? What's the difference between that and killing them directly? This is simply belittling the Uzumaki clan and insulting the Uzumaki clan. Hiruzen still didn't think about it. Uzumaki Mito with a sad face, the country of Uzumaki is a small country, and the only ninjas on the island are the Uzumaki clan. That few people are not enough. No matter how strong the sealing technique is, can it still withstand the attack of the two big countries' ninja villages? Hey! it is impossible for them all to come to Kanaha to take refuge. Xiaoharu, let the old guys who want to fight and dare to fight stay, and the rest will try to move to Kanaha to live. The country of Uzumaki is destined to become a battlefield. All that is left there are ruins. It will take a lot of time to go back and rebuild. You might as well just come and live in Kanaha. Furthermore, the Uzumaki clan is in this disaster because its bloodline and sealing techniques have become the eyes of others. It's so delicious, it's coveted by others. It's better to have a ninja village from a big country to protect you. The population of my Thousand Hands clan is depleted and their vitality is no longer alive. It would be a waste to have so many empty houses, so I will settle my people here. It was impossible for Hiraz and Saratobi to avoid disputes. When it comes to the migration of a clan, there will always be big or small movements. The ANBU spies of Kumagakura and Kirigakura discovered this situation and were shocked, and quickly reported the information. The Kingdom of Whirlpool is located overseas in the northeast of the Kingdom of Fire, which is closer than the Kingdom of Thunder. However, although Kumagakura was closer, he didn't send many ninjas. The village was hit by the Eight Tails riot and some ninjas needed to be left behind to deal with the aftermath. In order to achieve the goal of attacking the Kingdom of Whirlpool, it is necessary to contain the Hidden Leaf Village, an ally of the Whirlpool clan, and attract attention. You don't need many ninjas. The goal of this battle is not to defeat Kanaha, 
it just needs to pull and confront. Kidnapping Kushina was one of them. Although the rakage only informed the Kumagakura spy buried in Kanaha to do something to attract attention, it turned out that the Kumagakura spy had done too much. The third rakage smashed the table into pieces with one punch and was furious OK, OK. You are really capable of doing big things. Go directly to kidnap the next Nine Tails Jinkriki Psychic. I asked you to make trouble, and it turned out to be such a big deal. Now, Kanaha has discovered our intentions and is planning to move the Uzumaki clan to Kanaha. Todai, a close confidant of the Third Rakage, was astonished they actually succeeded in kidnapping. I didn't expect that such an important Jinhuriki medium would not have ANBU protection around him. Humph, it's only a success if it's sent here. The third rakage snorted coldly and rubbed his forehead. Our people have done a good job. Now Kanaha has noticed our true purpose. There is no time to prepare. Dode, contact Kirigakur and start now. Dode nodded, turned and left. The eight-tailed Jinhuriki Ruby looked guilty and said, Uncle, it's all my fault that I can't control the eight tails. The third rakage patted his nephew on the shoulder Don't blame yourself, what we are doing now is to help you control the eight tails. I am bound to obtain the sealing technique of the Uzumaki clan. After hearing this, Kumagakura and Kirigakura no longer planned to prepare, and quickly gathered the ninjas to head towards the country of Whirlpool. War is about to break out. Kumagakura and Kirigakura boarded the warship and headed directly towards the kingdom of Whirlpool. When Kanaha received the news, Saratobi Hiruzen said in secret that it was disgusting, he would still have to make a move after all. He immediately sent Hitaki Sakamoto to lead Kanaha's elite to the country of Whirlpool to withstand the main forces of the two countries. We are sending some teams to take different routes in batches, and must safely escort the Uzumaki clan members to Kanaha. Uzumaki Mito issued a death order, and Kanaha F4 had to listen to her words. Konghua, you have to be careful. Uzumaki Kushina looked at Uchiha Shijika worriedly. The Tsunade class was recruited to carry out the task of escorting the Uzumaki clan to Kanaha. Although the Tsunade class is a genin class that was just established, its strength is obvious to all. Hiruzen directly named Tsunade's class to participate in the operation. Uzumaki Kushina was worried and a little angry. She also wanted to rescue her hometown. But now she is not as free as before. There are ANVU surveillance and care when she comes and go. Before, she could still do some D-level I can't even do the mission now. I heard from Grandma Mito that her ninja forehead protector will be a collectible from now on. A ninja who can't do the mission can still be a ninja. In short, the recent mood of Uzumaki Kushina very irritable. Uchiha Shijika turned his sleeves, nodded and said I will be careful, Kushina, just wait for our news in Kanaha. Your people, I will escort them safely to Kanaha. You must act within your ability, don't show off, and pay careful attention to what you say. Under Kushina's instructions, Tsunade's class set off. They first went to the port on the east coast of Kanaha, and then took a boat to the country of Whirlpool. Ninjas can walk on the horizontal surface as smoothly as possible, but facing it's still beyond the reach of the vast blue sea. Their chakra is not huge enough to conquer the sea. This is the first time I saw the sea. The seagulls were chirping, the sea breeze was blowing, and from a distance, the sky and the earth were the same color. Uchiha Mikato was shocked. She had never seen such a scene before. It turned out that this was the sea. Hinata Hizashi's gloomy face seemed softer, looking at the sea has opened up the mind. Human beings are too insignificant in the face of the power of nature. Hinata Hizashi stared blankly at the sea. What does his fate mean in front of nature? Take a look now and relax. Ono Jainin, who led them, had no expression on his face, looking at the ripples in the water as the ship passed by. In the kingdom of Whirlpool, there is no such relaxing time. Time was running out, and the ship was operating at full power. Two days later, Tsunade's class entered the territory of the country of Whirlpool. Uchiha Shijika's expression moved, 
and he looked towards the dense forest over there. He could hear the fighting. The sound of. Follow me closely. Ono Jonan opened the way. They were going to the capital of the country of Uzumaki, which is also the habitat of the Uzumaki clan. As you can imagine, the closer they got there, the more enemies there would be, and the possibility of them encountering a battle would increase sharply. They set off cautiously, everyone was alert to their surroundings. Uchiha Mikato and Hinata Hizashi had throats rolling, and they were a little nervous. It was their first time on the battlefield, and their expressions were tense. Any slight disturbance caused the two of them to stiffen, and the kunao in their hands almost flew away. Go out! Fortunately, Uchiha Shijika was in front of them. Seeing that the two of them could no longer control their throwing kunao, he quickly held them down. It's your first time on the battlefield, so it's understandable that you're nervous. Jounin Ono pushed aside the weeds, his voice was low and soft, and you couldn't hear it clearly even if you didn't listen carefully. He taught Uchiha Mikato and Hinata Hizashi pay attention to self-adjustment, slow down your breathing, but don't make any noise. The battlefield is full of dangers, no. If you die, I will die. You must have this awareness and force yourself to be calm. Uchiha Shijikatu Ono Jainin, these words used Genjutsu techniques and induced hypnosis. After listening to Ono Jonin's words, Uchiha Mikato and Hinata Hizashi slowed down their breathing, adjusted their emotions, and slowly stabilized. They continued to move forward. The kingdom of Whirlpool was not big. After walking for a while, they were almost at the capital of the kingdom of Whirlpool. At this moment, Uchiha Shijika suddenly stopped, and then stopped Ono Jonin and others from advancing. Ono Jonin looked over with doubtful eyes. Uchiha Shijika pointed at his eyes, and then pointed to the corner under the tree in front, which was buried by weeds and leaves everywhere. The children that Lord Hokage is interested in will not stop for no reason. Ono Jonin cheered up and observed there attentively. This sight really made him see something. Ono Jainan's heart tightened and his eyes became serious. He did not say anything, but gestured. This code word passed through them before. It's a detonating talisman. Jonan Ono and the others held their breath and carefully avoided the place where the detonating talisman was. On the way, Jonan Ono looked back at Uchiha Shijika, feeling surprised. Such keen perception, to be honest, if Uchiha Shijika hadn't reminded him, he wouldn't have noticed the detonating talisman there. Uchiha Shijika frowned. He suddenly brushed his forehead with his right hand, and a pair of strange scarlet lights flashed past, and then fell silent. The next moment, he touched Ono Jainan and made a gesture with his hand. Ono Jonan's eyes narrowed and he motioned for Hinata Hizashi to observe. Hinata almost nodded, veins sprouted from her eyes, and she was already in a state of white eyes. He was ashamed of himself for not noticing the detonating talisman just now. This time he must be focused and observe the surroundings for the team. Hinata Hizashi's expression froze. The opponent's target was much more obvious than the detonating talisman. Hinata Hizashi stretched out his hand and gestured to the number six, and then changed his gesture to show that he was Kirigakur's ninja. Six Kirigakur. Ono Jainin considered for a moment and did not intend to rush forward to fight. He asked Hinata Hizashi to observe the opponent at all times and crawl forward while avoiding the opponent's observation. Whoosh! Uchiha Shijika suddenly threw a kunao and shot it towards the opponent. The harsh sound of breaking through the air echoed through the area, and Ono Jainan's face became stiff. Kong Hua, what are you? Before he finished speaking, Uchiha Shijika quickly introduced the current situation. Senior, it's the Kirigakur Jutsu, they have discovered us. Ono Jainan closed his mouth, looked around, and found that at some point, the fog began to fill the air. I can't observe them anymore. Hayaga Hizashi nervously stated the situation. The fog was densely covered with chakra. In his Byakugan sight, a large group of blue light appeared in the black and white picture. He could not find the six Kirigakur. Get into formation. They were back to back in an instant, 
holding weapons in their hands, looking around vigilantly. Bang! Sparks exploded, kunao and daggers clashed, and there was a stinging sound. The three Jonin Ono heard the sound and looked around, and saw Uchiha Mikato in front of them. Uchiha Shijika held the kunao behind his back and fought hand to hand with the enemy. The enemy's pupils were dilated and he was a little shocked. This child is not simple. He missed a hit and was hidden in the fog, Uchiha Shijika pursued him. Etc. Kong Hua. Ono Jonin's expression changed, Uchiha Shijika actually rushed into the fog. Kong Hua. Uchiha Mikato turned pale and was frightened. This is the enemy's home ground, Kirigakura's art, the Kirigakura ninja's housekeeping ninjutsu. Coupled with it is Kirigakura's assassination art, which can appear and disappear. Killed in one blow, making people unable to guard against it. Uchiha Mikato didn't wait to think, her body started to act, she wanted to rush into the fog to find Shijika. Ono Jounin quickly grabbed Uchiha Mikato to stop her from rushing in. Um. Ono Jonin felt something was wrong. Uchiha Mikato was motionless. This was, falling into illusion? There are also Genjutsu ninjas as enemies. Hisashi, be optimistic about Mikato. Hinata almost nodded, sweating like rain, and his white eyes kept scanning, but they were blocked by the mist full of chakra and could not find any trace of the enemy. Jonin Ono shouted low. Earth release earth formation wall. The soil under his feet was loose, and five the earthen walls were arched together to form a simple house, surrounding the three Onajounin for protection. Bang! Onajounin created a shadow clone and controlled the earthen wall to open a hole. Wind escape big breakthrough. Art fire escape ho fireball. One person used wind escape, and the other used fire escape. The combined ninjutsu with wind assisting the fire surged out from the mouth of the earth wall and spread in all directions. Drink. Jounin Ono controlled the ninjutsu to set off a fire tornado centered on the earth wall. The surrounding fog suddenly dispersed, and the misty world became clear. Jounin Ono drove the shadow clone to sneak into the land and explore the surrounding situation. Boom. Heavy. The sound of something falling to the ground suddenly came, followed by Uchiha Shijika's voice. Senior, let go of the earthen wall. I have captured these six Kirigakur. Ah! Ono Jainan's first reaction was disbelief, but when he accepted the information about the shadow clone from the outside, he fell silent. After a long time, he said in a solemn voice Are you really Shijika? Are you sure you're not pretending to be an enemy? It is indeed Kong Hua's chakra reaction, and, Hinata and Hainashi looked straight at each other with white eyes. Without the chakra mist to block it, he could see outside. The six Kirigakura ninjas were also there, and they all fell to the ground and passed out. Ono Jainan heard the words, swallowed, and slowly dispersed the earthen wall. Uchiha Shijika stood there thinking about Kunao, and lying at his feet were the six Kirigakura ninjas. This, how did you do it? Of course it's because his Kirigakura assassination skills are superior to them. Uchiha Shijika was also surprised. Not long ago, the Genin's Kirigakura passerby skills came in handy so quickly. Kirigakura's special skill is Kirigakura. Jutsu and Kirigakura's assassination technique, but he is a Genin and is not very capable. Kirigakura's special skills cannot exert much power. But Uchiha Shijika is different. In addition to Kirigakura passerby, he also has Uchiha attack as character card. Relying on the talent and talent inherited from Uchiha attack as character card, Kirigakura's housekeeping skills were used extremely well by him. So good that none of the six Kirigakura local ninjas were as good at it as he was. The enemy wanted to use Kirigakura's techniques and assassination techniques are used to defeat the enemy but little did they know that Uchiha Shijika also thought the same way. Use his own way to retaliate. He sneaked into the enemy's mist, and before the opponent noticed, he used his lightning escape and his speed increased sharply. Turned into lightning and galloped in a short time, hitting each enemy hard and knocking them unconscious. 
Faced with Ono Jainan's doubts, Uchiha Shijika did not answer, he asked instead Senior, how to deal with these enemies. Ono Jainan's attention was diverted by these words. He looked at the six Kirigakura ninjas who fell on the ground with sharp eyes. Kill them. Uchiha Shijika was silent for a moment, nodded, and the kunao flew out from his hand, shooting directly into the opponent's neck. The sound of a sharp weapon entering the flesh came, Uchiha Shijika's brows jumped, and the sound of blood pooling could be clearly heard. The enemy was unconscious. In the middle, he lost his life. Uchiha Shijika took a deep breath. This was the first time he killed someone in this world. He felt a little uncomfortable, but he had long been aware of it and knew that this would happen sooner or later. This time he did not throw instead, he walked over to the kunao, squatted down, held the kunao and stabbed it directly. The senses were even more exciting than before. Uchiha Shijika's hands shook, and then he calmly went to kill the next Kirigakura ninja. When he ended after catching four Kirigakura ninjas, Ono Jainan stopped him. He looked at Uchiha Shijika with relief there was no hesitation and decisive action, Shijika, you are much stronger than me, my senior. The remaining two people don't need you anymore. Ono Jainan turned to look at the other two members. You guys, go and kill them one by one. Hayaga Hizashi and Uchiha Mikato, who had just woken up from the Genjutsu, turned pale. Vomit. Uchiha Shijika patted Uchiha Mikato's back. How are you? Are you feeling better? Uchiha Mikato's face turned pale, and when he glanced at the filth she spit out, his pale face turned red instantly. He actually made Konghua look embarrassed. Mikato felt like her whole body was about to explode. This was so embarrassing. However, she is more curious about one thing than being embarrassed. Konghua, I fell into an illusion. Was it you? Uchiha Mikato recalled just now, she wanted to rush into the fog, but at that time she saw a little red light that disappeared in an instant, and the next moment she fell into an illusion. The red light. Uchiha Shijika nodded and said helplessly we can't really let you rush into the fog. As he said that, he touched Mikato's little head and said in a gentle tone I know you are worried about me, but, Mikato, please have confidence in me. You know my strength, these enemies will not pose any danger to me. Feeling the warmth on her head, Mikato said calmly I'm just worried about you, the body has acted without permission. Uchiha Shijika felt warm in his heart when he heard this. Don't be so impulsive next time. You worry about me, and I worry about you too. Trust me more. Uchiha Shijika patted her or let's go, let's move on. Uchiha Mikato nodded and followed Konghua, staring at his back with a pair of beautiful eyes. A question lingered in her heart, could that red light be related to the Sharingan? Or maybe she was overthinking, maybe it's some kind of illusion that produces red light. Uchiha Shijika and Ono Jainan met up and glanced at Hinata Hizashi. His performance was much better than Mikato, although his face was also a little ugly. Well you have become real ninjas. Jounin Ono glanced at the three of them, with a happy smile on his face remember this feeling, he will be with you throughout your life. This is the path of a ninja, face him well. Set off. They met no enemies for the rest of the journey. After walking for a while, they encountered the patrolling Kanaha ninjas. After using secret codes to prove their identities to each other, Uchiha Shijika and others accelerated and entered the capital of the Kingdom of Whirlpool. This is the habitat of the Uzumaki clan. Uchiha Shijika looked around and found many people with red hair. Are all the Uzumaki clan members here? Jonan Ono talked to the Chuyunin who was leading the way. The Chuyunin nodded and said, when the news came from Lord Hokage, the Uzumaki clan leader gathered all the clansmen on the island here in the capital. Ono Jonan's eyes turned. What about those people who are not from the Uzumaki clan? He refers to people who are not from the Uzumaki clan, such as those who live and do business in the country of Uzumaki. The country of Uzumaki is a country, and the Uzumaki clan is the main citizen, 
but it does not mean that people from other countries will not live here. That Chunin expressionless they have been informed. Some people followed the Uzumaki clan to the capital, and some people found their own way out. After all, they are not members of the Uzumaki clan, so they can only pray that they are safe and go well. Hearing this, Ono Jainin sighed softly that's all we can do. This Chuyunin took them to the Daiming mansion of the country of Whirlpool and left. According to what he said, he was going to meet other ninja teams coming to the country of Whirlpool. The main force was marching in a hurry and set off early. After all, Kumagakur and Kirigakur has already begun to attack, and they must rush to the country of Uzumaki to resist the invasion of ninjas from both countries. Although ninja teams like Uchiha Shijika do not have enough time, they are not in such a hurry. They will wait until the main force and Kirigakur are ready after the first wave of battles, a stalemate was entered, and this was the time for them to appear. The ninja teams dispersed into the kingdom of Whirlpool in batches and joined the main force. Next, they will begin to carry out this mission. Escort the Uzumaki clan to Kanaha. Welcome to Zirin. Walking into the Daiming mansion, Uchiha Shijika was observing the decoration and layout here when a gentle voice came. He looked up and saw that he had silver hair with a ponytail tied behind him. He had a handsome face and a peaceful temperament. His left armband wearing a white armband with a red triangle printed on it. This is an acquaintance, Hitaki Sakumo. He is also the leader of the main force of Kanaha in the country of Whirlpool. Hitaki Sakumo talked with Ono Jonin and learned about their experiences on this journey at the same time, he observed Uchiha Shijika out of the corner of his eye. Is this the child that Lord Hokage is optimistic about? He is also a child of the Uchiha clan. Hitaki Sakumo is older than the Sunan and has more experience than them. He has entered the ANBU directly under the Hokage. He understood some things in depth. He knew that the high-level officials of Kanaha had a prejudiced view of the Uchiha clan, even the gentle Saratobi Hiruzen. Therefore, this made Hitaki Sakumo even more surprised. He was prejudiced against the Uchiha clan. Lord Hokage actually took a fancy to an Uchiha child. This made Hitaki Sakumo curiously look at him and find out why he was favored. You must be Uchiha Shijika. Hello, I am Hitaki Sakumo. Hello, senior, I am Uchiha Shijika. Hitaki Sakumo smiled and said, Come in and understand the current situation so that you can better escort the Uzumaki clan. Uchiha Shijika and others followed Hitaki Sakumo into the room. There was another person waiting here. The red hair was a little dull and white. The old man had an expressionless face with his arms crossed and his brows furrowed as he looked at the wall. The map of the Uzumaki country. Seeing Hitaki Sakumo come in, he glanced at Ono Jainin and the others, and his frown deepened. He turned to look at Hitaki Sakumo in confusion. As for a ninja team, it is worth specially calling the Daiming Mansion. And Hitaki Sakumo, the commander-in-chief of Kanaha's main force, went to greet him personally. Why, is there any important person here? Saratobi Hiruzen's own son is here? Hey? The Uzumaki clan leader suddenly saw a man and a woman. The ping-pong mark behind a child. This team gathered the Kanaha Hidomitsu family, Uchiha and Hinata. The Uzumaki clan leader's brows relaxed, and the unhappiness in his heart dissipated. Even if it is a big clan, it should be taken seriously. Hitaki Sakumo introduced the two parties to each other. Uchiha Shijika took a few glances and realized that this was the name of the country of Uzumaki, and he was also the leader of the Uzumaki clan. You are the first ninja team to come here. I'm sorry that I can't let you have a good rest for a few days. Hitaki Sakumo was full of apologies you only have one night's rest, and you will start your mission tomorrow morning. Kumagakur and Kirigakur are currently undergoing repairs and have no plans to attack here for the time being. This is the best time. Are Kumagakur and Kirigakur waiting for follow-up reinforcements? Uchiha Shijika suddenly spoke. The Uzumaki clan leader was stunned for a moment and looked at the Uchiha child in surprise. The Uzumaki 
Clan leader replied our sudden actions disrupted their preparations. They rushed to attack the country of Uzumaki and were defeated by me. The clan elite and the Kanaha ninjas led by Sakumo successfully repelled it. Hitaki Sakumo said with a smile their current number of ninjas cannot accommodate us, so they can only wait for reinforcements and make original preparations. Tomorrow morning, we will take the initiative to attack the enemy and create a relatively safe environment for you. Uchiha Shijika frowned. It is relatively safe, which means there is still a little bit of danger. Hitaki Sakumo further added there is danger, but it is nothing to your team. The six Kirigakure ninjas have already proved your strength. Especially Uchiha Juka. From Onizawa, I know that all six Kirigakure ninjas were solved by Uchiha Juka alone. This kid already has the strength of a Jounin. There are two Jounin in a team, plus another the two children are from a big clan, and their strength is guaranteed to be at the Chuyunin level. This team is very good. With their main force to contain the enemy's main force, the danger of missing a little fish is not high. After all, this team is a big fish. Ah, the little fish and shrimp are gone, never to come back. To be honest, Hitaki Sakumo wants to incorporate this team into the main force. There are never too many outstanding ninjas. They. Uzumaki clan leader pointed to the wall. Map This is the kingdom of you, the battlefield between Kanaha and Kumagakur, where the third Rakage is sitting at this time. Then, he moved his finger, pointed to the hinterland of the Kingdom of Thunder, and said the uprising of the Kumagakur Eight Tails requires ninjas to deal with it. Coupled with the two forced wars, the number of Kumagakur ninjas in the Kingdom of Whirlpool must not be many. On the other hand, the leader of the Uzumaki clan pointed again, and a huge island appeared in front of him, where the Kingdom of Water is located. Kirigakur's total military strength is not large. This is due to the atmosphere in their country. Atmosphere Uchiha Mikato was curious, what is the atmosphere? Hitaki Sakumo smiled and said the relationship between the third generation Mizu Cage and the clan is not good, and there are conflicts and confrontations from time to time. None of the ninjas sent by Kirigakura this time are clan ninjas. After an investigation by the ANBU, the third Mizu Cage left many ninjas to defend his clan. I understand, the struggle between the cage and the clan. They also have this trend in Kanaha, but obviously Kirigakura is one step ahead and entered the analogy to cut the feudal clan first. From this look, the situation in the country of Uzumaki is urgent but it is still not to the point of danger. Kumagakur had too many things going on, and the division of troops was serious, which resulted in the Kumagakur troops assigned to the Uzumaki country not being strong enough. Kirigakur, on the other hand, had conflicts and confrontations between his boss and his own clan, and they disliked each other, and the clan ninjas the number is small, but the individual fighting ability is very strong. The third generation of Mizu Cage cannot bring all the chips in his hand to the country of Whirlpool. He always has to leave a guarantee. There are not many ninjas sent by Kirigakur. Having said that, Kumagakur and the ninjas sent by Kirigakur were all elite, and they lost the battle just because their opponents were more elite and stronger than them. Uchiha Shijika looked at Hitaki Sakumo, this was no little Karami. With his current strength it is not an exaggeration to say that they are at the level of Cage 1. Led by strong men and Kanaha's elite troops, Kumagakur and Kirigakur have no chance of success. After discussing the details of tomorrow's mission in detail, Ono Jonan and others left, Uchiha Konghua stayed. Lord Daimyo, we can defeat Kumagakur's conspiracy only because of this child. The Uzumaki clan leader looked at Uchiha Shijika in surprise it's you? Are you the child who saved Kushina? The Uzumaki clan leader stood up and bowed to thank you thank you for discovering Kumagakur's conspiracy, otherwise, the consequences could be disastrous. It's serious, Daimyo sama Uchiha Shijika waved his hands repeatedly this is just my guess. The one who really implemented it was Hokage-sama. It was Hokage-sama who was wise and believed my lies. 
I didn't expect Kumagakur to really plan to attack the country of Whirlpool. The Uzumaki clan leader stood up and sighed, feeling a little proud and helpless my Uzumaki clan is famous in the ninja world for its sealing techniques. This once made me feel proud, but I didn't expect it to become a curse now. Thinking about it now, Hashirama may have made a mistake at the beginning. He distributed the tailed beasts and achieved a balance between the tailed beasts. He made Mito the nine-tailed Jinchuriki. Other ninja villages followed suit and started to create Jinchuriki. From that moment on, the fate of my Uzumaki clan was determined, and this fate was inevitable. Hitaki Sakumo and Uchiha Shijika didn't speak. No matter what they said about their ancestors, it was inappropriate. They... Uzumaki clan leader seemed to have noticed the stagnant atmosphere, and quickly changed the topic and said after all, we still need the protection of a big country, and we, the Uzumaki clan, must please Kanaha. Daimyo sama you should also go to Kanaha with us. The main force of Kanaha is still here against Kumagakur and Kirigakur, and has the ninja team escort the Uzumaki clan to move to Kanaha. Isn't it because there is a group of Uzumaki clan members with fiery and stubborn personalities who want to stay here and are determined to defend their hometown and follow Yungakur? Yunwian fought bloody battles to the end. Without this group of people, they could escort and fight at the same time, while fighting and retreating. Instead of remaining in a stalemate like now. Stop talking, Sakumao, this is the place where our ancestors have lived for generations. Don't even think about letting me hand it over to two wolf-hearted guys. The Uzumaki clan leader blew his beard and glared, furious. They can let the old, weak, women and children take refuge in Kanaha, but these bloody old guys, for the country of Uzumaki, for the place where their ancestors have lived for generations, they must fight to the end. Even if they die here, it is enough to smile and comfort the ancestors. They did not escape. Uchiha Shijika and Hotaki Sakumo looked at each other and stopped trying to dissuade them, and they could not dissuade them. Uchiha Shijika is a junior, even if he is the benefactor of the other party, it is not good persuasion. As for Hotaki Sakumo, he has said it several times, and his throat is dry. He has not changed the mind of the Uzumaki clan leader. What else can I do? I can only obey him. We can only hope that the other party will retreat, so as to save the country of Whirlpool and their lives. Hitaki Sakumo personally sent Uchiha Shijika away. Uchiha Shijika heard this and said after that, will the Uzumaki clan who took refuge return to the country of Uchiha again? Hitaki Sakumo shook his head no, it is a fact that the Uzumaki clan is being targeted by the big powers. The only ones who can fight against the big powers are the big powers. From now on, Kanaha village will welcome new members, hmm, no, the Uzumaki clan is my ally in Kanaha, so it's like my old friend who was away from home has come back to settle down. Hitaki Sakumo turned around and said with a smile what do you think of Shijika? It's a good thing, Kushina's tribe came to live in Kanaha, and she won't be alone anymore. I just hope that Kushina's people don't have any grudges about her identity as a tailed beast Jinchuriki. Hitaki Sakumo stopped and had already reached the main entrance. Go back and have a good sleep. See you at the city gate tomorrow. Uchiha Shijika nodded, said goodbye to Hitaki Sakumo, and left the Daiming Mansion. Hitaki Sakumo looked at Uchiha Shijika's back until he turned around and disappeared. He is such an outstanding child. I hope my future children can be as outstanding as him. Hitaki Sakumo sighed looking forward to his future children. A Night of Silence Early the next morning, Uchiha Shijika and others arrived at the gate of the capital of the Kingdom of Whirlpool. When they arrived, Hitaki Sakumo had already led the main force to find trouble with Kumagakur and Kirigakur. There are still some Kanaha ninjas staying here, with expressionless faces and eyes scanning the surroundings like hawks. You are here. The leader of the Uzumaki clan did not follow Kumagakur to cause trouble. He led the elite of the Uzumaki clan to stay in the capital to prevent the enemy from making any plans to attack the east and west, and to divert the tiger away from the mountain. 
it is always right to be just in case. In addition, it is just to take another look. The clan members of the Uzumaki clan were about to leave here. The leader of the Uzumaki clan looked at the frightened clansmen in front of him with regret. Most of them were women, old, and young. These fifty tribesmen, I leave it to you. The Uzumaki clan leader solemnly asked, and Ono Jonan nodded seriously I will complete the mission successfully, no one will be left behind, and everyone will be brought to Kanaha safely. The Uzumaki clan leader nodded, turned around and said to some of the clan members gathered here everyone, when you come to Kanaha in the future, don't forget that this is our home. If it is safe, we can invite you to the ancestral hall to reminisce about the past during New Year's and holidays. I will always be here. Patriarch. When the Uzumaki clan members heard this, they burst into tears. They finally looked at the place where they once lived, and followed Uchiha Shijika and others away with tears in their eyes. Jonan Ono opened the way, Uchiha Shijika and Uchiha Mikato supported on both sides of the team, and Hinata Hizashi was assigned to the back of the team, with his white eyes on alert throughout the entire process. Their speed couldn't be increased. Most of the fifty people were not ninjas. Those who were ninjas were now old and no longer had the same foot strength as before. For a small island country, they are now moving as fast as a turtle crawling. Hinata Hizashi, who was walking at the end of the team, looked highly nervous, with streaks of intimacy blooming around his temples, and a pair of white eyes staring straight ahead. Any disturbance around him is within his eyes. However, since there is a caged bird engraved on his head, Hinata Hizashi will turn around and look behind him from time to time to ensure that all perspectives are observed by him. Suddenly, his expression changed and he made a signal gesture with his right hand. The other three people observed their surroundings and glanced at Hinata Hizashi out of the corner of their eyes. Seeing his gesture, the three of them looked solemn, and Kunao immediately stood in front of them on guard. Their appearance caused some commotion among the Uzumaki clan members. Everyone was nervous, but none of them screamed in surprise. The ninja who protects them makes alert movements, this is a situation where there are enemies. It's the Kirigaku or no Jutsu again. Ono Jainin was alert for a moment, and suddenly the surroundings were filled with fog, blocking his vision. They had just seen this kind of situation yesterday and the person who came was another ninja from Kirigakur. Senior, I'm going. Uchiha Shijika shouted, and the next moment, Ono Jainan's voice came over. Konghua, be careful. Uchiha Shijika glanced at the Uzumaki clan members beside him wait for me for a moment. Hey, wait a minute. The people of the Uzumaki tribe were very nervous. Their originally clear sight was blocked and they could only see half a meter around them. They didn't know what happened to the others. Fortunately, the young ninja from the Uchiha clan was still around, which somewhat relieved their hanging hearts. But unexpectedly, the next moment, the Uchiha boy rushed directly into the fog and disappeared. This scared them half to death. Without the protection of ninjas, how could they, women and children, withstand the enemy's blade? Mom. Why is brother ninja missing? Hearing the voice of the child in her arms, the mother hugged him tightly and comforted it's okay, it's okay. Brother ninja is going to fight the enemy. We will be fine. The long hair covered his eyes. The Uzumaki child looked through the hair in front of his eyes, and his little face wrinkled together. Well, cannot see. Um? Mom, there's lightning there. The child in the whirlpool seemed to have discovered something and shouted in surprise. He quickly pointed in the direction where he found the lightning and motioned for his mother to look over, but his mother was holding him nervously and mumbling something, completely unaware of the child's movements. Ah, 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 ah. Suddenly a shrill scream came from the mist, and the already tense Suzumaki clan members suddenly broke through their defenses and started screaming one after another. Okay, okay, everyone, stop shouting. A huge voice drowned out the noise at the scene, and what followed was a strong wind. Wind release big breakthrough. 
This strong wind blew their hair and took away the mist. Ono Chounin did not relax. He looked at Hinata Hisashi. Hinata Hisashi observed for a moment and said there are no enemies for the time being. Ono Jainin relaxed a little after hearing this and looked towards Uchiha Shijika. Under his feet were two Kirigakura ninjas with fearful expressions on their faces. A hole was opened in their chests and blood flowed out. Ono Jainin I was stunned for a moment, what kind of trick is this? Directly opening a hole in the enemy's chest. Is it related to the lightning just now? The blue light flashed like lightning, but it was silent and only the light existed. In the blink of an eye, the two Kirigakura ninjas were already their kill. It seems that Kirigakura's special skill, Kirigakura's art, cannot avoid your perception at all, Kong Hua. Looking at Uchiha Shijika coming over, Ono Jounin sighed what a terrible boy, Kirigakura's Kirigakura technique is useless in front of you. Obviously, the high concentration chakra condensed mist blocked even Hinata Hisashi's Byakugan sight, but it was helpless against Uchiha Shijika's perception ability. It can only be said that. Kirigakura was unlucky and faced Tank's opponent. This is Uchiha Shijika's prevarication. The real situation is that he is better at playing Kirigakura's art than the Kirigakura ninja, which is a crushing level of proficiency. But it is right to say that Kirigakura is unlucky. Who told him to smoke Kirigakura? As for Hidden Man A, he doesn't want it either. He clearly wants the named characters on the list in the original work. We move on, careful of wandering enemy squads. The main force is composed of several ninja squads. Hitaki Sakumo and others are on top of the enemy's main force, but there will also be some enemy ninja squads wandering alone, looking for fighter opportunities and exerting their subjective initiative. In essence, Uchiha Shijika this team is of the same nature as the other party. The dead bodies of the two Kirigakura ninjas are left here as fertilizer, and Uchiha Shijika and others continue on their way. Big brother, what was that lightning just now? As soon as he returned to the left, he heard a child's voice ringing in his ear. Uchiha Shijika turned around and saw a woman looking at him uneasily and apologetically. The person speaking was the child in her arms. The woman took a picture patting the child in his arms. Uchiha Shijika signaled him not to speak. Uchiha Shijika stared at the child, which looked familiar. More importantly, the long curtain of hair covered his sight, making it impossible to see the child's eyes, this looks more familiar. Uchiha Shijika asked casually what's your name? He really just asked casually, but the child's answer suddenly made his eyes sharpen. Big brother asked me? My name is Uzumaki Nagato. Is there anyone else named Nagato in your Uzumaki clan? Little Nagato blinked, looked at Uchiha Shijika strangely, shook his head and said no, my name is quite rare in the clan. So this is really Uzumaki Nagato who later carried rice. That lightning is my brother's ninjutsu. Uchiha Shijika stretched out the palm of his right hand do you want to see it? Little Nagato's eyes shone, he looked at Uchiha Shijika's palm, and nodded quickly. Uchiha Shijika smiled, made a seal with his hands, and showed him the silent Chidori. Little Nagato looked at the lightning condensed in his palms in surprise. Call out! Wow, no sound! On a rainy day, thunder roared, and a bolt of lightning pierced the sky, bringing a moment of light. Xiao Nagato still remembers that shock. He can actually gather lightning in the palm of his hand. Ninjas are really amazing beings. It looks good. Uchiha Jube dispersed Chidori. Ono Jonan and others looked at Uchiha Chwika blankly. Is it that ninjutsu? Jonan Ono took a deep breath. This is the ninjutsu that opened a hole in Kirigakura's chest. What level of ninjutsu is this? He has never seen it before. It is very difficult to gather a high concentration of thunder attribute chakra in the palm of his hand. It's higher, and its properties have also changed. Ono Jonan had already highly estimated Uchiha Shijika's strength, but now it seemed that it was not enough. His throat rolled and he swallowed. Being able to change the properties of high concentration thunder attribute chakra, 
then the thunder activated cells can naturally do the same. He has extremely fast speed, extremely lethal lightning escape ninjutsu, and, by the way, he also has super sensory abilities. Faced with such a Uchiha Juge, Jounin Ono seemed unable to resist himself. As a Jounin, he could not beat the Genin Uchiha Juge, this Genin is so awesome. Moreover, this little guy doesn't have the Sharingan yet. Ono Jainan didn't dare to think about how far Uchiha Shijika's strength could advance with his Sharingan activated. He is indeed the child that Lord Hokage likes. Ono Jounin admired Hiruzen Saratobi even more in his heart, because he was a Hokage, and he could tell people very accurately. The more they compare, the more they admire. Ono Jainan looked at Uchiha Shijika with a hint of awe. This child is destined to have a bright future. Uchiha Shijika observed Uzumaki Nagato, and what he saw through the long hair curtain was a pair of black and white eyes. He narrowed his eyes slightly, thinking about it. Uzumaki Nagato's eyes are now normal, which means that Uchiha Madara has not yet thought about transplanting his samsara eye. A bold assumption, or maybe Uchiha Madara hasn't opened the samsara eye yet. But it's only been in the past few years. Uchiha Shijika looked at him, and Uzumaki Nagato estimated that he was four or five years younger than him. In the original work, Kanaha and Omega Kure started a war and accidentally killed Uzumaki Nagato's parents. Under extreme emotions, the power of the Rin Egan exploded and directly killed Kanaha ninjas. Compared with the current little Nagato, it is a little bigger and only a few years old. Uchiha Shijika was talking to Uzumaki Nagato and his son on the road. Uzumaki Nagato's father died early, and he and his mother Uzumaki Fuzu depended on each other. Uchiha Shijika recalled the original work, as if Nagato's father had black hair at that time. Oh, it turned out to be my stepfather, so that's no surprise. Can I become a powerful ninja like my brother in the future? Little Nagato said longingly. Now Uzumaki Nagato is not withdrawn and introverted. It seems that the environment of fleeing and precarious life has changed little Nagato. Uchiha Shijika brushed through little Nagato's hair curtain and looked at those normal eyes. That depends on Nagato's efforts. I wonder if Uchiha Madara is eyeing Uzumaki Nagato now. Good. I will work hard. Little Nagato clenched his fists with a determined look on his face. He knew that they wanted to live in Kanaha forever. He didn't know if it would be difficult to enroll in the ninja school there. What is Kanaha like, Shijika, can you tell us a little bit about it? Uzumaki Fuzu felt uneasy in his heart. He was a little afraid and yearning for the future life. After all, it is a ninja village in a big country in the ninja world. It will definitely be more prosperous than the country of Uzumaki. Uzumaki Fuzu was a little entangled. He didn't know whether Kanaha would welcome them or not. Strangers Although Kanaha and the Uzumaki clan are in an alliance, they are always worried about being in a strange place. The ears of the other Uzumaki clan members stood up when they heard this, and they also wanted to hear the opinions of Kanaha natives. Uchiha Shijika smiled. Just about to answer, he suddenly saw Hinata Hisashi making gestures again. There are enemies again? Uchiha Shijika's eyes narrowed, and he slightly bent his body on guard. When the others saw this state, they immediately fell silent and looked nervously. Around. Maybe he has experienced an enemy attack, and his mood is not as tense as before. Hinata Hisashi made a gesture and passed the code. This time it was not Kirigakur, it was Kumagakur Ninja. Whoosh! The sound of breaking through the air came and there was pain in all directions. The shuriken is fired quickly. Earth escape earth formation wall. Jonan Ono saw this, his expression changed, and he quickly summoned an earthen wall to block it. Chakra surged in his body, preparing to release a large-scale earthen wall that could surround everyone. But Uchiha Shijika moved faster than him. He kicked his feet, jumped up, raised his right hand high, and the storm gathered in his hand. The wind attribute chakra was integrated into it. Wind release day raisin one. 
the basketball-sized green jade rays nan emitted a strong whirlwind, tearing the surrounding air. The enemy's kunao shuriken swayed left and right, disturbed by the stirring wind, and the kunao and shuriken that were originally coming towards them shuriken, twisting and turning, avoided everyone, and fell softly to the ground. Ah! Ono Jainan stared at the typhoon-like ball of chakra in Uchiha Juka's hand. What is this? Does Uchiha Juka have any novel tricks? The previous high-concentration thunder escape was not enough. This is another high-concentration wind escape. Also, did Kong Hua not have any seals just now? Water escape, great waterfall technique. Seeing that the Kunao Shuriken failed, Kumagakura in the dense forest spit out a huge water ball and spewed out. Thunder escape pseudo darkness. Another Kumagakura ninja condensed thunder and lightning in his palms, followed closely, and merged into the water ball. The water ball was surrounded by lightning and came at a high speed. Fire escape the powerful fire is extinguished. Uchiha Shijika formed a seal with his hands, and spit out a huge range of monstrous flames. The water ball with thunder and lightning was vulnerable to such a vast flame, and was directly crushed into steam. The Kumagakura ninja looked at the surging wall of fire in horror. Thunder and lightning burst out from his body, and he hurriedly avoided it. Shishi the flames burned the dense forest, and thick smoke billowed up. Where are you looking? A faint question came, and the Kumagakura ninja who had just breathed a sigh of relief suddenly felt a pain in his chest. He looked down at him in shock and pain. Silent lightning raged, and a pair of indifferent eyes came into view. Uchiha Shijika took out Kumagakura's chest. He took out his right hand, blood stained the sleeve, but the palm wrapped by thunder and lightning was clean and white. The blood had been torn to pieces by lightning, Kumagakura's eyes were dim, he lost consciousness, and fell softly to the ground. Uchiha Shijika looked at the other Kumagakura saw his eyes in shock and grief. Uchiha Shijika's mouth curved up, looking extremely arrogant. The next one is you. As soon as the words fell, the person appeared in front of Yunyunyi. His right palm, which condensed thunder and lightning, stabbed the opponent's chest fiercely. Ono Jounin stared blankly as Uchiha Shijika surrounded the entire audience by himself, killing everyone. He has a bit of self-doubt. Is there anything he, the leader of the team, can do? Kong Hua, don't be brave. Two waves of enemies are attacking you. Do you still have enough chakra? The ninjutsu he released consumes a lot of chakra. Uchiha Shijika casually threw away the dead Kumagakura in his hand, and said calmly I'm okay, the chakra is still sufficient. Although he does not have as huge chakra as the Senju clan and the Uzumaki clan, he is a descendant of the Six Path Sage, and his chakra is not on the same level as that of ordinary people. In addition, he also inherited the chakra of Uchiha Ataki and Kirigakura. A little ninjutsu, his chakra is enough to support it. Furthermore, he has always implemented quick combat. As long as he can kill the enemy in a short time, it is worth consuming more chakra. It allows him to fight for a long time and use chakra carefully. We haven't met the enemy yet. Are you talking human words? Ono Jainan glanced helplessly at Uchiha Shijika, envious of the other party's abundant chakra. The next moment, he said with a serious face something is unusual. Enemy attacks are occurring too frequently. They had a hunch that there would be many enemies on the way to escort but not long after the front foot had eliminated the Kirigakura ninja, the back foot of the Kumagakura ninja appeared. This is not normal. Hitaki Sakumo led the main force to contain the enemy's large force. Even if missing some ninja teams should not meet so frequently and in such a short time. After all, it is not just Uchiha Shijika and others, there are other ninja teams who also perform the task of escorting the Uzumaki clan. The missing enemy ninja teams will also be divided among them. Logically speaking, we shouldn't encounter the next batch of enemies so soon. Another enemy appears. Hayaga Hizashi's expression changed again. He looked in one direction and quickly reported the information. 
Ono Jounin and Uchiha Shijika looked at each other, both frowning. It's unusual, it's really unusual. If it's so evil, there must be a ghost. After resolving another group of enemy attacks, the golden crow fell to the west and the jade rabbit leaped into the sky lively. It was already dark. Uchiha Shijika and others rested briefly under a big tree in the dense forest. The Uzumaki clan members were in shock, and their faces were exhausted from the intense stress of the day. Hinata Hizashi's face was ugly, his left arm had a cut, and blood soaked his sleeve. Uchiha Shijika squatted beside him, his hands spread flat, and the chakra symbolizing the change of yang attribute bloomed with emerald green light. Hinata Hizashi's face was a little relieved, and he said gratefully thank you very much, Kong Hua. I didn't expect you to know medical ninjutsu. Ono Jainin leaned against the tree trunk and looked surprised at Uchiha Shijika who released the medical ninjutsu, and then he felt relieved. My teacher is Sunade Sama. She is the best at medical ninjutsu. It's not surprising that you know medical ninjutsu. Uchiha Mikato ate the dry biscuits with a grimace. It was really very dry and not delicious. After hearing what Ono Jonin said, she said with some pride Kong Hua took the medical class in the ninja school and got excellent results. The first place. Jonan Ono shook his head and smiled. This was his problem. The information he asked about Uchiha Shijika was not complete. Uchiha Shijika brought him more and more surprises, almost to the point of being frightened. He looked up and looked up. Seeing Kong sighed I didn't expect that for such a long journey. We didn't reach the beach at the end of the day. The enemy was really chasing after us. The country of Whirlpool is not big to begin with, and we have been traveling non-stop for a day. According to estimates, we should be not far from the seaside by this time. But it turns out that we are still in the dense forest. Ono Jainin said depressedly and, just staring at us, it's like the enemy has given up on the others and is looking for trouble along our way. Is there something special about us that warrants enemies constantly coming to attack us? Ono Jainin was puzzled. In fact, the frequency of enemies encountered during the day was too high and the number of enemies was too large. Moreover, were their locations too detailed? They had temporarily avoided the sharp edges and avoided the enemies, but every time, it's like the opponent has a Byakugan, and they can always find their location accurately. This makes the Hayaga Hizashi in their team feel very explosive. Am I the Hayaga clan or are you the Hayaga clan? Those with Byakugan can't hide. No more rolling eyes, who can I ask to explain this? Fortunately, the attacking Kumagakura and Kirigakura are not very strong, and there are no Jonin. And their team is very strong, oh no Jonin glanced at Uchiha Shijika. The main reason is that Uchiha Jugka is very powerful. Ono Jounin rarely takes action throughout the day. He mainly protects the Uzumaki clan and leaves all the enemy kills to Uchiha Jugka. Thanks to Kong Hwa, they got to where they are now without any danger. Only Hinata Hizashi was unlucky, and his left arm was cut by the enemy, causing it to bleed. Uchiha Shijika finished the treatment, and Hinata Hizashi shook his left arm. It was intact as before, with all the scars gone. Uchiha Shijika breathed a sigh of relief, and Uchiha Mikato handed over a towel wipe your sweat. Uchiha Shijika took it and wiped the sweat, and at the same time swallowed a soldier's food pill to replenish his strength. At the end of the day, no matter how much chakra he has, no matter how fast he kills the enemy, he is still a little weak now. He leaned on the boulder next to the big tree and closed his eyes to rest. In fact, I was thinking about this unusual frequency of attacks. The enemies came one after another, killing one batch after another. It was almost endless. Of course this is unusual. You can't avoid it and you can always be found. Is the other party's perception so strong? Or is it that there is a mole in the Uzumaki clan, using Kagura's inner eye to open a way for the enemy? Even if this is true, we shouldn't go after them specifically right? Leave other paths alone? No matter how you think about it, you will always feel that there are many mistakes and omissions. That, 
Uzumaki Fuzu came over with some trepidation and said sheepishly I want to go to the toilet. Uchiha Mikato stood up I'll go with you. Uzumaki Fuzu nodded and entrusted her son Uzumaki Nagato to someone she knew. After the tribe, follow Uchiha Mikato to avoid the crowd and walk into the dark corner where the moonlight cannot shine. Not long after, Uchiha Mikato and Uzumaki Fuzu came back. Nagato, come here. Uzumaki Fuzu greeted, and Uchiha Mikato came to Uchiha Shijika and handed over a water bottle. Konghua, drink some water. You have worked hard this day. Uchiha Shijika put down his thoughts, took the water bottle, drank a few sips of the cool spring water, and felt refreshed. He put down the water bottle and looked at Uchiha Mikato with lightning eyes. Suddenly, Uchiha Shijika quickly raised his left hand, grabbed Mikato's wrist, and then twisted it, forcing Mikato to put down the kunao in her hand. But Uchiha Mikato still wore a sweet smile, as if she couldn't feel the pain, and the kunao was firmly held in her hand, making her the force was about to be sent to the back of Uchiha Shijika's head. When Uchiha Shijika saw this, his eyes became colder and colder. He was worried about Mikato's safety in his heart, but he didn't show it on his face. He put his right hand on the ground and quickly turned over, grabbing Mikato's wrist with his left hand. Without relaxing, he bent his arms into elbows and pressed Mikato's neck to the ground. Uchiha Shijika shouted coldly Who are you? The sudden change left everyone stunned. Ono Chounin came to his senses and stood up quickly what happened? Everything happened too fast just now. Konghua was still drinking the water handed over by Mikato. In the blink of an eye, Konghua suppressed Mikato. Boom! A huge sound came from the other side, and Hinata Hizashi opened his eyes and stared at it with a shocked look on his face. He glanced at Mikato, who was being pressed by Konghua, and then looked at the place where the loud noise occurred. There were two Mikatos, and the woman who had to go to the toilet. Hearing the words, Ono Jounin immediately rushed towards Uzumaki Fuzu, but it was too late. Uzumaki Fuzu picked up the confused Uzumaki Nagato, with the wind at his feet, and ran very fast towards the capital of Uzumaki country. This situation, are everyone in the Uzumaki clan stupid? What happened? Over there, Uzumaki Fuzu hugged Uzumaki Nagato and left. Here, Uzumaki Fuzu went to the bathroom, and Uchiha Mikato, who was following her, ran out of the depths of the forest. Behind them, the ninjas following Kumagakur and Kirigakur came to attack them with ferocious expressions. Damn it! Ono oh Jonin stopped, glanced at the fake Uzumaki Fuzu, gritted his teeth and turned back towards the Kumagakur Kirigakur ninja. Uchiha Shijika also discovered the current situation. He immediately opened the three Megatama Sharingan and then closed it again. At the gap stall, fake Mikato was given a Sharingan Genjutsu directly. Hehe, he, illusions are useless to me. The fake Uchiha Mikato who was suppressed by him had a playful look in her eyes, and her mouth opened with a sinister smile. The next moment, the fake Uchiha Mikato suddenly turned into a puddle of white mud and headed towards Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Shijika hurriedly stepped back, forming seals with both hands, and his right hand turned into a palm knife, holding a Chidori thunderbolt to chop. But the chop had no effect. The puddle of white mud was particularly soft, and it turned into a fluid to avoid Uchiha Shijika's attack. That being the case, Uchiha Shijika dispersed the Chidori, formed seals with his hands, swelled his chest, and protruded a dragon-shaped flame. Fire Release, Dragon Fire Technique Boom! The blazing flames surrounded the white mud, and the dragon turned into flames looked up to the sky and roared, then fell hard and exploded. White mud couldn't avoid this large-scale fire escape ninjutsu, and was immediately burned and screamed miserably. Soon, the white mud-like body couldn't hold on and was beaten back to its original form. As soon as this prototype appeared, Uchiha regained his strength. Hwa's complexion changed. He had a pale complexion, short green hair, and yellow eyes. 
he had no clothes on his body, revealing his jagged body. It was actually Baizetsu. Uchiha Shijika suddenly turned his head, kicked his feet and thunder and lightning burst out of his body. Embracing his arms, he rushed towards the Fakuzumaki Fusu. He understood. When Baizetsu appeared here, Uchiha Shijika also understood. The continuous Kumagakur Kirigakur ninja team is just a cover, the real target is Uzumaki Nagato. Their purpose is to capture Uzumaki Nagato, it's probably for Uchiha Madara's Samsara I. Today's Uzumaki clan is not wiped out by a sneak attack like in the original book, with only two or three kittens. There are so many people from the Uzumaki clan, but Uchiha Madara's target is Uzumaki Nagato which shows that Uzumaki Nagato has something unique and special. Just like Uzumaki Kushina, why she was chosen as the next Nine Tails Jin Hiraki was because Kushina herself was special, she was the best Jin Hiraki medium and had the highest compatibility with the Nine Tails. By extension, Uzumaki Nagato is the best container for nourishing the Samsara I. Chidori Sharp Spear The distance was a bit far, Uchiha Shijika stretched out his right hand, trying to pierce the opponent with the Chidori sharp spear, and used thunder and lightning paralysis to seal the Fakuzumaki Fuzu. The lightning radiation in his hand then dimly dissipated under Uchiha Shijika's surprised gaze. Tisk tisk tisk. There was a strange sound coming from his body. Uchiha Juka looked down and saw that each spore expanded and enveloped Uchiha Juka. Chakra was continuously sucked away by the spores. The absorption speed was very fast, and Uchiha Shijika soon turned pale. His face looked ugly, and he secretly said something bad. After a day of fighting, his chakra was already lacking, and even after being supplemented by Bing Liang pills, it was still not at its peak. If the spores were sucked in like this, they might suck him dry. He suddenly exploded the remaining chakra and changed the nature of thunder. Lightning burst out crushing the proliferating spores. Hee <laughs> hee, it's useless, Uzumaki Nagato, we took him away. White Zetsu, who was burned into mud by the dragon fire, laughed mockingly. Uchiha Shijika looked at the fake Uzumaki Fuzu, but he had disappeared. Nagato. The real Uzumaki Fuzu screamed and fainted. Ono Jonan fought with the enemy and was anxious to see the strange situation happening to Uchiha Shijika. I'm here to help you. The old man of the Uzumaki clan stepped forward, using kunao, short swords, and the chain sealed by King Kong to tear away the spores. Maybe we need to kill that weird thing. An old woman with a whirlpool walked up to Baizetsu, raised her kunao high and stabbed it. But after stabbing it for a few times, it was like stabbing into cotton. The old woman was cursing and there was really nothing she could do. Ah. My dagger is stuck. What to do, this ghost thing is still expanding. The old man Uzumaki felt helpless as he looked at the spores that were still proliferating. Uchiha Mikato kicked the enemy away. Seeing Uchiha Shijika trapped by the strange white thing, she was worried and didn't know what to do. She had an enemy here. He pestered her and never gave Sora a chance to help her out. Soft boxing technique bag was 64 palms. Hayaga Hizashi stood in front of the frightened Uzumaki clan members and slapped away a Kumagakur ninja with a series of palms. Bagwazang returned to heaven. Ding, clank, Hinata Hizashi spread out his arms and moved in a circle. Chakra turned into a semicircle and rotated, covering everyone, blocking all kunao and shurikens. But there was an explosion, the detonating talisman exploded and Hinata Hizashi Hizashi staggered and almost couldn't hold himself back. Hinata Hizashi gritted his teeth, his face was cold, and sweat was pouring down his face. The situation was critical now, and he suddenly felt that he might have to confess here. Hateful. He looked at Uchiha Shijika with earnest eyes. He was the person he considered to be his destiny. Could it be that for such an amazingly talented person, destiny would not favor him? Uchiha Shijika gave up using Thunder Break to collapse. He found that it was useless to use spores. His Thunder Escape could not keep up with the speed of spore proliferation, and if it continued like this, 
it would just turn into food for the spores. These damn spores were unexpectedly hard enough. He changed his mind and captured the thief captured the king first, Chakra surged, and the breeze blew, driving Uchiha Shijika's hair. He made a throwing motion with his right hand, heading towards the puddle of mud. The others looked at Uchiha strangely Bo Kong Hua made inexplicable movements, and then, a violent roaring sound came. Baiju made a miserable sound of pain, and then it became weaker and weaker until it stopped suddenly. Damn weird thing, give it a try lay done the rays Nan was so powerful. The spores fell off piece by piece. Uchiha Shijika was unsteady and almost fell down. Fortunately, the old man Uzumaki next to him held him in a hurry. His eyelids were as heavy as a thousand stones, and fatigue swept over Uchiha Shijika. He raised his head and looked at the ninjas of Kumagakura and Kirigakura around him. This was the most ninjas in one day. Ha, something is not good. At this critical moment, a rustling sound came from the forest. Black and sharp kunao and shurikens galloped from the forest. Seeing this, Kumagakura drew out his short sword and knocked away the kunao shuriken, looking there with a solemn expression. The next moment, Kanaha ninjas wearing Kanaha forehead protectors and green vests rushed out of the forest and landed in front of Uchiha Shijika and others. When Ono Jainan and others who were fighting saw this situation, they distanced themselves and joined their accomplices. The Kumagakura and Kirigakura ninjas looked a little ugly. They looked at each other and glanced around. There were four classes of ninjas coming from Kanaha, which was already more than their number. They glanced at the Uzumaki clan unwillingly and quickly turned around to evacuate. Uh huh. The silver haired man suddenly appeared, shuttling between Kumagakura and Kirigakura like lightning, and the white sword flashed away. Hitaki Sakuma walked towards Uchiha Shijika and others without looking back. Behind him, before the Kumagakura and Kirigakura ninjas could react to what happened, they suddenly felt a pain in their necks, and the warm liquid touched them skin that feeling is very bad. They subconsciously reached out to touch it, and after taking a closer look, their expressions finally turned to fear. Yes, Ka. The last message Kumagakura and Kirigakura left in this world was an irregular sound. Before their consciousness faded, they searched for their enemy. That iconic silver ponytail and eye-catching armbands. Hitaki, Sakumo, it's him. Boom. The body fell to the ground. Hitaki Sakumo showed a gentle smile and said apologetically sorry, we are late, are you okay? He came to Uchiha Shijika, looked at the other person's tired look and said worriedly Shijika, how are you? Already. Senior, a child of the Uzumaki clan was kidnapped, please, seniors to the rescue. When Uchiha Shijika saw the arrival of Hitaki Sakumo, his spirit immediately relaxed. With this cage-level master appearing here, the danger was instantly lifted. As soon as his spirit relaxed, the feeling of fatigue came one after another, and sleepiness came to his heart. He had no choice but to finally talk about Uzumaki Nagato's situation, then he closed his eyelids and fell asleep. Hitaki Sakumo quickly hugged him, his face was solemn, and he murmured to himself. Are there any Uzumaki clan children kidnapped here? On the other side, the fake Uzumaki Fuzu took Uzumaki Nagato to the back of a hidden hill. She made a low and hoarse voice take this child away. As soon as she finished speaking, the ground became soft, and a white Zetsu emerged from the ground and caught Uzumaki Nagato. Immediately, Bai Zetsu used the Mayfly technique and sneaked into the ground with Uzumaki Nagato and left. The fake Uzumaki Fuzu changed shape, his body became dark, and his soybean-like eyes narrowed slightly. This black thing has the form of a human, but has no human appearance at all. He also dived underground and headed in another direction. There is one last person, I hope these people can withstand the backlash of the samsara eye. Uchiha Shijika opened his eyes sleepily. A somewhat familiar ceiling. It does look familiar. Isn't this the ceiling of the lounge of the warship they came on? Kong Hua, you wake up. Uchiha Mikato's surprised voice came. 
Uchiha Shijika stood up and rubbed his tingling head. How long did I sleep? You slept for half the day. Uchiha Mikato knew Shijika's doubts about the current situation, and she quickly said after you fell asleep, Lord Sakumo escorted us to the seaside and took the warship. We are now heading to Kanaha. What about that child? How is the situation? Uchiha Mikato looked a little depressed. She opened her mouth and wanted to say something, but what came first was a sigh. Seeing Uchiha Mikato's expression, Uchiha Shijika understood. Uzumaki Nagato, no rescued. Uchiha Shijika was a little silent. Konghua, the information I received from Sakumo-sama is that not only the children of the Uzumaki clan on our side have been taken away, but there are also children missing from other directions. Um? Uchiha Shijika's face became solemn how many children are missing. So far, including Nagato, there are eight children in total. Are they all in the same situation as us? Uchiha. Mikato shook his head six of them were captured by Kumagakur and Kirigakur, and two were lost on the way. Uchiha Shijika made a calculation in his mind. Adding Nagato, isn't this nine people? Has anyone been rescued? Uchiha. Mikato nodded and further added it was Sakumo-sama. After fighting the enemy's main force, he met the enemy who kidnapped the child on his way back to the capital. After that enemy was killed by Sakumo-sama, he turned into the strange thing we encountered. That strange thing is White Zetsu. Uchiha Mikato recalled Hitaki Sakumo's words. The sentient ninjas in the main force did not realize the other party's true identity. It was not until he died that he became White Zetsu, which shocked them all. This kind of camouflage ability is really shocking. The magic used by the enemy makes even the well-informed Hitaki Sakumo feel strange and weird. This is definitely not the magic possessed by Kumagakur and Kirigakur. This situation makes Hitaki Sakumo felt uneasy in his heart. On the battlefield of Uzumaki country, besides Kumagakur, Kirigakur, Kanaha, and the Uzumaki clan, there might be others fishing in troubled waters and profiting from it. He started an investigation and learned that various the situation of escorting the Uzumaki clan along the way. Among them, Uchiha Shijika's route was the most dangerous. Hitaki Sakumo immediately led the elite ninjas to support. Only then did he feel that they had been saved at the critical moment. Senior came in time, otherwise, I don't dare to think about the consequences. Uchiha Shijika cited Hitaki Sakumo's alertness and expressed his gratitude to him in his heart. He came at the right time. Ono Chounin talked to Sakumo-sama about the ninjas of Kumagakur and Kirigakur we met along the way. Uchiha Mikato couldn't help but trembled, with a little fear on her face. Lord Sakumo has his own intelligence source and knows the identity of the enemy members. He said that some of the enemies we encountered should have been on the northern battlefield at this time, and some were enemies killed by the main force when they fought with the enemy some time ago. Several of them were killed by Lord Sakumo himself. Lord Sakumo said that there was a third party involved in the chaos in the country of Whirlpool, and he didn't know which force it would be. Uchihamadara's power. Uchiha Shijika rubbed his eyebrows, feeling a little annoyed. Those ninjas on the northern battlefield who shouldn't be here, and the enemy ninjas who were killed in previous battles, were probably all transformed by White Zetsu. Uchiha Shijika was a little annoyed. He should have checked carefully. In the past, he fought quickly. He would kill the enemy with a thousand birds in the chest and kill him with one blow, and then just ignore it. He covered his face if he had known earlier. Uchiha Shijika suddenly sighed. If he had known it earlier, he might not have been able to prevent it. The opponent's disguise technique was too strong. Even the elite sensory ninjas in the fourth battle could not distinguish the authenticity. If the malice they exuded had not been sensed and discovered by Uzumaki Naruto, and the ninja alliance had not united, everyone would have been in danger, attacked each other, and civil strife broke out. His current ability, unless the other party takes the initiative, like the fake Uchiha Mikato, it's really hard to tell whether the other party is real or fake. 
Uzumaki Fuzu was holding on to the railing, depressed and depressed. A pair of beautiful eyes looked sadly at the country of Whirlpool that could no longer be seen clearly in the distance. The big ship parted the waves, and the Whirlpool Fusang was filled with sadness. Tears slipped from the corners of her eyes and fell into the sea. Uchiha Shijika looked at the sad Uzumaki Fuzu and didn't know what to say. The appearance of White Zetsu can confirm that Uchiha Madara has taken action. With Uchiha Madara interfering, there is little hope of Uzumaki Nagato being rescued. The reincarnation eye was destined to appear in Uzumaki Nagato's eyes. From then on, he fell into a life of being manipulated and precarious. Aunt Fuzu, no news is the best news. Uchiha. Shijika walked over and comforted him maybe you will have a chance to see Nagato in the future. Uzumaki Fuzu said with tears. Kong Hua, do you think Hitaki-sama can save Nagato? It's possible. Uchiha Shijika could only say this. In his heart, he didn't think Hitaki Sakumo could find Uzumaki Nagato. Please also pay attention to your health. The enemy went to great lengths to capture Nagato without arresting others which shows that he has some value that the enemy values. Uzumaki Fuzu nodded, and continued to attack all day long, as well as that strange thing that didn't look like a human being. The Uzumaki clan was definitely targeted, but the enemy singled out Nagato from among the many members of the Uzumaki clan. Uchiha Shijika that's right, but, Uzumaki Fuzu was stunned, why was it Nagato? The enemy needs Nagato, so he will definitely keep Nagato alive. Uchiha Shijika knocked on the railing, making a crisp sound. He stared at the sea and said slowly Aunt Fuzu will definitely see Nagato again in the future. For that day to come, Aunt Fuzu must take good care of herself. Uzumaki Fuzu didn't speak, his eyes were filled with tears, his eyes were divergent, and he was looking blankly in the direction of the country of Uzumaki. When the big ship sailed into the harbour of the Kingdom of Fire, everyone walked out of the ship door, their feet on the ground, and everyone's expressions were relieved. A smile appeared on Ono Jainan's face when we arrive at the Land of Fire, we don't have to rush for the rest of the journey. You can feel free to do so. It will be safe once we reach our borders. He said to everyone let's have a good rest in this coastal city for a day, and we will set off again tomorrow. Good. When Uchiha Mikato heard this, a peaceful smile hung on her face, and she extended an invitation to Uchiha Shijika. Kong Hua, let's go shopping. I had set out from this coastal city to the country of Whirlpool before. Uchiha Mikato took a quick look at it. The scenery was beautiful and the atmosphere was gentle. Everything here made her feel novel. After all, she had only gone out to Kanaha a handful of times since she was a child. Count. But there was an urgent mission at the time, so this eagerness to try and explore could only be suppressed in my heart. Now, although they are still performing missions, they are much safer than the country of Whirlpool. Oh Nakamai Ren is right, this is their hometown, so it is naturally safe. What's more important is... Uchiha Mikato's bright and picturesque eyes were filled with shyness, and she secretly glanced at Uchiha Shijika. Let the two of you go shopping together, isn't this, what is that? Uchiha Mikato didn't dare to think any more, her face felt a little hot as she thought about it. She looked at Uchiha Shijika expectantly. Okay. Uchiha Shijika happily agreed. As soon as he finished speaking, the person opposite rushed over with the fragrance and grabbed his hand. Uchiha Mikato raised her head, her eyes were like crescent moons, and her smile was like flowers. He he, let's go. Uchiha Shijika looked at her with a faint smile. The smile just now, so beautiful. There is a lot of seafood here. Uchiha Mikato looked along the street. Many vendors selling seafood shouted. After all, it is a coastal city with a large number of people who make a living by fishing. Uchiha Shijika picked up a fish and looked at the price. The more people go out to sea, the more seafood they can catch. When the quantity is large, the price is low, much cheaper than in Kanaha. Do you want to buy some seafood to take home? 
Uchihamikato thought for a moment and thought it would be okay to buy some and cook some seafood dishes for her parents when she went home. Well, there is also Shijika. Uchihamikato bought the seafood and wanted to let Uchiha Shijika taste her seafood. In the past, I mostly cooked some home-cooked dishes for Konghua, but after a long time, it became a bit common. Now I want to make some seafood, and I have to come up with new tricks. Uchiha Konghua stood next to him, smiling at Uchiha Mikato talking to the boss. There were some seafood that Mikato didn't recognize, so she asked with a puzzled look on her face. After getting the boss's answer, she opened her mouth and was a little surprised. This smart expression appeared on Uchiha Mikato's delicate little face. No matter how you look at it, you won't get tired of it. Boom! There was a soft sound, and a man wearing a hat with his head lowered and whose face could not be seen clearly bumped into Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Shijika raised his eyebrows. He took a deep look at the man and disappeared into the crowd. Lowered his head and opened his right hand. A piece of paper appeared there. Uchiha Shijika glanced at it. On it was a code belonging to the Kanaha Ninja. His eyes were focused, thoughtfully. Mikato, I have something to do. Uchiha Shijika showed Mikato the note, which said not to let others know. He didn't care. It's better to make the dirty things public and let more people know. Uchiha Mikato cracked the code, little there was a strange look on her face. Lord Hokage assigned Konghua a task, but he had to go alone to meet the ninjas who came to issue the mission. She knew that Konghua was very powerful, and Lord Hokage was very optimistic about him. This would happen. It's possible. However, Konghua told her the note that no one could know. I will tell Ono Senpai and Hizashi. When Uchiha Shijika heard this, he patted Mikato's little head and immediately knew what he was thinking. If that's not enough, you have to let the Uzumaki clan know about it. Uchiha Mikato nodded I understand, I'll go back right away. Guest, your seafood is ready. Uchiha Mikato took out the banknotes, threw them on the stall without looking at them, picked up the bag and ran back. The stall owner clicked the banknotes, patted his thigh, and looked anxious. Hey, there are so many more. Little girl. The little girl Mikato has disappeared. Then look for the little boy. They are companions, right? The stall owner turned his head and was stunned. Well, the little boy is also gone. Looking at the extra money in his hand, he swallowed. This is, what a stroke of luck. You came. Uchiha Shijika came to the place mentioned in the note, and he observed the surrounding environment. He was in a dark dense forest, with small gaps between trees, one next to another, and the tall tree crowns were connected to each other, allowing the sunlight to become fragmented. Leaving only a few spots of light. A little dark. Hearing the words of the man with his back turned. Uchiha Shijika answered with a low voice and a serious face. I am coming. Hearing the words, the man turned around, revealing an ordinary face. It was an NPC passerby who appeared in the crowd and would be ignored if he didn't pay attention. Follow me. Uchiha. Shijika raised his eyebrows aren't you here to give me the mission issued by Hokage-sama? Let's go, where are we going?